Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're playing some Aftermath. Uh, we're continuing on with our campaign. If this is your first Aftermath video you've seen, go check out the playlist linked down in the video description. Or hit up the playlist section at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube, where you can see tons of other playthrough series, campaign games like this game, and other random stuff that we play. Uh, but check out the playlist section. Most videos we do are in playlists. Not all, but most. Hello, Sirhan, Jim, and Brian are Hello. here. Hello, thank you everyone joining us live for this. Uh, if you're not and you're watching this later, and you notice anything or have any questions or rules issues or anything like that, uh, drop it in the comments below. Timestamp it if it's related to something specific in the video. That helps us when we're looking later or other people watching in the future can learn from our mistakes and learn from your comments or whatever. Uh, so it's all helpful. Edgar, for the cheese! <laughs> for the cheese! Jim asked, Mel, do you have the Balrog painted yet? I do not. <laughs> um, uh, well, well, we may see that in a live stream shortly, Jim. Uh, yes. Yeah, we were actually talking about that today. We're thinking of scheduling Mel's painting stream this week, and the Balrog is what uh, Mel wants to paint. So yeah. that's most likely what we'll paint live on stream. Or Mel will paint, and I'll moderate the yeah. chat kind of thing. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Uh, hello, Matt. Before, howdy. Oh. All right. Um, yeah. So, back to Aftermath. <laughs> back to Aftermath. Let's figure out our main mission. Those who are here get to decide on what we play today. And depending on length of play, I'm hoping we can get through two runs today. Yep, but hopefully. again, as we saw last week, depending <laughs> if we fast travel or not, even if we do fast travel, it could lead to a whole bunch of craziness at the end. Uh, that could be scenario after scenario, or if we don't fast travel, it could lead to something short or long. We don't, we don't know. We have no idea. Yeah. So it's kind of cool about this game. So we have uh, main mission nine, sideswipe. Get inside the truck at sideswipe and find out if it's a good cash for food. I know we were talking about this last time because we we're at zero food right now. Yeah. And 24 population. Yes, we have the garden, which covers 10 of that food, but we still need to get like 15-ish more food because we'll get plus one population up well, to 25 at least but we might drop down population if we're out too long and bad things happen <laughs> uh boom the dead tooth gang number 16 find and defeat the dead tooth gang sure. okay. not sure why or what we'll get out of that but uh it's an option Then we have 18, Toy Raiders. Okay, this looks like it's going to a toy store, I think, is what we determined. Go, mm -hmm. Going to D4, yep. Toy Z Mart uh, is okay. what's on the downtown map. And this one's obtain the toy truck. That's what we need for Ringer. Ringer yep. needs that for their goal, so that definitely will help kind of complete the campaign a little bit. Yep. Who knows what we'll find along the way. Uh, we have main mission house call, number 19. And this one is investigate the rumor of mice being terrorized by Smokey. So this one, sorry, let's look at location. So this one's B3. But again, this does not mean we're going to that exact location. Like, right. we might go there. Yes, it's that location. But maybe we might go there and it says stop before setting this up. Go to this page instead, uh, which is neat. So this one was E3. So chandeliers for the house call. We know chandeliers leads to a bunch of different places because it has, like, multiple exits. Uh, Toy Raiders, we know it's Toy Z Mart. Dead Tooth Gang, they want us going to C2, go North Bend. And 9, Sideswipe is C3, which is Sideswipe. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what do, you, what do you guys want to see? Throw a number in the chat. Uh, so either Sideswipe for the truck, uh, or looking for food at a truck, which I'm assuming is like a tipped over transport truck probably or something. Yeah, I think so. A dead Tooth Gang, Toy Raiders at the Toy Store, or House Call. What do you want us to play to start today's stream? Lots oh, of nines happening. Oh, that's way. Go get some food. Yeah. Uh, or at least hope that's what we find. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're definitely going with nine. Yeah, that's nine Scabber, it is. Scabber's trolling every time with the two. <laughs> <laughs> Which, honestly, is a main mission option. I just don't give it, but it, that is a way we could... Just get a bunch of food, but we know it's not something we 
care to do as a main mission. Not as a main mission, but side. But it could be our side mission. <laughs> He's <laughs> dabbing. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So get inside the truck at Sideswipe and find out if it's a good cache of food. Travel methods are on foot we could do or fast travel, which will take us right to C3 and bump our time up to two out of four. But the fast travel... Uh, with having, oh, with having low food, I don't know. But if we throw on the side mission that gives us food. Yeah, if we... And every single token, except for the battery ones, which is kind of annoying, or the item ones, which are fine, but we see some of those, or the key, or whatever. We kind of do want the key, but... Yeah, we want the key. But it would help ratchet up food. So roughly we need, like, I would say, like, 15-ish... Food. Yeah, because it's going to go to our max in yeah. in uh, counting, so. But the cool part is, the more food we get, we can go up to 25 food, we'll have some spare for the next scenario too, so we're not in the same spot. So we kind of want to overload on food. We're at zero, so like, you know, we have to hold 25. So it kind of is a good time to take that as a side mission, just to like, stockpile food. Because remember, we only need to take 15 of it. So if we can get up to above 20 or whatever, we'll have extra to start the next one. Yeah. And we have no, yeah, we have yeah. no scrap. We have one scrap right now. So we're not even going to be able to take some cool items with us, really. So. Uh, I'll check Facebook after. Uh, yeah, I'll check Facebook after. Uh, sorry, I didn't, didn't look at that yet. Yes, I'll check. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, we have no components, but yeah, I think so. I'm more worried about having no food than components. However, no components means we can't bring extra gear with us. But mm -hmm. not being able to feed people is going to lower our morale. So that's going to be a problem. I don't know. Is this... Jim suggests don't fast travel and get scraps and food. Yeah, and that, I was thinking both. the same thing. And if we didn't fast travel, we might be able to, to max. Anyone else have any suggestions? Fast travel versus not, or taking the side mission for food or not? Sirhan wants us to hike. Yeah, let's yeah. hike. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good okay. idea. Okay, I'm down with that. That makes sense. I think it's a safer option, right? Okay, so slides away for sure. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so side missions. So we can do the outreach, get more population. Definitely don't need that. No. Exterminators helps maybe bug problems not happen if we're gone too long, which yeah. we were talking about going on foot, which might mean we might be gone too long. Yeah. Uh, junk hunt, get an item. Yeah, I say we go with the exterminators. I think we go with the exterminators because it helps us in, in the event stage if needed. Uh, let's see. Brian says, hike is a good idea. Totally agree. Yeah. Jan says, I agree with Jim. No fast travel. You need both scrap and food. Yeah, I agree too. Yeah, I think we're all on the same Excellent. page here. Yeah. And Jim wants exterminator. All right, we're on the same page there. Yeah. Great. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. It's like you guys have been watching this whole playthrough. And I you know. know you know, know what we need to do. <laughs> all, of our, all of our minds together, we can, uh, we, can, we can come up with the correct decision. <laughs> Uh, Karate Vida's more says side mission. The uh, this aspect reminds me of Dead of Winter. It is, it is, it is similar, kind of like Dead yeah. of Winter. You can see the inspiration from Dead of Winter or this war of mine in this game. It's yeah. like post apocalyptic, same idea. You're you have a colony, you're going out scavenging for food, trying to complete scenarios and stuff. Uh, it's very similar to that kind of style, yeah, except for it's all played out of a book, uh, so yeah. it's got a whole story to it. It's very neat. Hello, Michael. Hello. You're all part of the population, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're all one of the you're all, you're 24 living, that we you're have. You're all living in this living room with us, hiding in couch cushions and fireplaces and inside broken TVs and stuff. Well, if the apocalyptic, uh, if if like some kind of apoc apocalypse, apocalypse yeah. happened, these are the kind of people that we would want to be with yes. because it would be fun. We're all training. We're all training <laughs> for this right now. Yeah. This, you'll look back on this when the world's ending. You'll be like, man, good thing we were there for that playthrough with Mel and Raw. We learned. <laughs> Learned how to survive on cheese and toothpick crossbows. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so we've picked our mission and side mission. Yes. That's great. What else do you need to do? Set the time dial to zero. I did that, Done. yeah. Choose a bookkeeper. Oh, equipment. We need to choose from equipment. Even yeah. though we only have one scrap, but we still can take yeah, one we for get, free. I got minus two. And all the free ones. Yeah, you want to roll for oh, yours? Uh, plus three. Okay, so I'm just going to take... Oh, I guess everything could be a thing, for at least for... Yeah, I don't know. 
Let's do it like this and then oh coffee can't go in. Kill ball doesn't need to go in. <sighs> no. I wanna take that Spare weapon but ammo. only like if Spare ammo is a repair one. So if you took that you could take the ammo. Which I would be yeah. totally fine with. <sighs> Battered scarf's still free, right? <laughs> Janet says Rob gets the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Why would I get the couch? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> What'd you take? Tattered scarf for sure. It's free. Okay. And my neck gets cold, so. Okay, I'll take the. Okay, I love holding more cards in my hand so I can make crazy uh, ranged attacks happen all the time. Yeah. That is true. I mean, we don't need to take a weapon. I do have my starting weapon. It's just. And it could lead to getting more scrap. But I only have a plus one versus a plus two, or range three instead of range four. Range four, I don't think matters too much. This is also free, so I probably will just take that. Oh, this is also free. But are they both accessories? So you can yeah, but hold one, one can hold one, one can hold the other. Oh, yeah, true. Any doesn't objects? matter. Because those are free. What okay. does it do? Uh, automatically succeed. Add oh. an, like an influence test, whatever it's called in this game, a communicate test. We probably won't uh, or, do it. Or but... remove dust feather from play. Oh, well, there you, you go. you have to discard this back to the deck. That's so. fine. Fine. Okay, so I'm thinking, do I what just take... What about Ziggy? I know, I thought of that. Oh, Ziggy. If I took, see, I don't have any batteries, oh. but you could pass me a battery. Because then we could search. Yeah, we'll you're find right. batteries on So the I'll put too. the ouch bands in my backpack. I'll take Ziggy. So I don't have, I'm not as defensive this time, but that's fine. Potentially we could find an item that will help. <laughs> <laughs> Says, while on the mission, please find some pineapple and bacon so I can make a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> not, Matt's not buying what he's selling. Just yeah, yeah. 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 Jim's just trying choice. to stir up crap in yep. the chat a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Barbecue chicken mm. personally is a is a favorite. Okay. Uh so for oh, I'm taking this one for free then. Or do I not? Do, because I, I could take for anything, yeah. yeah, so let's wait. I might Pay for this because it's only one. Ziggy's only one, and we have one. But That's if you're going to take an item with a spare ammo, then do that, and I'll use this for free. Well, what, what here is what we want to take the most, like to make sure we survive going uh, like on foot across a bunch of pages. We're going to get hit, you know. Like, I would I would potentially take the armor, but that would be the only thing. That's free. Yeah, for free for four. That sounds good. Yeah. But then, if you want to take an item with a with a ammo, then I'd rather yeah, you do that. No. Then and I'll just take Ziggy like we, for searching. It did pretty good so, having yeah. a crazy offense. Yeah, because like, if you able were to able to take out, things out before they were able to kill it's us, it's only a plus one. But this could lead to more scrap. But then again, having one less every time I attack leads to wasting more actions trying to take guys out. I don't know. That was pretty powerful. Or you have this out and only and have the other one in your backpack and only bring it out when needed, like just use the card. But to, based on what the scenario was looking like and what encounter we get, I probably won't waste the card to switch. But I know the fish hook too is. I'm also looking at the fish hook as an option because mm. it's two. I could do that one as my free one. Keep this my starting item. Yeah, let's. If you're gonna do that, yeah, then what I'm... I would do is take the aluminum armor and then pay yeah. for Ziggy. Yeah, yeah, Because I'll take this for yep. free for four that's and then fine. pay one for Ziggy. We take a mission trying to get our stuff together. That's yeah. like kind of the fish hook uh, totally. Sure I then need to put the shiny objects in my backpack, I guess. I'll, I mean, I'll switch if we need If we it. have a dust feather, which... Or we need to do a communicate test. Oh, true. Which we did have, I think, before. That we had to do one. But we, we yeah. were good with it. But. Okay. Okay, item selected. Fish hook saves a lot of cards. Exactly. That That's why I loved it and why I took it so often every time I could. But now I'm like, also I saw the beauty of like just having extra plus one on an attack and extra range is like you're able to just take guys out faster and then you have like more time to dink around with extra cards and stuff. Yeah. Just think about taking an enemy out in one shot rather than like two attempts. How many cards do I save there, right? Yeah, especially when we're getting to guys that need multi-hits. Like they need more than one damage yeah right oh yeah true true oh okay but i like how the fish hook kind of came in clutch in that one scenario getting up that water fountain and we were like wow if we didn't have oh that, yeah we wouldn't have been able to do that well, well it would have taken longer yeah it would just been yeah last kill are better 
but it's only a difference of one, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Getting some scrap now, we'll build up some scrap. That way, hopefully next scenario, we can kind of be more picky or more choosy with our uh, our items. Yeah. So we'll kind of, kind of tighten the belt for now. Uh, follow any setup instructions on our main mission. All right. Let's read. Let's read. The main mission is Sideswipe. It's a whole delivery truck, insists Whisper. And it has the Parcheesi logo on it. That means food. But that food is in a locked metal container, Ringer points out. Even I don't have the gear to get through that. You don't need gear, just brains. And Whisper gives them a wink. There's a down telephone pole. We could climb that and drop into the truck from above. Do a long one coming here. <laughs> four, only four time on it. Okay. Uh, and then the exterminators, we have to set up for this one with bugs, so we need, oh yeah, this is where we could get more roaches and scorpions, right? Yeah. One and four. But I feel like we've always taken out the roaches, no problem. The scorpions are a little bit tricky, but... Okay, one and four, and we shuffle them with three other randoms. Alright, pick one at random to put on the top. <laughs> there. That's the one. <laughs> well, we don't get any, uh, there's no failure, right? But the success, yeah, no failure, we're not worried about failing, but, but we the wanna... success could help our our uh, yes. colony not get infested and raided and lose food and right. whatever. Right, okay. Just for today. Okay. Alright, so... Do it, mission goal. <laughs> mission goal is get in the, uh, get inside the truck at size swipe and find out if it's a good cache of food. Which hopefully it is. Which, and we're going yeah. on foot. And we're going to C3. How do we want to get there? C3 is North Bend Sideswipe. I would vote probably going right through E Street. We know it's not too bad. Has some good searching. And Joe has some searching on it. We're fine. And North Bend, I don't really know or remember. And then Sideswipe's right here. So I feel like that's not a bad way to go. I wouldn't really want to go through Gutter Doom no, while sneaking around. Yeah. The Chandeliers is that one with the water, so it involves like needing blue cards or... Yeah, it's harder to cross. Yeah, it's got that whole water pushing effect thing. Uh, round the Clock is that like dumpster one with only four search tokens that we have to like go fight the roaches in the dumpster. I'm not mm -hmm. a fan of that one for scavenging. Uh, the Parkway is hiding behind the mailbox, seen it 400 times. Uh, but we all see E Street quite a bit. I, I would vote to go right. I'd say we just do. South gets us an item. I knew Doom would say that. <laughs> I don't, we don't need any more items. We can't even carry the ones we have. But that yes, we could get back some ones that defend our colony or some stuff that's more affordable or even some better items. But see, now here's a question. What if we found an item that defends our... Oh, it goes right into our colony box. Never mind. Yeah, no, right we're, fine, we're fine. It doesn't go in our broken items. Say that out loud to I just realize. don't want to go through any of these places. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to override. I'm going to say, yeah. B1? Yeah, I'm going to B1. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just overriding this one for now. The second one we can go. Yeah, I it is an option. option. Yeah, and it, it is great. I think it would be better if we didn't have, like, all oops, like all these items already that we can't well, even... Well, there's probably better ones. Like, we can ignore half those because you may not care about them or they're yeah. situational. But, That's true. Uh, we're, we'll probably play another one today, I hope. So, like, we could go the other way or it might give us one that we have to go down here anyway. So this one we kind of have to go on the right side. So I figured like, let's go that way. Right. Because one that we do know we need to do is to, uh, Toysy Mart. Right. And that one we could go uh, along the bottom. That if one you I'd want. probably still go this way kind like of. Like up and over. Because you don't want to go through the garden. It has no access. So you can't go that way anyway. Oh yeah. You'd have to go across. But Toysy Mart, we could fast travel that one because it's in the bottom right corner. So maybe we build mm. up to go to Toysy Mart with a fast travel if that's an option. Because uh, if we have tons of extra food, yeah, it does have fast travel. Oh, it's a time of six. You get plus three on the fast travel. Yeah, so, so I feel like that one's going to... Yes, but if we save up a ton of food and then we just fast travel that one, we don't need to worry as much. And okay. I think it still will be multiple pages. That's true. That's true. Uh, isn't that Dust Feathers Home? That is Dust Feathers Home, yes. Which one? This one that we're going to, which is fine. Oh, because you got, have yeah, the got, shiny objects. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, no, keep it like that. No, and no, then, no. But what if we don't I'm get... I'm not afraid of Dust Feather, Because Dust Feather only comes when we hit the Calamity. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. So we might not hit it, right? Yeah, he's not there, of course. Yeah, so like, keep that there and... Yeah, yeah. I right like now. Yep, I like that. Uh, tons of extra food? Question mark? 
I know, <laughs> I know. We can, yeah, well, we're not going to get that with the side swipe or without the um, the side mission of two, but we can that's try. That's true. We can try. We never know. We'll, we'll search, try to get every token we can. It might take longer. It might make our colony a little more vulnerable, but we'll see. But if we can get the exterminators, plus we also <sighs> just built something. Oh, last time. Oh, the training grounds, and that helped in a lot of them too. So. All right. <laughs> You're dreaming. So plus yep. one time. I know, I know. Plus one time if this is your first time on the page during this campaign. Otherwise, whatever. Skip the setup. Scavenge tokens. Drawn and counter card. Ooh. Counter card is seven, which is a unique one here. Go to E1. Uh, E1 or E2? Sorry. It says, hold it right there, snarls the leader. Uh, through his, though his paw trembles, they are no match for your crew, and darn well know it. There's a chance that talk could lead to negotiation and a lack of bloodshed. Encounter equals number of random nomads equals number of characters. The loot's a broken item. Situation safe. See safe and hostile situations on page 6. Special rule, making friends. If the party successfully communicates with all the enemies, go to 5-2. Then a rule reminder, communicate. If the situations are safe, enemy figures on the board can be communicated with. Perform a communicate action, target the enemy, sharing your character space, and resolve an opposed, an opposed uh, instinct test. Mm -hmm. The difficulty of this test is equal to the communication value on that enemy's card. If you succeed at the skill test, remove that figure and its enemy card from play. In addition, remove one threat card from the threat track and population plus one. If you fail this skill test, the situation becomes hostile, which means the situation token is flipped to hostile. And when enemies take a turn, they will start attacking your party. We could just ignore them. Yeah, true. Because we don't Pass need any through. more population anyways. Yep, that's true. Okay, uh, so random nomads. Yeah, Edgar has a good point. Was there a time Dustfeather didn't come out? You're right. Yeah, yeah. There, you're right. <laughs> probably, probably will. That's true. But if we just leave the nomads, search the tokens quickly, and leave, they won't follow us. We don't need to worry. Potentially no Dustfeather. This is all knocking on wood because yeah, yeah, I don't true. think this is all going to happen. Okay, pick a two. Oh, nomads, no. Oh, these are nomads. Oh, meeklings. I was thinking the other things. Uh, let's just scavenge and GTFO. Yeah, I 100% agree. But I don't know if we ever done this one where we did the whole make friends thing. I don't know if we've ever got this card on the spot. No. No, I don't think but so. But I think it would just lead to, well, we know it leads to some more population, which we don't really yeah, need. Yeah, we don't really need. And then it's more food we need. Oh, well, it can't go any higher, actually, so that's fine. Yes, get tokens fast, agreed. Yeah, let's Sounds like you're knocking on cheese. <laughs> and don't draw black cards. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that's, that's the whole it? plan. Just yeah. don't draw black cards? Well, we can draw three black cards. We can't draw the fourth. Yeah. <laughs> You don't trust my shuffling, is that? Oh, I didn't know if you shuffled. No, no, yet. I did, I but that's okay. Attention. Go ahead, go ahead. It's probably better that you do it. Yeah, yeah. After that one time, <laughs> man, oh man. Just kidding. Yeah, no, I agree. Okay. Oh, I don't think I have. Me? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two black cards already. Oh, boy. Uh oh. First one was a two, second one was a one. Remember that time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we need to just be real fast. Actually, search might not make them go. Okay. Yeah, I'll spend three red to cross line. I'll spend two red to go one, two to the hidden spot. I'll try and scavenge for a four. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Two scrap. Okay. Uh, the cards, Lord of the Rings, uh, I assume you mean Lord of the Rings, Journeys of Middle-Earth. These are like the tiny, mini, American-sized cards, I believe. I feel like it. They might be mini Euros, I'm not sure, but they feel like mini, mini American. 
They're kind of like the Zombicide decks. Uh, and these are full-size cards. So they have, they have well, as you can see, there's different size here. But regular size cards, and then mini size cards. So there's a mix in this game. Okay. You need one to move. I'm going to search for two. Nope. Ooh. Or do I leave that one behind and the two token? But... I would stay there, but um, do you want this? I'm going to go to here probably to try to search those and help. Do you want one for movement? Yeah, sure. And I'll just hold that. And then potentially you don't draw another. Yeah, right. Uh, nomads don't attack, so it is safe. So until we get a fourth black card, then we'll hit the surge, which will then like right now. likely tell them. No. Oh, yeah. So not yet, because it's safe. If it was hostile, then yes. But once we draw another black card, I think it's going to become hostile. Three to get over there. I'll spend three. And I will. When you sp what did you spend? No, I will. Four to get over there. Then I'll start an instinct test with three, four. Oh, we got one. Two food. Hot rolls tonight so far. Well, I'm so, overkill, but but still, I mean, what else are you gonna do with the cards, right? Okay, I'll stop. go ahead. Like they're definitely gonna turn hostile. I know. It's okay. One, two, the loot three, is a broken four, item, so. five. Oh yes. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna try a few different things here because mine as well. I'll try with a one. No, I'll try with a two. Okay, got it. Whoa. Two scrap. scrap. Okay, so we're at four scrap. Then I will move for one. I will try with a two. Got it. Two food. Two food. We're at four. I'm gonna then. Yeah, I know, I know. Dang it. Do I stay in oh, case? What else? You leave. Because one, you can I just can just defend against. Them. That card. Okay, I yeah. You're, plus you're right. I'll 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 wait. Yes, I'm holding this for like a <sighs> possible check, but Okay, if you uh, if you don't draw a black card. I will. I'm gonna toss this. Okay. Two, three. Four, I know five, I thought about six. leaving, but then if he gets a black card, they're gonna go. How would you leave? With for one. Because I can cross the green line. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, then just do that. Yeah, but if you draw a black card, then you're gonna have to fight these guys or they're gonna follow us. Yeah, true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But if you don't draw, I will draw. I know you will. Calamity's in here, probably. Calamity's fine. That's it is. fine. First actually. one's calamity. <laughs> you want, you want, okay, do your whole so thing. So roll the calamity. Deal with it. Oh, okay. you got it. Okay. <laughs> Minus two. We're good. We okay. got yeah. We got nothing for calamity. No dust feather. So now. You still can't fight around them. That's so annoying. Yeah. But I can make this spot a fish hook spot. What else to do, really? So lame. I guess you could go and try to communicate with them. You could go, here's what you do. You could go, try to communicate with them, fail on purpose. Situation becomes hostile. And then fire on them. And then you fire on them. Okay. So move for one with the red. Your space. I will try to communicate with the top one there. Mm hmm. Just play your lowest, right? So you well, fail. Well, I only have one instinct, so. Oh, okay. Instinct two, three. Five is the instinct. Is. Well, yeah, because you're going against them. Oh, yeah, communicating, right? Yeah. There you go. Oh, so no. then you fail. I failed. So, if you fail, the situation becomes hostile, which means the situation token is flipped to hostile, and then the enemies take a turn. Uh, take a turn, they or when the enemies take a turn, they will. 
Yeah, so okay. after this are for sure Yeah, attacking. so now you can attack. There are five. Do you yeah. I'm going to attack Well, the let's top see. One. Hold on. This I'm one... attacking the top one. He's five. Okay. He's doing an assault. After attacking, if possible, move the figure two spaces towards the nearest source token. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. They're both fine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five I'll, on I'll, five? I'll attack the top one. Five on five. Okay, that's and okay. I'll attack the other one. Six on six. Or no, maybe I'll do the same six one. Six on five? Six on five. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. Defense. They got me. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that I'm does I'm in suck. a bad position. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to... So actually, they're just going to go. So no surge is going to happen, which is good. The left option that I have. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You would get attacked by what are they? Well, doing? I can defend one. Uh, this guy is going to hit for five. I get an auto wound, right? Because mm. I'm the closest, and another guy gives me an auto wound. So I get two wounds in one scenario if I stay. Yeah. And or if I, go, I, if you go, I defend again with one, two, three, four, five, six. I defend one of them and take one wound. You so might still get hit. I could potentially. Hey, Doc. Uh, Nothing for a minute. Mainly one late pledge for 180. 21 14 closes six. Hope you guys get it, get it and run the whole campaign. <laughs> That's funny. I just noted that yesterday, but we didn't actually look at it yeah, yet because I didn't go back to my notes yet. Yes. Or today, later today, we're kind of like sitting on the computers and looking up stuff and whatever. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be going through videos and researching and that. So that's something we'll definitely look into because I don't know anything. Have you looked into this? No. No. I, it's just been mentioned, I right? I have a feeling this one. It's been mentioned a few times to us. Yeah, I know. I can't remember if I've seen it or not. It's like, yeah. Yeah. So we'll definitely look we'll into look, it tonight. Look. Yeah. Thank you for the reminder on that one. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, it's up to you. I'll leave. Yeah. Because like it could lead to only one wound for one of us versus two for one of us for sure. Okay. So then this guy's gonna go. He has uh no range, so he's gonna move into my space. The blue. Yep. And then he's gonna attack me for five. I'll defend for one, three, four, five, six. Six on five. Yep, got it. So I block one. Great. And this guy is going to move into my space. He's going to hit me for five. I have nothing to defend, so I'm just going to take a wound for that. So no oh, surge. Oh, use that. Could use that. On oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, You're that right. Bought us some time, probably. Oh, That's okay. I totally forgot. I took that. Yep. Sorry. I won't forget that going forward. Okay. One, two, three, six. You are not in. Oh yeah, I'm gone. So just five. Yep. Sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. Oh, yeah, why did I? Okay. That's okay. Yeah, you can get away, though, right? Or yep. try to hit one in the run. Okay. Well, I guess we got... Um, defense of five. I could hit one for... One, two, three, four. Four on five. I mean, I try. Why not? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit for four on the guy with five defense. Uh, nope. Oh. Wow. Do I just run yeah, and let them leave. follow? Yep, They're not leave. that bad. Yep, yep. Okay, so I will leave for this one. Maybe this one. I'll hold that. It's gonna go to me. Okay. So we can just move to an adjacent. Yep. yep. And Joe. Yep. Forty three. I do have his back, you're right. <laughs> Rafe has got your back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, first time on the page, otherwise skip to 45. Plus one time, we're at two. Yep. Read the following, yada yada, NGO, whatever, ENGO. Um, place characters on entry space. Oh, uh, yep. Already read this a few times. Tokens. Scavenge tokens. and got four left. One, two, three. Other special encounters is 16. Go to E1. Go to E1. Yeah, it's pretty much the oh. same. 
Okay. Okay, so E1. You hear soft squeaking noises and look about, scampering across a soggy stretch of old cardboard. You come to a small nook created by two chunks of concrete slab. Crouching in the shallow recesses is a muddy, half-starved field mouse, with a feral look in her eye. She brandishes a piece of jagged glass as a weapon. Behind her are two wee pink babies squeaking with hunger. If you have at least one food and offer it to her, go to 45-5. If you back away and move on, 45-4. Okay. I feel like we've had this option, but maybe I'm confusing it. Yeah. We've I'm had one sure. where they're like defending the babies or fighting. Yeah, we had a, a fight. scorpion or something yeah. had a... I think this is new, but... So here's my first thoughts. If we feed them... We only something... can take one more population, so like... Who cares? We're getting at the end of the scenario anyway, so I'm okay if something gives us population. But if it gives us something else, yeah. If they give us, if we give them, I don't food, want it to punish us though, and it will. Yeah, punish it will us. punish them. It will punish them. So, I'm thinking that we might have a safe encounter. Like they might be like, we oh, do okay. have at least one food, so we have four. I think we feed We're them. We're probably yeah. gonna lose three though, because it sounds like three mouths to feed. I think. Janet, uh, so Brian, and Michael all say, "Feed the baby." Feed the babies. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to forty-five dash five, which is here. Minus one food, plus one population. Situation safe. That is what I was hoping. I thought if we didn't feed them, That's it. then we would have an okay, encounter. So we have, okay. Now well, we let's can, go get the goods. Yeah. But we have to be careful because we do have a hunt sitting here that could potentially. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. It's these little weenies. We'll, we'll fight them. <laughs> oh, Doc, <Eat> no. <laughs> do what you got to oh, do in, the, in this post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> okay, in this case, I'm going to discard this card. We don't have any encounter to fight. One, two, four, five. Around All here, right, so. so let's do a move of one. Let's move here. I can ignore the green lines. Let's not forget Ziggy this time. Uh, once per page, just uh, discard a clue token on the map and claim its prize. Um, should we do this one that's in yep. the space by itself? Two scrap. Six. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. We use that, this page. Uh, okay, then I'm going to search... Wait, was that a three you used it on? No, I'm, but I'm in a space with a three. I've done it on a three. You just should have done the hardest oh. one. But it's okay, we already did it. Yeah. Week. But in the future, grab, if there's like a single four on the page, yeah. do it on the four, or do it on a I three. I think because I was just looking at it like yeah, a half. Do it on the highest one. Whatever. I know, I'm still going to miss here probably. So I'm going to do it on the three. Got it, whoa. And a broken item. Little tad little shuffle. Local tours came in. Hello, happy hello, Saturday. Hello, Saturday. hello. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy, yeah, it's Sunday. Oh, Sunday, oh yes. my god, I thought Woo. it was Saturday for a minute. <laughs> and with a needler. So it's a silent range weapon of three. Basically the same as that other one. Yeah. Just one less range. Okay. Yeah. Broken item. Whatever. Only costs four though. Okay, that's done. All right, and then I will search the one that I'm in two. Let's those two cards. Nope. Fortunately. Um, do you want this one to get over the lines? Sure. You don't do your hook yet. There. I'll shuffle. Four more cards. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Third genesis. Okay, minute. so he uses two. 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 Go like one. Two. Yeah. Stuck. Mm -hmm. I could just go here and work on this, which I do. Yeah, and then so I'll... So two to cross. I should have went to the farther uh, one. I'm going to scavenge for three on this token. Mm -hmm. Ah! Nothing. And... You could move one more if you want. Yeah, I am. Wait, we're not reading these. That's fine. Well, it's uh, the only one we've hit so far. This is the first time. Okay, yeah. If it's your first time, go to oh, okay. 45. Okay. Fine. I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. Um... 
One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. Okay. So I might as well do the token that I'm in. Yep. For three. Do I do it for six just to make sure I get it? Because I don't need this red for any. Well, for I want movement, it for you need yeah, it. I need it for movement. You're right. Yes, got it. Uh, two food. Five. Okay. Twenty more to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we only need fifteen, right? Technically, because we have ten. We no, only need. We need twenty. Well, yeah, you're right. Five. We need twenty-five total. Let's we max need it out. Twenty-five food. We're not <laughs> done until we have it. I'm not satisfied. Okay. Store it all. Then we go to Toy Z Mart, take the fast travel, and not have to worry about it. That won't happen. All right, I'm going to use this three to move. I can ignore the green lines. One, two, three. Then let's do a search of two. That's what? fine. Because I'm hoping oh, to, like, to do it again, but obviously I got my good roll, but that's fine. That's fine. Two three. food. Seven. And we'll try again for one. Nope. Ah, that's too bad. Okay. I mean, we could... One, two, three, Wait, four, sorry. Five, do six. I leave? Sure. Yeah, I leave. They might come in, but we can just run again. Yeah. But at some point we need to face Because one more and we're surging, and I don't know what that does. Actually, usually surging doesn't... It's the calamity that would do... Yeah, who knows? We'll find out in a second. Okay. Uh, so one movement. One. Uh, if you're on mission one. Story. No. Okay, we're good. No. Okay. Fine. Fish hook. And I'll spend this one blue. Yeah. And I will do a test of three. A bonus. Got it. One battery. One battery. Okay, and you. then I will just see ya, right? Yep. Exits, just go to the next space. Yep. You use these, sorry? Yep, they're okay. gone. So, and... then we still have to do the surge. Oh, sorry, I guess. Oh, surging, yes. Um, time surge? plus one. If there's enemies in play, the situation becomes hostile threat and resolve three. an enemy turn. Otherwise, discard threat cards from the track. Okay, so that's it. That's just time okay. by one, we're at three. Okay, so the next space, we're going North Bend, right? Yep. 57. Seven. Okay, and Pickle's here. Howdy, all. Just Hello, saying Pickle. hi before I start some yard work. Uh -huh. hey, Pickle, enjoy your Have yard fun. work. Enjoy your yard work. I hate yard work. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just joking. <laughs> no, it's not. It's always relaxing. It depends on what you're doing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Depends on what you're doing. Yeah. And some people like it. 57, I said. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we're called the sock. Uh, time plus one. We're at four. Oh, here's your battery. Out of four sorry. already. Oh. Okay, four out of four already. We're not there yet. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's your first time on this page or in the campaign, read the following. Otherwise, skip the setup. Uh, we've been here. Yep. And set up, put ourselves on the entry space. Right here. Yep. Tokens. Okay. Uh, yep, tokens and drawn encounter card. 21 nomads. Wow, we still haven't seen. So we've got all three randoms off the top. The next ones are like a one and a four encounter. Okay. We know we're going to run into scorpions or, or roaches on the next one. Situation safe. Again, another okay. nomads. We need two random nomads. Well, I think it would be the other two, right? Yeah, Because yeah. those guys are <laughs> occupied. Uh, hold on. <laughs> it might not be. Let's see. So I'm going to shuffle these ones up. <laughs> okay, draw two. I select this one. And let's do this one. Okay. Oh, I'll pick that one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So we got those ones. But okay. it's safe again. Yeah, so, yeah. So, but Loot, do... loot is too scrap if we can, if we defeat them or talk, talk them into... Uh, Coming to our side or whatever. Yeah. I think. I think we just. Where's the exit on this one? Oh, where they uh, are. Yeah. They're the exit, the only exit. Um, but there's a nice juicy three up here, oh, yeah. three here, and two in the dumpster here. Yeah. So I'll a ton use. Of scavenging on no, this one. and I'll use Ziggy on one of those probably. Because if you potentially go this way, I'll go this way. These guys way. won't chase us if it's safe and we leave. No. Right? Yeah, no. Only if it's hostile. If it's hostile, yeah. I feel like we've drawn like half the black cards though. Like, so it's my turn now. Oh, not maybe not. <laughs> I'm gonna save this three for some movement. Oh, there Holy you go. Threes, Batman. And some green, so maybe you can go to that other one. Okay. Well, there's green here too. Yeah, but I'm saying I'll use I'll use Ziggy to get rid of this one, just because oh, it's kind okay. of like the farthest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
one of us could go here, which is only one space, but somebody can go there, but it's up to you. I can go that way because I have, I ignore the green lines to get in and out. Yeah. So and then maybe you can just I, pass I looking me. looking for range. Yeah. Is case our buddies follow us or these guys pop off. Yeah. And I think we just go quick on this one. Okay. This. I'll go to the hiding one, I think. Uh, so I'll move for two points. I'll just go here. Mm -hmm. And then I will try to search the token for... First gotta go have fun, guys. No worries, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Get, get some work done, man. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, so I could do seven here. Go overkill to make sure it's done. Or I just go four. I mean, at this point... Yeah, I'll what go you, four. Okay. Yeah, yeah so you got enough, it. Oh, okay, Perfect. well, for a second... Three I... scrap. So we're up to nine on the scrap. Okay. Okay, and then for three... I'm not going to use the fish hook yet, just in case, based on the situation, I might need to cross this line, this line, or this line. So, oh, are you going in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to spend three blue to cross into this spot and hold. I think. Yes. I will hold, because if they go crazy... Oh. Well, Sajat's saying, in the topic of some random good news from Sajat, Friends of mine had a kid born today. Have been up an extra twenty four hours since labor started last evening. Everyone is safe and healthy, and I will sleep now. That's amazing. I bet you are delirious right now. <laughs> I remember staying up for like twenty four hours for our daughter being born, and I was like, I don't remember that day too much after her birth. Like, I just remember being so loopy. Um, but that was fun. But yeah, yeah, it was definitely a that's long cool. day. We remember that. So yes, yeah, that's cool. Congratulations to your friends. That's uh -huh. awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, let's get some sleep. Get some sleep. Thank you for sharing the good news. Sometimes yes. it's nice to have good news I in agree. a world like I what's agree. happening I right agree. now. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Sweet. Awesome. That's, That's great. great. <laughs> okay. So we are going to. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to hold these, I think. Okay. And you just go it's... draw away and try to get in here and yeah. search away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's, yep. Okay. I don't think it debate was giving us three run over in there. Well. You didn't even draw any yellow, so. No. So I think first I'm going to use Ziggy before I even move. Oh, yeah, I forgot. But that's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's still just I'll just here. do one of yeah, these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it this one. Two batteries. Okay. Okay, so that's but good because. for food still, too. Yeah, but if I lose a battery on Ziggy. Oh, I forgot I got a health here. Not forget damage a damage but oh, one's fine okay yeah. let's use <laughs> three points of movement oh i only need two actually two points of movement to do one and two okay. three uh if this is your first time on this page no okay i don't have anything that I can search so i think i will I'm going to see what happens, and I may just go, because we don't want them to join them. Right? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just draw... Actually, I'll toss one card. Draw four. Oh, so Jat was in charge of the kids already born squad. Oh, man. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, how, so this is not many, their first child. Which number child is this? And what is the age of all the children roughly? Like, <laughs> I grew up in a house of six children. I was the oldest. Like, I know that craziness. That's yeah. why we only have one and we stopped. <laughs> yeah, because I also... She grew up in a house of four, four yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so it's like... I know generations before, sometimes higher children was a lot. But, yeah. like, I also have, like, half-sisters that... We saw but didn't live in our house with us so like like a brady bunch now, yeah right? it was a lot <laughs> like yeah i also found out i have another half sister later like yeah the amount of children yeah, yeah was, was quite a bit so <laughs> yeah what games what games did you play with yeah what games did you make them play <laughs> unless they were like little little yeah, they're probably little <laughs> yeah. and who trusts you to babysit yeah that's what hmm. i want to know Three and a half, one and a half, wow. the occasional neighbor kid at four. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> we played throw back the ball. 
feel like this oh is gosh. karma. <laughs> yep. Yep. Start around. <laughs> <laughs> Those sound like great games. Oh my gosh. They sound like they're made by Hasbro. That's what I would guess. <laughs> That's <joking>. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, <laughs> I, what was I doing? I searching. Remember. Searching the awesome. token. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to start the token search. Thing to help with that unless someone else is in my space. Mm, nope. Okay. So let's try to search that three with nope, oh, I can't do that right. That'd be number or color. I just try with the three, see yeah. if I get lucky. Yeah, because if you get it there you go. Yeah, I got yeah. It. then you don't have to waste other cards. Or scrap. So we're, okay. Uh, that puts us up to 13. So we're killing the scrap game. Oh, we that's are, into food. Yeah, I was like, we're not killing the food game. But we're not missing any. So no, that, that as is long true. as we don't miss any, we'll get all of it. Yeah, that's true. And it'll start wrapping back where we can get the more expensive ones again. Okay, so I am going to... In, I'll see. Well, we'd have to stop at oh, one. Yeah, so yeah. I would Hold go, yeah. One, yeah, yeah. Two. So yeah. I'll use this two. To go one, two to get in their space. Uh, before leaving, I'm gonna give these cards to you. Oh, I oh, can't. You can't! Ah, you suck. I didn't have anything to do with them. Yeah, I was gonna give you some stuff to search with right away. I think that's why they make it so you can't discard until the start of your turn, so that you can't do that. Yeah, like you could have just you could have just done fake moves. You could have been like, I'll move and move. Oh, you're right. I'll just spend. Well, you would be out of the space. Oh yeah, you know you can do that. I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you didn't even been like I'll move here, 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 and back. I didn't even think that. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you gotta, you gotta break the game when you can. <sighs> is that one of the hero quests, new hero quest expansions? Yeah, but at least the graphics aren't as new. <laughs> that thing stay in North America only, by the way. I, I yeah, for the new hero quest, I'm like, I've never played hero quest, so I, I don't really care. I'm interested in it, <laughs> but I know there's many games that have come out heavily inspired by hero quest and have updated rules and you know like AI and you can play full co-op and that kind of stuff. So like games like Alter Quest, for example, I know is heavily inspired by Hero Quest. So if I were to go for Hero Quest nowadays, I would go for something newer that's taken more updated game design in and, and more of people's taste nowadays into consideration. But the old Hero Quest is like going fully off nostalgia, putting in supposedly better minis and art, but keeping the rules like 100% exactly the same. So you need a dungeon master running it, playing against the other characters, I guess. Which is fine if you just want that 80s game looking nicer, but I, I don't think that's worth like $150. But I could be wrong. But again, that's just my impression. So once I saw that it was like, we're not updating any of the rules. It's the game you know and love with just better components-ish. But it is Hasbro, remember? So the cards might be like super crappy stock quality. The box will fall apart. Like who knows? Who knows the, the low quality they'll put into it or not? So it's hard to trust them. And then they're not doing it on like Kickstarter. They're doing it on their own website. So like they're kind of like trying to feed in off people's like fear of missing out a little bit here. And that kind of like bugs me a little bit. Um, but people will back it. It will get to its money. It will be produced. They say a copy will most likely come to retail depending on how, how much money they raise up front. Well, it's Hasbro. They'll bring a copy to retail. If they can make it fit on a shelf and be at a reasonable price, they might make it. But it might be too expensive to put in a Walmart. Walmart only takes games that are like of a certain cost range and stuff. Um, so yeah, it might be a tough sell to get on a Walmart shelf, for example. But you never know. You never know. But for those who've been looking for Hero Quest and love that game from their childhood, it's cool that you can get it uh, in North America only, though, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I would just go for there's newer games. And I'm sure people in the chat... Um, like Doc or anyone else will know, like, here's the other games that are similar hero quests that are better and updated and you'll get more for your money. And they're, you know, they take good good game design. Good video on this today from Board Game Co. says John. Okay, good. Oh, cool. uh, I'll check that out. But that's just my assumption. I read the whole, like, uh, Hasbro Pulse page when they announced it. I was like, oh, I'm interested. I'm sure people will come and watch us play Hero Quest. I'm like fantasy dungeon crawler, mm -hmm. you know, that has some good clout to its name and I've never played it. I've, I feel like, man, would have changed my whole life if I played that when I was younger. Um, but yeah, I didn't. So I'd love to try it. But then when I looked, I'm like, whoa, like $100 for like the base or $150 for the like 
it's the set I would probably get. Plus shipping, and that's US, so Canadian, it's cost extra. And the, the Canadian shipping's ridiculous, so it's like, even though it's only available in North America, it's like Canadians are getting screwed on it, of course. Well, maybe uh, once the border opens, if it's something that we wanted, we could drive. Yeah, we could, yeah, we could go and get it if it's at stores, but... Yeah. Eh. Maybe next year. <laughs> Wait, it's not yeah. out yet, right? Is it out now? No, they're they're taking pre-orders now for like coming out over a year from now. Oh, okay, I think. then. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like they're trying to do their own Kickstarter, mm. but it's on their own website, and it's just like a pre-order. It's mm. basically like pre-order this in the next forty-five days. If we get to one million dollars, we'll make this game. Oh, I and see. And if we make enough, we may even bring it out at retail. I see. I see. <laughs> but I heard the Canadian shipping. Still uses floating by logs on a river, as well as dog sleds. That is true. But that is the most efficient to get to our igloos. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's what they need to do. So that's just to shovel a path for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it works. Like sled dogs are are cheap to run. They they don't need much gas. So that's that's yeah, how they do it. Just a little bit of food here and there. Because if you use an engine, it freezes. So we can't like do it that way. So yeah, that's just how it is. All right. <laughs> Docs, docs, have a, doc, are you driving and typing? You better not be driving and typing. <laughs> no, please say no. Be. If that's what's happening here, don't <laughs> wait. Till, wait till you're at the next stop. Chill, grab some food, and then and then chat. <laughs> and also, Michael says he's got to go take care of his little mice. Enjoy the game. No worries, no worries. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it better be no. <laughs> no, he is. <laughs> Or he's using the voice, the voice on the on the like Google thing or in, in YouTube, whatever. You can. <laughs> yeah, see, I know what's up. I know How what's do you up. know that? That's crazy. Because he always talks about where he's going, driving from here to oh. here, and he's, he's trucking. I, I know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Justin. Justin used to drive truck. Who you see on the channel? He used to, used to do that. His dad was a trucker too. So, uh, yeah, I'm familiar. <laughs> I'm familiar. He's told me stories. I know what's going on. <laughs> All right, so let's go. You were, I think, deciding if you were leaving, right? Um. Uh, oh yeah, because then you were gonna leave, and then you wanted to give me a card, but I had too many. Yes. Yeah, so okay, that's so that's it. where we are. I, I will just leave. Okay. I trust that you'll get that and only get hit a little bit. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, and I can't give you cards to help you defend. Oh, I'm gonna discard all. I would maybe hold a card for defense if you're worried, or a couple, maybe. Maybe I just hold that because they might go hostile here. Oh no, they no, shouldn't. I don't think so. But they could. They could. One, two, three, Nothing. four, five. Oh my god. Okay, okay, so Calamity. Calamity Roll is five. Five plus rep four. Oh, no. Plus two, so six. Smokey's here. Oh, my God. Good old and you just left me by myself. Smokey is now involved. I think I'm just going to run because Smokey doesn't follow us. Doesn't? No, because he's an... Oh, he is a boss. Yep, never mind. Feels like right on this track. Oh, and... Serenity now. But it's still safe. Oh, hostile. Oh, surrender. Yeah, now. so they're all attacking. That's why I was telling you to hold cards, because like I, I thought there might be a hostile situation. <sighs> but they're not attacking yet on your turn. So you could just ignore this token and leave. I, I'm like, we'll do whatever. Are you fine with that? Yeah. All right, like, move They'll for all two. come in on the next map. This is going to get One, horrible. One, two. Leave. But Kay. at least I save cards to help like take something These guys out. are all going to join the hunt. You had no way of trying the token at all? No. Oh, okay. And I used a red card to move. Yeah, so these guys so are all... So discard some... some scrap, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. This is getting kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. We're pushing our luck too hard. Yeah. Uh, so this is... When leaving by this exit, if you're on mission 10... No. No. Um, if okay. you're on mission 16... No. Okay. Otherwise, move your party to an adjacent space. Okay. Sideswipe, 51. Oh, man. Sideswipe's going to be tough. Yeah, it won't be just one page either. So it's, we're going to have lots of options for these guys to come in. I just hope it's not full of enemies already. We can only have five at a yeah. time. Yeah, at a time, yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. There's oh. the truck. Here's the truck. All right. Okay. If this is your first time on this page during this campaign, read the following. Otherwise, skip to 79. Don't remember. I don't think we've been here. Did ever. we see the picture, though? I remember looking at this picture. Have we been here? Can I just look at what the map looks like? This is not oh, 79. this is not 79. We're dropping spoilers Sorry, now. sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. I don't think so. Have we been here? Broken Boulevard? Bro Broken Boulevard of Dreams? Okay, Boulevard maybe we haven't. Dreams? You can read it and see. 
yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll know when you read it. If this is your first time on this page or in this campaign, read the following. Suppose it's going to rain any time this summer. Tyrone looked... Tyrone took a bite of a sandwich as he eyed the blue sky. He couldn't remember the last time he had seen a cloud hanging in it. Next to him, Raul snorted as he drove the truck. For real. My ma got the cops called on her last week for watering her lawn. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, we did read this. Yes, we did. Yeah. 79. Okay, so yeah, this is we not came, the first time. We came time. here to pass through for something else. Pigeonhole. Probably going to Pigeonhole. I feel like we did that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we've read Because we definitely have seen this picture before. Okay. I'm okay. Let's not drag everyone through my reading. All right. Time plus one. We're at five. This is your first time on the page during this campaign. Read the following. We'll just read it. A mountain of broken buildings stands before you, immovable. Calamity loves us, chuckles Ring Ringer. Do we really have to? Messiah is tired, having pulled Nightwatch last night. The thought of climbing a pile of rubble just doesn't sit well today. Want me to carry you? asks Grumple, expressionless. Ah, just kidding. You were too easy. He laughs. Come on, the mountain's not going to move for you. You have a sense of humor? asks Ringer, in awe of Grumple's moment of levity. Not for you, she doesn't. Tides whisper with a smirk. Ouch, I'm hurt. Ringer clutches his chest, pain feigning a heart attack. I feel like we have in here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we place ourselves on the entry space. Yeah, we had to have been here if we read the other one. Yeah. I don't know why I just read that then. That's okay. Whoopsie. Okay, so I got three search tokens left for threes. Here, okay, let's think about this though. There's Cause lots of tokens in this one. So put them near us. The and put a four not on the exit. Well, put a four here that you're going to just use your thing on. Well, I have to put two fours. Yeah, so put two fours on oh. the exit. Oh, sorry, I thought you said not on the exit. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. And then put one four like far away yeah. where we may even not go over here, but at least you can pop the four. We might get four food off it or whatever. Yeah. And we have two tokens sitting off to the side left, and then we'll start recycling. So that's good. Okay. And then encounter, we draw an encounter. Claws and stingers. So we got the scorpions. scorpions. We'll get a tox grenade out of it. Which we already have. <laughs> Doc says, ooh, the Seven Citadel news got an email update. Seven Citadel exclusive to Kickstarter. No, the game is not exclusive to Kickstarter, but the collector's edition yes. version available during the Kickstarter. Yes. Oh, that one's... That one is. Yeah, okay, same okay. as Seventh Continent did, but then again, but then again, Seventh Continent, even the Kickstarter black box could be purchased later after the second Kickstarter of Seventh Continent. It was carried in some stores, and you could order it on Serious Pulp's website directly. Okay. And get that collector's edition. It's just once they ran out of it in each region, the only thing you could get was the classic edition. So they'll probably do the same thing with Seven Citadel, come out with a classic edition kind of thing. Um, but that won't be till the future. So I, I wouldn't worry about that right now. But yeah. Yeah, they won't avoid stores. They were able to figure it out last time. So, like, why not get more money, right? Mm hmm. Okay. We got the leader and that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we need to kill these guys in order I'm to... I'm now, or is there a switch? No, nope, it's switching. Um, okay. And are we hostile? Yes, I assume. What did the encounters say? Hostile. Hostile. Okay, so I'm going to keep this blue card because... So if we kill these guys, we get our side mission done at least. That's one thing. Uh, Dimitri's here. Uh, hey guys, Russia here. Russia's here. <laughs> Waiting for Aftermath to be published here. They're raising publishers at the moment to make sure they work out rules properly. Yeah, I'm sure that's a huge thing. I've seen that in playing like living card games uh, in the communities when they translate to other languages. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like they mess up a wording and it translates wrong, which then makes rules work wrong and causes a lot of issues. That's like a serious thing. This will work, I'm sure. Oh okay. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Russia always here, says Edgar. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> okay. I am going to keep any of these. I think I'm going to keep this too because I can move into that space. But, okay, I'm going to discard this. Unless, yeah, 
yeah, you have too many anyways. So one, two, three. Okay, that's good. Two more. Dimitri does, uh, or Edgar, does Asmodee produce a lot of their games uh, in Russia? Is that is that common? Like, I know they're pretty, like, trying to be global and everything, but I, I don't know how far their games reach usually. I know FFG was, like, pretty good at getting their games, like, around the world, but now they're, like, under Asmodee, so is this game is under Asmodee. Like, I'm just curious, like, Asmodee, is a good chance it'll come there? So, with looking at this. Oh, Crowd Games publishes games by Jerry and Russia. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, looking at this, I'm going to spend two to move. Oh, I have to. Ah, oh, there's a circle there. And the ones. What are you worried about? Reading yeah, the they have to stop there. You could just use the two and the two. Oh, but then I see you want to pile them up. I want to pile the twos, threes. yeah. I mean, I could just use the two and the one. Oh, where do I go the other way? I could, could go to this one, actually, with, with, the, with the blue. Yeah, with the two blue, you could go one, one two, two, and you're in that and spot. And then in that one, yeah, yep. let's do that. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh, one, two. Uh, there's no dots to read there. Okay, so then I will do... So actually, first, I will use Ziggy. Do one, and then keep moving. I would attempt your test first before you use Ziggy. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Because you could do, like, an overkill on the four. And then try that with the threes. Or... Try the three first, see what happens, then try the four if you fail on yeah. whatever one. Yeah, let's try the three. So these two on the three. Oh. Three or the four? Maybe I try it on the three and then I get rid of the four. Oh, I'm in here. Um, yeah, I'll try that on the three. Oh. Three, three food. food, okay. Up to ten. Then I will use Ziggy in, on this page to get rid of the four. Broken item. Got a corkscrew melee weapon. Plus one to melee attack. You gotta put a battery on it. When attacking, ignore any po or when you put a battery on it, I guess. When attacking, ignore any positive results on the black resolution die. Oh Ooh, spicy. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Repair of three. Okay, that's not yeah. bad. Yeah, we would have won so many of those attacks where you like rolled a plus three on their I die. Know. Yep, we would have. Yeah, that's yep. good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, wow and nice. Yeah, I agree. three. Yeah, we have not read all the items, so like I don't know what's yeah. in there. Like I didn't realize that was even an option. Okay. So my plan is to then run up to those ones if you want if you can do those on the way. If not, you run up that way and I'll go that way. Whatever yeah, you I'm can get it to. Up this way. Yeah. Uh, I can use the fish this hook. This. Remember that you'll have to stop on one as well. I know, I know, I know. Which maybe I should have just done and let you go the other way. I don't know, but you didn't get any blue cards, so Okay, uh, I'll fish hook the space I'm in. Move with the two, stop with the one. There is a tiny box here that is sealed up tight. Go to 79-2. Getting the box open requires resolving a strength test. Skill test, difficulty five. Success, draw an item card. Fail, your tiny paw slips, sending you tumbling. Place your figure on, oh yeah, I remember this. Oh yeah, Place, sends you, you back. Fall back down. But, I but we ignored I it last time. I think we ignore it this time too. I could try, but I'm not worried about it right now. Uh, okay. Then we'll use this, fortunately, green three uh, to cross into. Would you want to go all the way? Yeah. With the okay. green three? Yep. Let me do that. So one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll be up in the. Oh, and I read two. What's this, you ask? Looking at the twisted metal item half buried in the rubble? Birdcage, answers Grumple, matter-of-factly, as she climbs by. Why would a 
Why would a bird need a cage? The birds didn't want to be in a cage. People put them in a cage. It makes no sense. Why? But Grumple doesn't want to talk about it, and neither do the others. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. So, I'm on the exit space. Um, let's do some... So... So for five, so two, four, five, on one of those fours, two batteries. Ah, okay. Thanks. Well, we can trade them for food later, I guess. Uh, then I'll try another four on a four, three plus one. I mean, you could just try two. You could roll a plus. Yeah, yeah. I'll try a two. Yes. yes. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Four scrap. All right. Sending us up to 17 scrap. Jim says it could be treasure, that box. Wow. Yeah, but I think with this situation that's happening here, <laughs> this is scary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're going to draw like five black cards right now. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One. Where's the exit again? Where, Where you are? Right. Oh, yep. are you gonna you're gonna stay still? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to fight these guys, kill them, so we have one less thing traveling. Oh, and we could yeah, get the tox we... grenade, and the tox grenade we could throw it on a spot with a bunch of enemies, and it hits everybody. Yeah. And true. you roll like a separate test against each one, so that could lead to me doing some crazy range attack, where I take out a whole bunch of guys at once, and especially with the hunt following us, we'll easily get the five enemies on the board. Could even be in this scenario. We kill those scorpions before they even attack us. All right, I'll use three movement. One, two, three. Then I'll search two on any one of those. All right. One, Sweet. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there you go. Oh, so calamity. Calamity. Uh, it's a five plus, and it's dust feather. It looks like is the uh, thing. Yep. yep. Dust feather. Dust feather is in play. And you can remove dust feather with your shiny objects. All right, so you spend a card to switch. Started to get rid of him. Yeah. Is there but any he... hiding spaces? Because he's not going to get you if you're hiding. No, not where I am. There's no hiding. Okay, uh, so. You just do that to one less attack? Because they're, right now, these guys are all going. And what are they doing? Scorpion is going to do, wounds inflicted are toxic, five damage. Yeah, but movement, range. Oh, sorry, like, uh, move of one. Me? Oh, okay, it doesn't reach me. Okay, and then this right. one. Oh, hold on. Okay, there's like a dotted line here, so it goes into my space. Yeah, they're like right next to me. Oh man. Okay, and then this guy is this guy can move for three. Again, wounds are toxic. And uh it's at sixteen. So if you can move back, you'll only get hit by one. Okay. I'll spend I'll toss a card. Uh we'll switch fish hook for shiny objects. I'll discard this the items pile to get rid of dust feather with the shiny object. Okay, and then uh, sorry. Both are gonna move together. Yeah. Well, this guy can only move for one. So that's still, I'm right in one space. But away. if you move back, only yeah, and one. What's of the them, other guy? He can move for three. Yeah, he can kind of get you wherever, or he can get me. Which one is that? The physical base. Yeah. The leader. Oh, he's two wounds. I can't. I know. How much is the leader? Six. And it's toxic. That sucks. Okay. Well, I think at least move back so you don't take two. Yeah, yeah. So I'll move for three. And I will fire on 
the fallen leader one. Well, when you fire on the one that's going to hit hit you, because the other one is he won't die. They're both two wounds. So like whatever I'm doing now is only a quarter of the damage needed to take both out. So I know. Yeah. So okay. I'll just fire on the one okay. that has better odds. So for five. Yeah. Range attack of five on the one with four defense. Nope. Not enough. Get anyone out to get scrap yet? Okay, that's me done. So okay, so they're they gonna go. go. So the circle base is just gonna move one, or not? Sorry, the uh, the other. Yeah. Uh, and I want to go here. Okay, and he has no range. Done. Guys in our this space. guy's gonna move for three, and then wounds inflicted are toxic for six. Um, Here, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Okay, if he's in our space, if I can draw some red cards, I could potentially use two, four, five, okay, let's see here. I can I can search. And then I could range attack, but again, Weak. that's all I got. No, no. Well, I guess I could search, because... You could also just save all these ones to add them to a defensive test to just get hit. Yeah. So search, and then just save Yeah, let's search defensively. first, a three on a three. three nope. Okay. For any of these tricky, like, abilities, this is what I need to try to be doing. Oh, here, I got a one. Oh, let me see. Uh, I could use that to reroll, or before rolling, I can reduce the skill. Or for one, I can place a target token on an enemy figure. Reduce the difficulty of attacking that enemy by one for each token on it. I'm assuming that reduces it for both of us attacking it. Because I'm spotting his weakness. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I could do that and make one of them easier to attack multiple times. would be good. Okay. Yeah. Alright. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh man, gosh. this is crazy. One was for. Yeah, that one doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh, okay. Well, again. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy's now moving for three. Yeah, yeah they're both going to keep yeah. hammering on us. And they're both. Nope, not toxic. Only the one is toxic. One in our space. But do you draw any other blue? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I could prevent us from getting a hit Three. by giving. Right? Yeah, yeah. Or at least help. I would at least block the toxic. The other one I'd probably just take. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna use a target token on the uh, leader. If Target token on him to reduce his down. Yes. Uh, down to zero? No, just down one. Oh, okay. So he's four now to trick the leader. Okay. I'm going to attack range of four. Five. Five on four? Are you going for the leader? Yep. Okay. Got it. Does this go away or does that stay? Stay. Pointed out a weakness on him. Spot weakness. Place a target token on any enemy figure in your line of sight. Reduce the difficulty of attacking the enemy by one for each target token on it. Go ahead. Okay. Or, or they fire off, actually. Oh, yeah. So he is going to move for, into our space. He's going to move for three. And then a character wounded by this... Uh, becomes trapped. Oh, wow. but he hits for four. Actually, hold on. Maybe yeah, I try best defense against that one. No, I want to use. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be trapped. Remember, trapped is like oh, worse than one only... little wound. Yeah, on yeah, you. yeah. You cannot voluntarily move from your current space when your character receives one or more wounds. It receives an additional wound. Yeah, you're right. That sounds good. You should take that instead of a wound, Mel. No, no, no. no. Okay, so he's <laughs> hitting for five. So I will block for five, six, seven, eight. Eight. He's, oh gosh, I'm blocking for six. He's hitting me. Oh, I didn't. Oh my god. He's hitting for eight. I'm blocking for six. So you're getting trapped? Yep. And I have to take a wound. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. Well, if I can get a 
white too. I can. Now the other guy's attacking. It. Yeah, now the other guy's attacking. Oh, and this guy's attacking for six. Two, three, four, five, six. But if I take it, then I have to get an additional wound and I would be dead. But if I'm I miss. Not. I'm not, so you can come back and you're. Okay, so we'll just try. What else are you gonna do? Say I'm gonna take a wound? Or you take it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's another toxic. But I mean, it's up to you. I could try. I'm. I would be dependent. It's yeah, six just on give six. Me a toxic wound. Okay. That's <laughs> my turn or your turn? It is uh, my turn. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I don't either. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so no black cards. So that's great. Um. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we'll try a search first. Pointless, but we'll try. No, exactly. I can't search it for my life. Then I can do a ranged attack. Let me think for a minute. Or I could do, actually, no, I could do a melee, a melee attack. One, two, three, four, five. Five on four. Or do I go all in like that? But I feel like I know I don't know. On my, but I won't be able to take both out. The, Only one has a wound. Actually, so. actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's two. Wait, cards. Okay, so let's do one, two, three, four, five. I did a melee. Or can, is, does that work? Yep. Yeah. So five on four. Actually, we can take one of them out. You want to put that other one in or no? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Because you still get to go. Two ranges to target apply. I assume target always applies. It just says just reduce. You're just like spotting their weakness. I don't think it has any main. But, uh, target. Nope, that's not. I feel like it's not really clear. Oh, I don't know if we'll find that in here at all. Yeah, I'm just going to follow what this little card says. Yeah. Place a token on an enemy figure in your line of sight, and then it says, period, reduce the difficulty of attacking that enemy by one for each target token on it. So I think it's like, you know, in Call of Duty, when you mark the enemy, marked, marked, and then all your, <laughs> all your, all your teammates sees that mark, and they get to go fire on them. I just feel like that's it. I think it needs to be Ranger. It'll okay. like weaken them in this game. Okay, but I'm gonna do melee because I have a little bit of a more bump. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six melee versus four or sorry, yeah, versus four. Uh five versus four. Right? Five, five versus five. Five versus five. So I get ahead. it. Oh my gosh. So leader's gone? Yes, leader's gone. Okay, at least that's one. Okay. Turn. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Here's oh, stuff. Not voluntarily. How do I move this? A skill test of uh, strength for four. Well, minus one for me in your space. So. Well, I don't need to move yet. I mean, and right now we'll just like bonus for that yeah. type of skill test yeah. at least one. Right now we'll just worry about this guy in our space, and then once yep, I need yep. to move, then I'll. But you have also to get two white, right? You can move it. Yep. Move all negative status effect cards on your character. I also do have these ouch bands that if we did oh, nest yeah. after this, we could remove. So discard, uh, oh, sorry, discard. All characters remove all wounds and toxic wounds at no food cost during the next nest action. So it would just increase our time, but we, we wouldn't have to spend anything and we can clear once we get rid of this guy. You don't have that equipped right now and you'd have to spend time to do that. Yeah, but I would just do that. You have to wait till your next turn. But I think I would also lose his battery, which also would be totally fine. Yeah, okay. Right? That yeah. is fine. Waiting for Smokey to come out. Oh yeah. my god, I know. Like, this is terrifying right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. And black card sets it. I'm oh, look at you. One, look at that melee you got. Yeah, melee. That's not but my thing. But even so, I know I will use he only though. has four defense. Four defense. I can get six. 
If you started with a white, yeah. if you started with a white well, too. I could also use white to that same thing with the token. But again, I'm only hitting once. Not if you did. I know I could do some like. You could do some shenanigans of yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Hit for six with this. And then try again. Hit for started with a. The one no, red. One red. Red yeah. 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 Five. Yeah, he defensive four. I could make it a defense of three if I spent hard. But then you're only hitting once, right? Oh, I still hit oh twice. then you still hit twice. Okay. Actually reducing it one on both of the tests. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Target Target token. again? I found his weakness! Okay. All right. Go. Which one? I'll do this uh, four. No, that's deep. You need to... Oh, yeah, sorry. What am I doing? I start with a two. Yeah, yeah, this four. Yep. Mm, no. I would put that all no, in. No, no, what am I doing? Yeah, put them all this in. This one, all in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And this was just its yep. own. Yeah, yep. yeah. I had it in here. Two, four, six on three. Got Bottom. it. One damage, and okay. then we'll do a four. Yep, got, got it. Got him. Dead. Sweet. Jew. You get out enemies like uh, nothing. Now he only I had. I didn't use this weapon, so I don't get the extra scrap. He only had thing. five, anyways. Or four. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Actually, I don't know. Does that reduce it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't it's gotta matter. be five or yeah. higher. Yeah. And I'll give you that. Okay. Whew. So now it's safe. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, we still have two tokens in that space. Oh my god. What's that? You're good? Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's some good search ability. I might as well just do that because I'm stuck here. So let's search for three. Got one. Oh, switching and doing the quick ouch bands and nesting or whatever. Yeah, yeah. At the end of your turn. Yeah, now. I'll do this one. Free food. Okay. Free food 13. Yeah, because I have two other cards here. Then I'll do, I'll just try the other one. Got it. Wow. Nice. Now that there's no enemies. The a key. key. Yes. Up to seven. Okay. That's uh, good. Yeah. Let's just remember we got it. Yeah. But it might be a while before we. Let's just put it. Well, we might need to shuffle it back. Oh, anyway. you're right. Uh, okay. Then I have two cards. I will use one to switch the ouch bands. We'll lose that battery. Put Ziggy in the backpack. Right there. Okay. Then I will just attempt strength test i need a four so i have one uh, I need a three because i'm in the space oh so i only need three one two three we'll just see what happens here nope, nope. dang it okay that's fine but doesn't the whole nesting get rid of all that kind of fluff oh it does you're right uh, okay, so we're nesting right now yeah at the end of any player's turn as long as the situation is safe the party can nest while nesting resolve the following in order each character may spend one food to remove uh, health damage one yeah. damage. So all characters remove all wounds and toxic wounds at no food cost during the nesting action. Perfect. Here Done. you go. That's discarded. Great, thanks. Uh, all right, then we will remove all negative status effects. Done. Okay. Then we will discard all batteries from items. Then we may spend uh, scrap to repair broken items. Oh. We're gonna get more scrap. We're at seventeen out of twenty-five. We could. Then this, but then again, that might break, and I don't have the thing to help with that. This is not terrible. If you want to equip it, do with melees. For three scrap, I have to put my chopstick. Oh yeah, and then you might not get three green lines. So. Yeah, no, I think. Wait, I'm... is chopstick two hands? Yeah. Oh, it is. No, I think it's fine. Okay. Let's then save our scrap. Time, time plus one. We're at six. Okay. And okay. Then, sorry, that's discarded. Okay. And then it's you. So, oh, that sucks. I should have realized that I was going to get rid of that. And save that. Oh, yeah, and switch my thing. Oh, no, no, no. I need it at the end of my turn. Never mind. Six. Never mind. Now I think we just run out of here before this. <laughs> Nothing else. No tokens. Nope. Okay. Uh, so I will just spin these two. Boop, beep, beep, go. Yeah. We already read two, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll hold this two yep. and this three because they're okay. awesome. Please, no black cards. You'll get one, it. two, three, four, five. Okay. Now. Nope. Bunch of enemies. Finish. 
Well, I'm going to use... Hope not. Are we going to shuffle it soon? Yeah, we're going to shuffle soon. So I'm going to use this three to just go out. Two and out. Okay, Hold those. So, so surge. Plus one time is seven. If there are enemies in play, the situation becomes hostile and resolve an enemy turn. Otherwise, discard all threat cards from the threat track. Okay. So no. Oh, and we didn't read the exit yet. Sorry. Exit here. When leaving this exit, if you're on mission nine. Yep. Go to page 53. Okay. Whole vault, start, plus one time. We're at eight oh out of four. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we are, Whisper says proudly, pointing up at the askew telephone pole. If we get up there, we can climb down into the truck. It's the perfect crime. Oh wow, Grumple gasped. Nope, 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 nope. I'm with the guinea pig, agrees Ringer. This is too much, even for us. We can drop our bags down from above before the climb, says Mazaya. Great work, Whisper. And with that, he begins to scamper up. The rest of you follow suit. Even Grumple, and despite your concerns, the wide pull proves to be an easy and safe climb. A soft wind tugs at your fur as you gaze upon what shattered bits of city you can see. The geometric structures of man are slowly becoming swallowed by a vibrant green vegetation. Above you, the sky is brooding gray. Better hope Dustfeather doesn't spot us up here, worries Grumple. Oh god. Uh -oh. Uh, place our characters on the entry space, which is right at the bottom of the pole. Oh, also where the also enemies the are. Also enemy space. That's wonderful. Uh, environment card, traverse, and situation is safe. Okay. So far, so good. Traverse. Oh, what's this thing? Little arrows. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, when so we draw we have, threat cards? Yeah, we have this little arrow. Oh, that one. So traverse is if moving into a if moving to a space requires crossing a red or green arrow symbol, you must make a traverse skill test. Red equals strength, green ability. Difficulty to test is four. If you're successful, safely move your character onto the new space. If you fail, consult the special rules for that page. Enemies ignore that. Special rules: failing a traverse. If a character fails a traverse test, place it on the destination space. That character receives one automatic wound and becomes rattled. Whoa, rattled. Oh, I think I cannot be rattled. This character yeah, cannot yeah. become rattled. For you. All right. <laughs> like there's a one we can read here if we cross green and step into this transformer. Uh -huh. There is green line, green line to cross to get up a pole. There is a two to read here across a green line. Or, yeah, that's it. You can't cross these solid white. No. Nope. Uh, then once you're all the way up here, you can cross the green to read three. Which brings us to the exit anyways. Uh, right. Oh, it's solid. Never mind. How the heck? Oh, yeah. Then you have to go here, here, here. Oh, yeah. Green cross here. And then do this t test. Do the test to get across the wire. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> clever. Okay. And we haven't been to this page, so we probably want to read the eyeballs, right? Because we are still trying to find mission 11. Sure. Yeah, true, right? actually. Yeah, yeah. Let's... So... And we, lots of, we want enemies to be following us. And so. uh, I see no search tokens on this page. No. Unfortunately. So if we fast traveled to 51, we would have saw the last page of tokens, but that would have been not good. Yeah. I we mean, still I don't, don't have know. enough food right now, but we could trade scrap in and batteries right now. I think we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we're good. Bookkeeper uh, Bookkeeper is you. Okay. Sorry, I did not change that. Careful placement of the fish hook. Oh, yeah, because fish hook can ignore this. Fish hook can ignore this. Yep, and that's what Jim says. Fish hook deals with traverse. Yep, and Jim says, "Are you circus mice?" Apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gotta get in that four, truck. Five, six. Better have a ton of food. In there. Oh yeah, that's you true. have enough food for the rest of the campaign. No, I wish. <laughs> or yeah, it, it'd be awesome if it like ignore food, like get an extra five bonus at the end of every yeah scenario or something. Yeah, like that. something cool. crazy. We'll see. All right. Back I can do the ones that are you have to cross the green lines for, like on the outers, if you want. Yeah, if you want to read that one, go nuts. But I'm gonna keep trying to go up. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, oh yeah, I have. Oh, oh fish I hook is I in. I drew too much. I have these. Oh crap! Give me that card. Uh, and Edgar said fish hook is in your backpack currently yeah, too. Yeah, so sorry. yeah, we I have to. I forgot I had cards already. Okay, so let me just shuffle these up, and I'll put two back on the deck, or shuffle them back into the deck or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. All right. Six, and I'll shuffle these back in. 
I do that sometimes too. Yeah, I forgot I had them sitting in front of me. Yeah, That's, especially when we leave I, the page. Yeah, okay. So, um... Oh, you have lots green. of green. Yeah, yeah. Green three. Two. Three. But then... I have to waste a three to cross. I'm gonna say that you have to do those. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's three green. So go up there. And. You need it at least. Oh, okay. Uh, three. Cross here. Read number three. It's a heck of a climb for sure, says Messiah. You drop your packs down to the trailer and begin climbing down the old power lines. Just story, okay. Uh, then I'm going to spend three, uh, starting with a defense, right? Three across this green line. Mm -hmm. And I'll fish hook this line so we can just kind of cross it on our own leisure. Okay. Ignore that whole red oh. strength test stuff. That's Oops, sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. You're, right. you're go. So I have two already. Uh, I don't need this, but I don't want to draw black cards. Oh, so. I don't have the fish hook out. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. Thank you, thank you. But that's yeah. good, yeah, for so now. I'll just leave it. Yeah, for that. Thank you, thank three, you. Thanks, Janet. Four, five. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. So we got some tokens that we'll need to read. So let's spend one and jump over number one. Rager's eyes light up at the sight of a transformer. Oh, there's a lot of useful scrap here, she claims. Shh. Yes. The rest of you. Ringer's, Ringer mimes like he is tiptoeing. Well, so much for the stealth approach, Gripes Whisper. Search through the uh, scavenge tokens, including those previously discarded, for three tokens showing scrap, prizes, and place them on this space. Oh. Care about so grabbing some scrap? We have two. Whatever that... tokens you want, nope, those you are choose. Not. So if you want to put a two, three, and four there with scrap on them. Well, it has to be with of... the threes, it said. Grab three of your choice, right? Three, three tokens, tokens showing. Oh, okay. Any ones you want. Well, so I might as, do, we might as well take. If you want to do a bunch oh. of twos to make it easy, like however you want to do it. We're not hurting for scrap, but it could be turned into food. So. Okay, so let's do that one. But you can look at your cards, like yeah, I did. based on tests, two. right? I can put Ziggy back to. These are all in our discarded ones. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Then, okay, so we're staying here for a minute to do this. You don't have to. You can ignore them completely if you want to keep pushing. Well, let's... Do whatever you want. Yeah, I have yellow in hand, so... I know. Let's problem. spend an action. Put Ziggy back. Put a battery on her. Jose, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Then let's use Ziggy to search the three token. For four scrap. That is 21 scrap now. And you don't need to keep doing it. I don't need to it. do the other ones. And that's what I'm saying. Don't waste your time on it. Just okay. boot it. Uh, okay, let's do th three to get to the two, because we didn't read that. Yep, two says, oh, that looks off, or, or that looks useful, says Ringer Lustily, as he points at the gizmo on the end of the wooden strut. But a pigeon sits on the strut and refuses to move out of the way. Scram, you silly bird. The hammer hamster insists. Ooh, coo. Could you help us? The pigeon asks. Search through the uh, scavenge tokens, including those previously discarded, for three tokens showing scrap. Rises and place them on this space. Go to 53-3. A pigeon with a dumb look on its face uh, loiters at the end of this cross plank. Please, we have water. Lots of coo coo, fresh water from our magic fountain, she says. Say what now, asks Crumple. It's a pigeon. Ignore it, Ringer says. Guys, uh, we're under constant attack. Coo, insists the pigeon. Our numbers and eggs dwindle. If it wasn't for good mice like you, coo, we would have perished already. And like I said, coo, I can promise water. If you want to give the birds three scrap, go to 53-4. If you want to ignore the birds, go to 53-5. Okay. Should we give the birds some scrap? I, I, I would. I would, because we have... What do you guys think in the chat? Give the birds some scrap, the pigeons some scrap, or ignore them and keep going. Uh, or I don't know what's going to happen, but 
they want water the birds want water they're being attacked they'll give us or sorry they'll give us water if we give them scrap yeah give them scrap i think so yeah yeah we should have enough yeah. i think with food and all that stuff but yeah uh where is it uh 53-4 listen we want to help if we can here take these few provisions and tell us where you're located so scrap minus three down to 18. okay uh put all characters influence cards into play retrieve mission card four from the discovery deck and add it to the bottom of the mission stack, which I think we already did for because that was part of the water, Oh, you're the right. Water I pump, feel like right? we did, but let's just do a quick... Yeah, yeah we already so did that was it. part of the whole water pump. So there's another way to get that whole water pump mission. So, so that's good to know that there's multiple. So put this into play. Unless we already did... I don't think we did this. No, no we've never done this. Sweet. So that's great. Okay. Now... You can ignore those scraps if you want. You also have Ziggy. Did you, you and you already read three. Already? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, because I didn't know that was gonna happen. Uh, okay. Well, let's. And also, give me a card to throw a fish hook in if you throwing away trash. I'm only, only one card if you. Oh, but I would move over at least to me if you can. So I need one, two, three to get to you. Yep. Perfect. I'll use that for three. I'll just come to you. You want to use those on tokens mm -hmm. before you go at all? Oh. Cool. Did I try once? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Sure. I tried once on the three before we leave. Nope. Okay. Uh, I'll try one more. No. Okay. All done. Go ahead. I probably one, actually should have given three, you that four, one for five. the. Yep. That's okay. I'll, fish have, I'll have cards. Bye. Okay. Uh, so I'll get rid of this instinct card. We'll throw a fish hook and thread back into play. I'll use it to go on here. And look, like I'm just. Running yeah. with two. Yeah. One, two. And the exit says when leaving by the side stick, go to page 55. I'm just leave the board. Okay. Nothing you want to pass through. You got your go with everything? Uh, yeah, you're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. White that's, cards that's and green great. cards. I'm I'm great with those. One, two. Three. And I draw less going forward. Okay, I'll do the calamity in a second. Just one, two. Three plus on the calamity. Uh we're at eight. Oh, so yeah, so it's happening no matter what. It's happening. Uh a dark shadow passes over you along with a tiny pinpoint of red as Dust Feather's laser eye searches for a victim. Counter card, Dust Feather. So Dust Feather is down here now. Okay, but that's fine because I'm gonna be off the board. Yeah, yeah. And Dust Feather isn't gonna join the yeah, hunt, yeah, so, so who cares? It's we'll fine. just we'll just ignore Dust it's Feather. It's fine, yep. Unless you don't leave the board. No, I'm leaving the board. Unless I get all cards where I can't, so so that was three, four, five. Okay, good. Right, so I need one, two. Yep. Yeah, I'll just do. No, no, no. no I'll do two. One, two. One, two. Yeah. All right. Hook back. These are discarded. We're going to Sorry, 55. Uh, yep. Yeah. Boxcar. Oh man, oh. we found all those Amazon packages. Oh, look at this. Uh, plus one. We're at nine out of oh four. Oh my god. Ah. But we did get the exterminators, right? We did pass that one. Did we? Because we beat those the guys? scorpions. We did beat them, right? Yeah, because they're not yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Here yeah. So let's remember that. Oh, these go away. This comes to me. Oh, okay. Traverse gone, I think. All right. Read the following. With a terrified cry, Grumple falls from the end of the wires and joins the rest of you on the jumble of cardboard boxes below. I need to rethink what I'm doing with my life, she whimpers. The boxes you sit upon have taken quite the tumble. But despite that, and being wrapped by the weather, warped by the weather, uh, they are in remarkably good shape. Let's split up and start checking boxes, suggests Maziah excitedly. So you begin the climb around, looking for food or anything else of value. Set up. Place the characters on the entry space, which is here. Ooh. And uh, place scavenge tokens here to here. So these are fours. I have to then just use our discarded ones. Do we want to use fours or do we want to go back to the twos for easier searching or even the threes? Because now we have a choice, right, of what we put out? Threes are fine, I guess. Ziggy can get rid of one, so maybe I'll put one four. Three but I one. don't know it'll be food. My new Kindle to go. Where's my new Kindle go to? That's where my new Kindle got to. I get okay, it. Let's see how many <laughs> more do we read. need. One, two. Wow. Chris says, "Give them scrap." Uh, Chris, you might not be watching live. You might want to 
rub forward till your your feet is live. Fine by like five minutes probably. Okay. I put out two threes. We Why is everyone saying give them scrap? Yeah, Chris. If when you catch up to this point in the video, <laughs> oh, you just joined. Oh, okay. Oh. So you are live. Are you live? Can you hear me right now? Chris, <laughs> uh, because we were asking the chat to uh, a few minutes ago to give a scrap, but if you're watching oh, this... Oh, in the chat, why is everyone saying that? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we had, a, we had a situation where the birds, we could have given them scrap to help give us water. Yep. Yeah. But you... Yes, you're live. Okay, okay perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you commented it's so late, I was like, man, whenever that happens, I know somebody's not watching live, but they think they are, and they're answering, and it's like, whoops. Okay. I was joking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's all good. <laughs> okay, so all we right. did that. Remove any large enemies from the hunt box. Oh, yeah. See a smoky? Smoky you is can't large. Fit in the truck. You're not allowed in the truck. Yep. Get out of here. Okay, that's good. Those meeklings are large, right? Mm, regulars. They're right. Oh, maybe the maybe the boss they're the is. smallest enemy. Hold no, on. they're so small. Oh, yeah. They're all like super tiny. No, they're all regulars. All okay. right. Uh, then. Place a star token on the indicated space okay. up here. Oh, special packages. <laughs> yep. And then environment cards, heavy objects, low visibility, and the situation is safe. Okay. So we don't know what the heavy object is yet, but I'm sure we'll get some. And low visibility means the range of zero. But if you throw a yellow card, or at least... Yeah, a yellow action card you can ignore the restriction of the range problem. The heavy objects thing is like doing a test. Yeah, just a refresher. Uh, moving heavy objects, a heavy object token. Uh, uh, moving a heavy object token across a dotted white line requires a group task of any attribute difficulty four. Only characters on the space can contribute. When crossing a colored line, only matching colored card can be used to initiate the task. Place all cards played to the group task with this card. Success. Upon success, move the heavy object token and all figures in that space that contributed task. Space in space. Matt's mm -hmm. trolling you. He's telling you do mission 16. He's in the future. Oh, he's just started the video. He's, uh... <laughs> so Matt, you're going to want to scrub ahead. Let's see. You're going to want to scrub ahead one hour and 51 minutes uh, to catch up with us live. So you're going to see this in one hour and 51 minutes when you've caught up. So you're going to want to scrub ahead another hour and 51 minutes to catch up to us fully live. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chris says, this is the first time watching Play Aftermath and straight away I'm interested. If you don't want spoilers, Chris, I would recommend going and checking out episode one. If you don't care about some spoilers, and like you will see some here, but you won't see everything, of course. And you, if you're not planning to play it right now, you'll Yeah, be... if you're playing this months in the future yeah. and you get to this point, you won't remember what we did or whatever. I'm even getting confused. We play a couple times a week and, and I see situations. I'm like, did we get this situation already? I don't yeah. remember the answer uh, because it sounds similar to another situation we had. I'm not sure what the result is. Um, but yeah, just FYI. And because playing this mission, or playing this game, uh, I think we'll see story spoiler stuff when we read the clue things, and we're on clue 7 out of 8, so you may not want to be around when that happens. But you're allowed to pick any mission you want that you're playing. So even we're playing right now mission 9, uh, there's no like story really that uh, you're not going in like a progression order, like kind of Gloomhaven or whatever. So you win this game when all of your characters have achieved their goals. Not when we've reached a certain spot in the story and do like a final boss fight or anything. So we could pick different missions and maybe never even do certain missions. Yep. Uh, and still complete all the goals of the four characters in the game. And the cool part is you have to complete all four goals, or all four characters' goals, even if you've never played with those characters. So every time we level up our party, we actually get to give characters that are in the box upgrades and stuff. We keep checking if they've won or not. And we can switch out characters or you can have people drop in and drop out. Uh, in the campaign, which is super cool. Yeah. Um, but just like you know, you could see some spoilery stuff related to the game for sure. But because okay, so exactly by the time I would play, I would have forgotten. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, like I'm like that too. too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch a bit of a playthrough to kind of see if I like a game or not, and then just like, yep, yeah, if I get it, I'll be playing that later and won't remember what I was watching. Or... Yeah. Um, yeah. But the first video in this playlist is down in the description. Uh, you might want to check out later where we go over like kind of all the rules and how it all sets up and starts and what the the game format's kind of like. Um, but yeah.
Anyways, if you have any questions, ask in the chat. It's all good. Uh, all right. Let's see here. That's that. So did yep, we I just moved that. Yeah, that's me again. I believe it's you. Was it you last time? I don't I, remember. I don't know. It was on me. I think it was. I think it's you because I don't know okay. if I changed it, but it's not a huge. No, it's not a big deal. Not... All right. So I'll draw two cards. Third. I mean, they're awesome. But where's the enemies? Why are there the enemies? But I think <sighs> if you're looking for specific yellows, okay. So I need to get across red. Red. Or you need to spend three. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you. But getting digging for a red is the same as just holding a three. Yeah, I'll just draw. Okay. Okay. So. Um. So you could spend three to get to the eyeball. Read. I mean, these will appear or... here. They come in this opening. <laughs> I bet you're going right to the star, but I or do want to. Go... Here's the problem, though. I have a feeling if we get to the star, it starts a heavy object test. We probably need to get back to here. Enemies are right here; could be in the way. Uh, and if we ignore all this, it might end the scenario before we get to look at anything. Like, remember every time we like find the final thing, it's like, and you're done. Go to your success. Yeah, because there's no exit on this page. Yeah, true. So. So it's probably the way we came in is where we'll have to bring back whatever. Package we pick up that's full of food or whatever. Okay. So I say we just focus on tokens. If the enemies come, I, agree. I, I want to hold cards that are ready to range shoot them. Yeah, even if you're just taking turns to prepare so, yourself. So yeah, I think I'm going to go and start hitting. Yeah, because we want to read the eyeballs. Kind of awkward, but I'm going to spend the white. All right, uh, to move across this line, go to the one. Uh, and the one reads... The lid of the box is loose, but when you pull its flaps open, you receive quite the shock. An angry squirrel leaps out from the box, a couple of small bags of extreme cheddar puffies in its greedy little paws. You're trying to bushwhack me, she demands. I could take on all of you dum-dums. And to illustrate, she cracks Ringer across the noggin with a precisely thrown acorn. Gah, the hamster cries, covering his face. The squirrel jumps from box to box before leaping out of the truck, shockingly rude language spilling from her mouth the entire time. Ah, damn swearing squirrels. <laughs> uh, inside the box is nothing but empty wrappers and squirrel poop. I really hate squirrel, snaps Ringer. And from high above, the uh, another acorn flies down and cracks him over the head. Oh, no. Okay, that was useless. Ah, damn squirrels. Last thing, uh, Chris says, Rob, you are fantastic. Spend time to explain something to help the viewers. That's what I'm here for. Why yeah, be on that's YouTube? how we play live. I'm not on YouTube for me. I can play. I can play on another another table <laughs> and without cameras and lights surrounding me. But I play. It, it, we're doing a live to interact. Yeah. So anyone in the chat has questions ever. I, I forget to say that a lot, but yeah, just ask in the chat. If I don't answer, I miss it. Someone else might answer you in the yeah. chat. Uh, a lot of people in the chat have been watching us through this whole series. So they probably know the game as well or better than us even possibly yeah. and some in the chat like janet if she's if she's around too she's the one that recommended this game to us and has played through it all um and yeah so she knows she knows a little more so yeah if you ever have an answer ask questions don't you don't even have to ask us just ask in the chat generally sometimes uh you get some help great community here that uh just loves chatting about games mm -hmm. and pineapple on pizza and uh what they ate for lunch um <laughs> we're all christmas vacation <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, but yeah, uh, let's go. Do you continue down or do you uh, wait? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I want to keep trucking, so, haha, <laughs> trucking. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I will spend a two green. I want to read these things. You yeah. Know, they might just be story, but maybe they're where Mission 11 is hiding. Because then you can then go easily I there. It, though. But we, we have to I find it. I could also just spend that two green to go boink boink. And then go that way after, but no, are you going to want... No, I would want... never go that exactly. way after. Exactly. Across here, yeah. Stop at two. Uh, spider crickets and moths have been have been. Uh, spider crickets and moths have been eating away at the box, making it easy to tear open. Inside are rows of stack cans with blue plastic lids. The lettering along the cans say "Mix Nuts," and just like that, all of your dreams come true. Now we just need to get out of here, uh, says Ringer. We have to open that loading door. Place the canned good heavy object token on this space. You must get the canned good to the star space and open the door there. That's this one, I assume? No. That's like a... 
Oh. Paint or something. Oh, know. is this a canned good? Oh, the fish? I don't know what the canned good is. Or there's... Flip in the... It probably talks about it. Maybe the front. 11? What are 11? Heavy, heavy object, object tokens. tokens. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So we have a canned good. Like a can of tuna or something here. Okay. Sorry, pass that back. Oh. That item was the milk boat. Oh, yeah, milk carton uh, oh, boat. Oh, no way. I never knew what that was. Yeah, I never oh, put that Oh, that's either. so funny. Thank you. I said uh, that. Janet. Thanks, Janet. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I just looked up and was like, whoa, where am I here? Thunderstone Quest. Uh, that's a game I want to play, too. All right. Reba is here. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. Rules make more sense now. Uh, <laughs> This game developer is the same as Mice and Mystics and Stuff Fables. Yes, 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 it is, it is. Which we've never played either of those, so this is the first one from Jerry Hawthorne or whatever that we've played. Uh, but yeah, I like it so far. Uh, all right. Okay, so we need to get that can to the star. Is that what it said? Yes. Okay. Heavy object test. Heavy object test. Do I roll a die or no? There's no die roll? No die roll. Is it? Uh, it says a read, skill test, though. Yes, yeah, read the heavy objects. Yeah, it just says skill test. Yeah, a skill group, or Sorry, group task. Group, group task, task, no. Sorry, group task. No. Yeah, that's where we messed up before. Yeah. All right. So if I just put these into it, I can move it into this space. Correct, yep. Because what's the test, a four or five, sorry? Four. Four, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just... Yep, and then you it, which is good. Bad putting these greens in there. But I think we'll shuffle. While. Oh, all right. Um, I'll help you with moving across because I don't know. Yeah, I need Go a ahead. red to get because I can't. Block. I know with that three. Yeah. That equals but that three, three. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. What I'm saying. One, two, three, it's up to you, though. four, you five. Can throw it away. No, that's fine. Ooh. All right. Okay. So I'm thinking about going like this way. I'll go this way. Yeah, so let's use one red to cross this line here. But you're near enemies, so be careful. I know. Not that there's any yet, but... Two. Two. Oh, this is a hiding spot too, by the way. Okay. One, two. Uh, dust Feather, or not Dust Feather, excuse me, Ziggy, will get rid of maybe one of your tokens, because you're carrying the can. Give a foreign. could lead to more food could be an item could I be i don't know the threes also might not be i would still just use it on a four okay let's use it on a four because maybe then i can meet you here I'm kind of, oh we gotta clip that uh okay we'll do it on this one an item not broken oh you get today's prize is a bottle cap vest provider <laughs> item Plus one armor, you can wear it in your body slot. If defending against an attack from a figure sharing your space, you get plus one defense. Upon acquiring this item, you get plus one clue. Oh, so that clue gets wasted. Yeah. So I can't hold this. I'm gonna put it in my backpack, backpack yeah. but again, I mean, are you holding I a body? I didn't realize there's more of those clue tokens. Thing. Can I trade you something out of my backpack? Yeah, if we're on the same space, you spend the card, we can do the whole exchange okay. thing, I think. Because I could give you that, because I already have a, oh, a, yeah, true. an I'm wearing nothing like yeah. that. Yeah, I'm already wearing aluminum ar armor. Okay. So I guess then just... But I never really hold blue cards and do those kind of tests. So, I know. But whatever. But just in case. Okay. Then I will do a scavenge test with two on the four. I am likely to fail, but I might as well just try. I fail every scavenge test today. I, I didn't have Ziggy. Yeah, I've been trying to buy Mice and Mystics for my daughter, like to play with my daughter for like the last like six or seven years and she never wants it i keep showing her it show videos show her it in the store try to you know check out the box I, i'm like will you play this with me i will play this with you we don't have to play on youtube i just want to play it with you I kept saying no until this point now she's older i don't know there's other games we just play with her but yeah that's yeah. a game i was i've wanted in my collection for so long but for us it's like i think like 80 canadian or 75 canadian or something crazy and if I'm going to buy it and then literally just play it like once she doesn't want to play it anymore, I don't want it sitting there collecting dust. So. It's not campaign, right? It's like... it, it is a story. Oh, it is it's a story? like this kind of like playing this through a story. Tried showing her the tabletop video with Will Wheaton and all them playing it multiple times to get her excited. She wasn't biting. 
All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, I forgot the three I was holding was my own card, so I, I do can see other threes, uh, twos, or three greens to help range. Those four red you have are really good to get over that red. Oh, yeah. Right so I am going to... Oh, hold on, before I move. So, yeah. Do you search before you move? Yeah, I'm going to search before I move for four. Got it. Three scrap. I guess that's okay. Up to 21 scrap. Where's uh, the food? In this can. In the can, yeah. Yes, that is true. Uh... Okay, so I'll use this four for a group task. I'll move the can up to the middle. Right in the end. Or if you use that, you could come here. Oh yeah, either way, it's the same. It's the same. It would just be if you didn't have to, but you already yeah, have four I'll, reds. I'll do two red, or four red total, two red cards. Yeah. So do it again, move up to this spot here with the... And then I will just move back into the earth one. And sit in there. Do you want to move back into this one? And I can try this when you try that I one. I can't move back into that one. I mean, in the future, maybe, depending on what I draw, but... No, I mean right now. Instead of I moving... I can't. Oh, because you're right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'll you're right. one space away, and mm -hmm. I, it's either here or in your space. You're right. So but maybe I, I could go back. a hidden space because I don't want to get hit if possible. Yeah, you're right. Okay. That's what you're going to draw. Uh, one, You don't two, want to check out the eyeball in the bottom right three, corner? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, we still can. Four, we still can. Five. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I did want to check that out, actually, yeah, you're very right. much so. Okay, I'll, I can go that way. I just had a good hand for moving that can, and I didn't want to throw that away. Okay, I'll go that way, because I can skip the green lines. Oh, yeah, true. So and let's even... move for one here. That is number three. Um, an open box sits nearby. You all seem hopeful it might contain some easy treats to snag. Of course, it needs to be investigated. Go to 55-2. Uh, peeping into the cardboard box reveals a shock that no one could have expected. Inside the box is a dirty pink towel and an old human t-shirt with a rock band logo. Sleeping on the soft bedding is a litter of tiny kittens. Oh no. The implication, oh, this is going to be, uh, this is why Smokey's all, uh, uh, being a jerk probably. Uh, the implication, implications are crushingly clear. The world is going to get very dangerous very quickly. How long before the kittens will begin to hunt? Even as they sleep peacefully, there is no mistaking that they are already dangerous. You get a uh, clue plus one, which we already have we already our have clue, our clue for, this for this mission. We've now gotten three keys on this scenario. <laughs> I felt like there was a bit where we didn't get any keys. Um, okay. But that's it. That's it? Okay. A little bit of story there, I guess. <gasps> yeah, we're going to shuffle. Okay, I'm going to use this to move here. Best idea, and then I'm going to search. A plus one. Plus three, yes. Two batteries. Oh my gosh. At least that... you've gotten rid of some batteries. Okay, so. batteries are empty in our mm. container here, so no more batteries. That's me. One more and we surge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh gosh. I wonder if I'll draw a black card. Yep, just one. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, so in my space. Well, we need to start it with a green. Okay, um, I guess. Yeah. So I'm going to try this four token with four. Got yeah. it. Four food up to okay. 17. Okay, that's nice. good. That's nice. So we have more than we need, which uh. is great. in this hidden spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Birds. Oh, okay. but you need to get across the red line. I can give you all of that if yeah, you want. Yeah, sure. Then I draw less. Okay, so but we're what's surging this, what's anyways. 
first surge, if you're on mission nine, yes. uh, and the trailer door has been opened. I don't think so. No, not yet. Uh, go to 55-3 if you're on mission seven to, to otherwise. Plus one to our time and huh. discard all threat cards from the threat track. Okay, so we don't have so the, on the door next, open. On additional surges, we'll get more time. That's it. Oh, yeah. so we don't get to see what's 55 well, no. Oh, yeah. Because it's just additional. We'll just do that. Right? Okay. The door never opened, right? No, that's where the star is. Oh, okay. We're trying to get the food to the so door. So we went to here first. I so, wonder if we could have gone there I think first without go, the food. Yes. Yeah. I think so. And I bet something would start there and we could have still brought food to it. I don't know. We'll find we'll out. We'll find out in a minute. Yeah. Okay. So that didn't bring anything in. So that's interesting. Just, just, it brought stuff to our colony that's going to... Yeah. Six cards we're drawing right now at our colony when we get back. We're going to lose food. We're going to lose people. We're going to lose... I don't know who knows what else. Actually... Oh, no, I need... But we do have lots of defenses. Okay. I'm we just going to... bug defense. I'm just actually going to keep that now. Get over the red line. Yep. Mind this... you, I don't even need that red because I could... I could do... Oh, yeah, true. I don't need the red either. What do you... What do you... Hold on. Tossing away stuff you could... Oh, yeah, never mind. Yep. Because there's no enemies yep. that came out That's with fine. that. I'm going to... Oh, get through the deck, find the greens. Yeah. We can push it over the green. One, we need a green to start two, it. Four, five. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I don't need these yellows right now either. So I could do a yellow two. No, but that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, yellow two. Hmm. Oh. Then I need a green to start it. I could do like that, right? No. Oh, I can only get to three. Okay, I guess that's fair. That's fine. I just have to get a one or a green to get across uh, to to continue the push. Or okay, yeah, yeah. So I'll do it that we put those on the heavy object cards. They're going on that because that's what I spent for the test. Uh, And then, do you want this? There you go. Okay. Okay, you got a one and a green, so that's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, calamity. So calamity. Check. Five is our calamity. Ten. We're at ten. Oh, no. let's see. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so encounter the hunt. Oh no! Uh, Situate uh, if enemies are in play, hostile. Be, yeah, yeah. yeah. So these guys are all so coming all out. All the meeklings right in there on the can good spot. Okay, and I'm just gonna yeah. shuffle these. But that's okay. We have time. Oh yeah, true. They're not attacking. They're not attacking either. yet. Okay. I guess it makes sense that mice would be in here, right, with the boxes. Fuck. All right. So you only need one. Oh, you need one, one green. To move. Yeah. Move. One green to the group task. Yeah. So we have all. Both yep. move. Both contributed. Whatever. Okay. Okay. So uh, then we're now going let's here. Read the star. The rusted deadbolt latch is the only thing holding the loading door shut. Opening the door requires a strength group task. Difficulty twelve. Only characters on this space can contribute. Okay. Then there's the success test. We'll read after. Do you have any red? I do. I can start it off with a yeah. six to it. That's half. Or I could range attack a silly mouse. No, I think we just hurry. Okay, so boom. I will draw this red up there. Yeah. And a three to it. Yeah. Uh, so, so we're at six. six. That's halfway. That's great. Your turn. One, yes. Two, three, four, five. So I will put this three in to the task. Three, so we're at nine. What? So close, but not enough. I wanted to hit it now. I know. Uh, do you want any of these? Like for attacking or something? Could I can't do anything with these. I think the one. Wait. You want the other one? No. No? Okay. Then I'll just hold those. Heads. Oh, yeah, for defense. For now. Yeah. I guess, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'll throw one red into it to complete it. No, we need oh, 12. 12. Oh, yeah, sorry. yeah, we need three. Ten. We need three total. 
Oh man, give it all those green threes. I know. Oh, but this might end it. Oh, uh, so rough. I would do uh, one and see. I'm giving up the one without my guy's picture on it. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not as good. Okay, all right. so that's 12, so <laughs> success. Uh, okay, uh, success. You finally slide the rusted bolt far enough to give the heavy loading door a shove with your hind paws. It pitches forward, letting out a tortured, rusty squeak all the way down until it slams into the pavement without a loud metallic clang that echoes through the area. Remove all threat cards from the threat track if at any time the canned good heavy object is on this space. Go to the success entry listed on your main mission card. Boom, done. Yes. Boom, done. Did it. All right. Uh, success entry on our main mission card, 99-12. All Uh, tidbit notes the empty look in Whisper's eyes as the two of them pass out sunflower seeds to the wee ones. Later, she makes sure to talk to the young field mouse when they are alone. It looks like it went well out there today, she begins. Whisper shakes her head. Tidbit, we saw something today. Something chilling. The field mouse pauses as if she decided whether to even talk about it. We found Smokey's lair. She's sitting on a treasure trove of food, enough for a hundred colonies. Oh my, that's complicated, Tidbit replies. It gets worse. I haven't told you about the kittens. Whisper watches Tidbit's expression change as the gravity of, rev of the revelation sinks in. Morale plus five. We max out at 25. So okay. we only get four of that. Food plus 10. Yes. So we go up to 25. So we kind of lost like two food there. So we got two more than we needed. Okay. Uh, banish this mission card. And go to page 101. Man, story's getting cool. All right. Uh, side mission step. We did the side mission. We defeated the scorpions. Yep. The 100-24. You have the exterminator's prevention during the event step, step of this mission's colony phase. Go to step two. That's where I feel like we might need this. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, we did the clue step. So we can go to 102 and read number seven. Uh, rumors of a boom in the cat population have the colony spooked. The litter is newborn. Their eyes haven't even opened yet, Mazai explains. They will be old soon enough, and when that happens, they will come. Do you want blood on your paws? Hatch barks. How many of our babies will they kill? You leave the council, but with Mazaya in a mood. Hey, where are you going? asked Grumple. Look, Grumps, I'm not going to kill Smokey's kittens. My pop is scared, but that's no reason for us to lose sight of who we are. Retrieve mission card 7 from the discovery deck and add it to the bottom of the missions deck. You know what's funny? These clues have lined up with the mission we've completed them on. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Which is kind of weird. Seven. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Operation Kitty Litter. No, you must have the toy truck vehicle card in the colony supply deck box to choose this mission. Which we do not. <laughs> not yet. At this moment. So it sounds like Toy Z Mart is really the next thing we should probably do. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Uh, event step. While characters are away on the mission, the colony is vulnerable. Subtract the time allowance listed on your mission card from the value on the time dial on your campaign dashboard. Ten. And our campaign was four. Yep. So we're going to draw six cards oh, man. from this encounter deck. Uh... Oh, let me get out our items that help our colony so here. Where so is we know. all this bad stuff? Here we go. All right, here okay. we go. First one? Yep. Number one. Perfect. Roaches. Uh, it would be a raid. The roaches, they chewed their way in through the plastic before we knew it. They made off with a portion of our food. Let's say take away two food uh, and you retrieve a counter card three from the discovery deck, but we prevent it with exterminators. Which we have. Okay, perfect. Oh, hold on. Oh. Uh, You even counter card three from the discovery deck at the bottom of the encounter deck. If a counter card three is no longer in the discovery deck, retrieve and counter card five instead. I feel like we've done that, right? We've done five. I don't know. Encounter five? Yeah. Nope. Uh, oh, it's encounter card. Sorry. Yeah. Not mission. Not mission. I get it. They're yeah. bad things. Yeah. They're bad things. Okay, makes sense. We prevent that. Yep. Then, 
Smokey was lying in ambush. When a few folks went outside, she was on them before they could scream. It's an attack. You'd lose two population, but we can prevent it with the block of watchtower or the lookout post. We, we have, have the lookout, lookout post. post, so we prevent it. Yeah, that's prevented. Okay, good. Eight. Eight is, some have called for new leadership. There's a general sense of discord right now, and it's threatening to get worse. Challenge, you lose two morale. Prevention, the public council. Oh, we do not have. That's the last thing we don't have. So two morale, we drop down to 23. Okay, that's okay. 26. Uh, hornets were buzzing around today. They must have been scouts from rubble junk. Challenge, go to entry 15 unless you prevent this. Prevention, lookout posts or training grounds. We, we have both. Prevent it. Prevent it, nice. 15. Uh, raiders came on vehicles demanding food as some kind of tax. When we refused, they threatened to take people instead. Attack, lose food and lose two food and or population in any combination. Prevention, rodent traps or junk barriers. We have neither, so why don't we just lose two population? Yep, I'm down. Because <laughs> then we feed take less. Take the people. Yeah. All right. And then one, five, one more, right? Yep. 18. Uh, there's been a breakthrough. Challenge. Your colony, if your colony has a workshop, draw an item and add it to the colony supply deck box. Oh, that They're we not do. all bad. Awesome. Uh, we got rechargeable batteries accessory. Discard. All characters do not discard batteries during this nest action. Oh, mm, cool. That's okay. That's okay. I have no problem with batteries right now, but, I mean, if we're doing that food side mission, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. That. So that wasn't terrible. We lost two morale. That's it. And some population. Two morale and two population. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, we're going to get that population step. back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so at the top of the accounting step, yep. we definitely get one more population. Gonna... Now we can choose to convert, but we're already but maxed we're already on full, food. already full, yeah. So... We're not maxed on scrap. Could convert some batteries to scrap. Two batteries for a scrap? I would do two. Okay, I'll do two. Put some oh, back and this, in the one's, thing this so we... one's discarded. Yeah, yeah. So, so two and two is... two more scrap. Okay. So we're at 23 scrap. Sure. Uh, feed the population. So we have auto 10. So we need to spend 14. We need 14, so that'll bring us down to 11. 25. 11 spare food, sweet. Okay, that feels good. I told you, you guys doubted it. I knew we'd have tons left. We, we maxed it out. Uh, but I guess that was part of the story was doing that for us. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, if your population, not it. Okay, build step. So, so we might as well Yeah, build. let's build the council, what, 12 or? Public council's 10 scrap. Okay. So if we drop down to 13. Yeah. Uh, grab the public council. Yep. Read the card. Upon building it, plus two morale. So boom, we just max back out on morale. Oh. Max on morale. Almost max on population. We were just for max on food. Yeah, it just as upon building plus yeah, two. Yeah. Yep. But I want to read that. Oh, I've, it's the same card. as what you usually read. I didn't read. read it. Oh, okay. Sorry. The structure can be built in a hollowed out TV. When it's necessary to spread information or galvanize the community, the elders can use this platform to address the citizen. Well, it's funny because Matt was saying he wanted to live look, in our TV. So they're like doing entertainment. They got little balconies and stuff. They're doing like a little play. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome okay but that could help us prevent bad things as we just saw yeah going over time is not always so bad not yeah, always but it can now. be yeah once you have a lot yeah, of things once you have all the prevention stuff it's kind of evens out that yeah. you only kind of have a couple bad things happening yeah. no matter what all right check of all our stuff we know we haven't won yet because we still nope. need mission 11 we so haven't seen it here. not moving i need <laughs> so, uh, let's give to you. Yeah. Um, we could do another one right now. Or yeah. just take a break. Do a little break. Yeah, just use the washroom and then. Yeah, yeah. Um, toy truck next? Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, Janet I was thinking too. the same thing. And then do we fast there? I th like, fast see, that's travel what I was trying there? to do set herself up for a. Like, that's the best fast travel, right? Because, yeah. like, the farthest freaking corner in the map. Because um, we also, we have already our 10 food that we have. Toy Raiders, right? Toy 18. Raiders, yeah, yeah. Go try to get the truck. Yeah. I think so. And we have some scrap to prepare ourselves with items this time. Yeah, you can do that. So, Sirhan, I, we looked at it before. We kind of read, I remember, like, a few weeks back, we read up how we thought the fast travel and we were allowed to do the truck thing. So I read about the trucks. It's, like, its own page. 
and you do like a mini game where you're driving the truck and then like the enemies have vehicles and they're kind of like battling with you on a road kind of neat um but we need a vehicle for that we thought the, the roller bikes were vehicles but they aren't no they're just like roller blades yeah they're just for fast travel only <laughs> so we could fast travel the toy truck get the toy truck and that will help us instead of choosing fast travel we could choose the uh the traveling by vehicle option yeah on other scenarios but we also need that toy truck for ringer's uh goal goal yeah so that we need that to finish the campaign anyway we also need to find scenario 11 for me you are I'm good done. uh whisper's good and grumple has the garden grumple is done that's yeah all. grumple's done yeah so we need mission 11 and we need the toy truck and we're done yeah so if we can successfully complete 18 that will do another mission complete yeah <laughs> Yes. Okay. So we need the truck to rescue the kitten. That makes sense. <laughs> that that could be a thing. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, I gotta find my cards. I shuffled this with our cards. And we're turning inside. the kittens into food, right, to feed the rest of our mice. Is that what's happening? Uh, <laughs> oh man, that is me. You? Oops, sorry. Oh yeah, great. Use the car like once. <laughs> <laughs> when will it just give us these at the beginning yeah, and then or just all say, the time? There has to be a way to get these all the time. I don't Maybe know. Maybe not. It's I don't just like always so. a little reward during. And I always thought it'd be something you'd like level up and you'd always get that level three card going forward. Yeah, yeah but it seems rare. Yeah, it does seem rare. Sometimes it gives it to us like when we don't need it or at like time. Or it like, matter. yeah, we've already went through six pages and then we get the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. We're going to do Toy Z Mart. Yep. For sure. All Toy Raiders. Right here, yep. Uh, side mission, though. Could do Exterminators. Could do Forge the Area for more food, which I feel like we don't really need to do. No, so that's I don't a, feel I mean, like... I'm going to say that one. Uh, we don't need Population. And we kind of don't need items. I, I'm going to say just do Exterminators again. Just for the. Yeah, like let's just, let's just keep it simple. That could help us if we take our sweet time. Yep. Um, so I should have not shuffled all this before I was about to put one and four on the top again. That's okay. Get three. Hey, Kanji. Hello. So we'll do one, two, three. Oop. Shuffle these in. So we're doing that one. Uh, put those on top. So we'll have to pick our items too. So now we have some scrap to use, so... Oh, yeah. Actually, let me take out the ones that, again, that are... Yeah, so what we're doing next, we're going to do uh, Mission 18, for those just tuning in. Uh, mission 18, and we'll read the start of it and everything, but we are going to uh, do fast travel, go to D4. So we're going to hit up Toy Z Mart. So basically, we're going to Toys R Us in this little world. Yep. And we're going to use the Exterminators again as our side mission. I just set that up. Uh, like this. And we're just going to take like a three to five minute ish break uh, and we'll be right back and we'll start number 18, mission 18, to try to go get a toy truck. Exciting.
right, we're back. All right, so we're doing mission 18. Okay, okay. Um, timer is set to zero. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we want to take just, for a minute? Yeah, I, I know I'm taking these, so, or maybe not. Maybe oh, I'll do yeah, the... I didn't put yours back in. Maybe I take this. Holy items. So we can take one for free, and then we do have 13 scrap. We don't really need scrap for anything else anymore, except for maybe possibly doing a trade. Okay. I'm going to spend three of the scrap to pay for spare ammo, fish hook, and I'm taking the needler for free. Oh, needler? No, didn't you want the other no, one? No, I want the more expensive one for fun. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. the same. One just has one more range. Um, but if, I, if I'm getting one for free, I might as well take the more expensive one. Yeah, and that one range, I mean, that could be a lot. Uh, the thing is... Fish hook. Uh, maybe I don't take the fish hook because I have to keep switching it back and forth with spare ammo. So, yeah. Maybe in a toy store, though. You might need to be climbing up skids of uh, oh. shelving to get to skids of toy boxes and stuff, but. Okay, for free, I'm going to take. While well, you think of that, if I'm going to take. You don't. You can carry that. I would say that might be good too. Good. I can take the aluminum for free, the aluminum armor, because that costs four to repair. So that's so good did, to have. Did for we free. spend any here? Did I do any of this? No. I didn't spend I any. I spent one down to twelve. Okay. Do I bring Ziggy? Ziggy was helpful. Yeah, but then I do. Is there two one-handed? Maybe instead of the green lines, I just worry about two one-handed uh, items. You could take this range one and this melee one. Kind of give me a little bit of flexibility, right? But you could also just throw this in a backpack, and if I, I don't know, it's tough know. to say because this cool crossing the dotted lines or crossing the green lines as dotted is huge. Yep. But we're going right to where we need to go. I don't know how many other pages. It might only be that like final scenario where we're on one page. Who cares, kind of thing. True. Like we're already in the toy mart, so maybe we don't need to go through multiple pages. But also for fast tracking, we might need a bunch of this scrap to turn into food, so... Yeah, I am thinking about going with your guys' suggestion and your suggestion about taking the corkscrew. Yeah, just to... I, I think it's a I great think... weapon. So I'm thinking if I did... So that would go in my backpack. But yeah, I could hold two three. items. Yeah, I could... Sp yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend three. I wouldn't two, buy another three. weapon just because... You would just take that? Okay, yeah. Cause like... Yeah, because then I'd have to take... So I think we take Ziggy still, right? I have one battery. Oh, I need a battery for this, unless you want to share your batteries with me. Okay, mm -hmm. then I take Ziggy for searching, because then maybe we can not search as much. Unless you think the fish hook might be. Do I put the fish hook in my bag? Or... No. Oh, I got to pay one for that. I wouldn't pay for both of them. I only pay one. That's it. Uh, you think that would be better than Ziggy? Fish hooks helps us get around. I don't know. You you was using Ziggy in like the space you're oh, in. Oh, we need batteries for fast travel. So yes, you're oh, right. Oh yeah, Edgar. So you hold, keep that one back. Hold that. We're not gonna take Ziggy in this one. We'll take the fish hook. Yeah, but remember you can find batteries along the way, so you can always pop a battery on any one of these at any time. Yeah, but then that's. But one. I know, I know. So I put that back. That cost one. I just added one more for this because it cost two. But I can hold all these. Five. I spent one. Is that fair? So we spent six. So, so we should. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then those two, so yes, thanks, Edgar. Those traveling. are for fast travel. Yeah, yeah, I, forgot I forgot about that. Get rid of these. Okay. So fast travel. Okay, so let's read. Boy Raiders. Ringer has done his darkness to convince us our, of our need of a truck. Hatch gives Ringer a friendly smirk. So be it. Ziggy has given us an overhead image of a toy store far on the edge of our known region. If we're going to find a vehicle in good repair, this seems to be the only likely place. So we're going to need to obtain the toy truck as the mission goal. Available travel methods on foot. So I guess there's other ways to get vehicles. You go there by vehicle for six road cards. Or fast travel for plus three. We're going to do the fast travel. Plus three. We already spent our two batteries. And then we're going to 93 uh, in the book. Yeah, discard two batteries, add the list of time cost. And then, okay, okay. And then so move 93 up right there. in the book. Boise Mart. Enter the playground is their tagline here <laughs> on Toy Z Mart.
like a, one of those rides outside of the yeah, store yeah, yeah. that they had at like grocery stores back in the day. Cool. I guess you could read it like that. Oh, yeah. if it's easier. Boise Mart, start. If this is your first time on this page during the campaign, read the following. Otherwise, skip to page 95. Mommy, can I have this? Tamara looked down at the packaged action figure her son held up. Marcus, put that back. But I want it. A young, young man, Christmas was less than two weeks away. Marcus frowned at this logic and stared down at the captain decapitator. As if its legs were squeezed, the captain even delivered... Oh, if its legs were squeezed, the captain even delivered his signature action punch to help us pose. I need this one, though, he persisted. Don't you have, like, two captain decapitators already? You don't even play with them. That's because they're not this one. This one comes with five heads. And he does and he does the spine buster. The others don't. Tamara groaned, uh, or Tamara groaned as she compared two different Susie B. Fierce Fashion Diva dolls. She couldn't figure out which bored, disinterested-looking doll her niece could like most for her birthday. The packaging on both dolls assured they came with plenty of fierce attitude and the promise that girls could do anything, but Tamara wasn't sure that promise was fulfilled. Exasperated, she set the toys back on the shelves and looked down the aisle. The shelves were piled with plastic garbage packaged in innovative boxes. The store was noisy from all the toys, crying out like carnival barkers, begging children to notice them. I love you, walked an automated parrot. Its servos whining loudly. Look at me. Its box promised all sorts of automated fun that children could have with the bird. But Tamara figured that every recorded phrase and animation had been designed to attract kids to the store, not keeping them entertained once they took it home. Bingo. <laughs> what a bunch of crap, she said, suddenly struck with how worthless almost every item in the store actually was. Uh-oh, you said a rude word, Mom, uh, shided Marcus. But she was no longer there. Neither was he. Oh. I love you, Squawk the Parrot. Go to page 95. That was definitely written by a parent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But it is true. Exactly. All these toys, everyone buys these toys. They think they look amazing in the store in their boxes. They look all cool. And we know this from being a parent. We yep. know this from having nieces and nephews to buy stuff for. Yep. And it's like, it's all garbage. You get it. You The kid opens it out of the box. They play with it for two seconds and throw it in the corner. This is where we're going? Uh, I don't know. This is where we start. Oh, this is how we probably have to, to get, get in? in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Look at all these green lines, too. Okay. Okay. Uh, plus one, and then read the following. So we're going to four time out of six. Okay. Did they see us? Asked Grumple, pressing herself up against the cool concrete of the wall. I don't think so, whispers Mazaya. We should ambush them, urges Ringer, as she loads the thumb back into his blaster. How many are there? I'd say three or four, answers Whimper, uh, sniffing at the air. I smell engines, too. Probably the black blade bikes. Crossing the parking lot is treacherous and tiring enough, but now it looks like the only way into the store is a favorite hangout for a pack of bikers from Rubble Junk. You can smell them and hear them arguing and boasting. The toy store doesn't offer any food, but it is rumored to be an excellent source of scrap, and the junkers want to stake their claim on the goods. Setup. Oh, so there be no food here? Okay. Awesome. Well, I guess it's a toy store. We'll see. Uh, okay, place characters on the entry A space up here. Okay. Also, exit A. Uh, okay, scavenge tokens on the indicated spaces. Okay, so we still get food that way. One, two, three. Uh, encounter number of random junkers equals number of characters. The loot is four scrap. Situation is hostile. Good old junkers. Okay. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, this does have one of those sewer symbols. But do we have a sewer symbol on our car? No, so we don't care about it. Right, you can only use this exit if the main mission has a sewer yeah, yeah. symbol on it. Yep, so we that haven't off. had any with that. Yeah, so far. But we'll find some, I'm sure. Uh, this one is number one eyeball. Enemy space here, enemy space here. Then we have exit B, also on the sewer space. And then we have, or sorry, entrance B on the sewer. So 
Well, it looks like you can travel okay. through the sewers to get here. Oh, okay, okay. And B is here, but it's got the red little traversal symbol. So it's like a strength test of four. Yep. Yeah. It didn't tell us to... So are we allowed to read A and B exits right now to know which one we should go towards? Uh, I think so, yeah. You're always allowed to read the exits. If you're on mission 19, once all characters and meeklings are on the space, nope. 18. Oh, okay. Okay, so we can't even do that. Uh, B, which is going through the tube, which I would assume. Yeah, character on the space and on mission 18 can exit by passing the red traverse skill. Okay. So yeah, we have once to go through Once all characters B. have exited this way, go to page 63. Yeah. Okay, okay so we're exiting through B. Okay. First one, scrapper. Okay. Second one, scrapper. Two. Okay. And situation was hostile, yes. Loot is for scrap. Oh, there's exit C, too. Oh, I didn't even see We're a leaving C. by this exit, move your party to an adjacent space on the travel map. Which we don't want. Oh, so you could do, like, how do you... Well, it must be with the vehicle stuff. Yeah. And they're talking about mission 19, so maybe you need to go here for mission Okay, okay. So I see. I don't get what's happening here, but okay. I guess you would fast travel here to stop and do something and then have to go to somewhere else after. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Want to see who's going first? Sure. Minus one. Thank you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rats. Okay, I got a black one. All right. You guys both only have one health, so. Oh. One wound. Six seven and, and six. Seven. Yeah. Six. Back of six. I feel like that's got to happen. Um, I'm going to oh, don't go if I do. Oh, that's yeah. That's fine. Uh, so I'm going to attack this scrapper with the six defense for six. I don't know that you can see him with the white lines. Oh, you might be right. Uh, hold on. I'm up here. One, two, three. Yes. Oh, that one. And I have four can. range. Oh, so. that's this one. Is oh. that, does that matter? Oh, I see. This guy, yes, I don't see him. Yeah. Okay, so I'll attack whatever okay. guy I can okay. see. So he's seven defense. I'm attacking for six. Yep. Yes, you got it. Okay. Sorry. What's that other guy going to do? I probably should check uh, that. <laughs> he's going to do one, so he's going to do a pot shot, a range three. But he can't see us where we are, so if we're, yeah. we're yeah. fine. And he doesn't move. But I might be okay with that. He doesn't move? No. One, two, three. Yeah, so he can hit us anywhere, but... But I mean, not where we are, because he can't see I us. I know, anywhere out here. Oh, I yeah, mean, yeah. Sorry. But if you just stay there... I know, but why? Okay. You don't take a hit? But I guess it doesn't matter, really. And... Green and green. That's gonna. Or go down and start searching, and then, like, because we probably want to search. But I want to save reds for that test. Oh yeah, yeah. We want to search. Yes, we want food. Yeah, we want food, and we want to read the clues. No, I'll stay. Hold. Okay, so then. Um, but. Actually, gonna give. Oh, these... fish hook for traverse. Yes, yes, yes. I will do that. Oh, we have that. Yeah. Oh, you have it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. It was your good idea to bring that. It yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So don't worry about the red card. Saving the red cards. Oh, okay. Okay. But. We have a three to get across the green line. I don't have my chops if I. Oh, yeah. Right? True. So I have to use green cards too together. I don't know. Do you want a couple search? Do you want yeah, a... I'll go down and search on my turn. He's going to go now, right? He's going to go now, but nothing's going to happen. No, he doesn't move and he has range. What of cards three. do you want? The... You can take up to three. Yellows for sure. Do I take the red one to make it? Yeah. yeah. All there right. We go. Only okay. two. That's fine. So he goes. This guy's he like, goes, doesn't yeah, attack because he can't hit us. Okay. Then I have these three. Can't hit us because of solid white lines, for those who don't know. 
So these solid white lines block uh, range attack and crossing it completely. If it was a single white line, they could fire over it. Yeah. It's going to go again. Two does the same thing. So. But you can. And he can hit anywhere we said. I do not have a defense, but you're right. Maybe I just can take one. It's fine. Moving for two. One, two. Any fighting space? No, no, right? And then I will just search. I try twice. Because then if I get it on that one, I can move into like the next 50, space. 50 on the die yeah. to get a plus one, two, or three. Yeah. Here's We're going to try a one on the two. Nope. I'm gonna lose it. Should have probably. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That was oh, bad. Ga that was a bad gamble. Uh, so this oh guy yeah, goes, he's gonna go. He's he going you, to right? hit me, and I have no defense. So. Five, five cards. Guard this red. Uh. So. I just do the mark thing. Just oh, yeah. Just my line of sight. Yes, you just. Or more. Three. And. Okay. Uh, so then I'll you use to... my. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Read this. number one. Yes. What the heck is it? asked Whisper, her eyes filled with fear and caution. You crouch, ready to flee if necessary. The strange lizard lies on its side, not moving. But it doesn't smell dead. Strange lizard. In fact, it doesn't smell at all. It's like a toy oh. dinosaur. Uh, Ringer pokes it with a twig, <laughs> then starts giggling uncontrollably. Plastic, he laughs. Okay, that didn't help us. <laughs> but now you can now you can take it out. All right, so I'll do a crack shot, spending three to inflict one wound on an yeah. enemy within your line of sight. I become marked. But does but marked think, go away when, when it's, when it's safe? safe? I yeah, forget. Yeah. Yeah, when you receive a wound, leave the map or the situation becomes safe. Yes. Or another even... character is marked. Yeah, yep, yeah. you're good. That's always good to do it I on the last finish. enemy. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. So oh, now it okay. now feels a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to search for three. Nope. Two. Scrap. Up to nine. Um... Good search again. Yeah, I'll do it again for three. Got it. Got it. Uh, two scrap. Up to 11. Okay. Me. Done. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Out. Or you need a search if you can and then get it. Good search. Not a huge deal. But, I mean, we're seeing tons of scrap. Greens. That could be food or batteries. You need greens to get out too, though, right? Yep. So. I'm just going to do it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I don't. That one is just going to stay there. It's fine. So um, a green two or a green three test will get you like bang, bang, right, right in there. Yeah, I'll give this to you to get you out. I can use this green one to start. Oh, but then I can't. Um, can I add another one to make it? No. With the move, do they all have to be green? I think. Or I just have can. to start it with a green. I think you just have to start, oh. but I could be remembering incorrectly. Is it each movement? If action cards played are of the same color, your character can cross a matching solid red, blue, or green line. Yeah, for one movement. So, I could just move for one and stay on the great. Because then, if you get other green cards, I would save that for the next. Or if you use one green card to move and just sit there, or... That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Or... Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then we'll see what you get, you get, you draw. And I'll probably just ditch these. Okay. Oh, and then I can use my fish up, though. Yeah, yeah. On the traverse. Hi. If you want to pass... Uh... Yeah, you use a three and pass me the one, then I'm out yeah. for sure. All right, so I'll use a three. See ya.
Yes. Yeah, because then I only draw two. All right. Okay. These. Yeah, for now, because I don't want it. Dude, yeah. only two. There's zero way we can hit the. Yeah, you're um, right. One. No worries, man. Maybe back. We may be here soon when you get back, as we learned last week. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yes. And we get the reward of four scrap. Yes. Thank you, Edgar. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Four I was scrap. In there. One, two, three, four. And do you have your chopstick or toothpick? No. 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 Uh, okay. So I will just use one to move back. Assuming Matt Here. needs to go to the toy store. And move out. He, got, he just got reminded of uh, <laughs> some toys. He's go by now. Save those. <laughs> this one, just for fun. Oh, what's two food? Two food, yay! Couldn't find the food. 13. Sorry about that. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, I was I just, see. I was just clearing the page yeah, yeah. and just wanted to see. Okay, so sorry. Uh, when we left ooh. on B, we go to page sixty-three. Oh man! Plus one time, we're at five out of six. Uh, read the following. Human dwellings are strangely filled with small space. Bleh. Human dwellings are strangely filled with small spaces the humans themselves could never use. Now they are gone, and little creatures have access to all the big open spaces humans had built for themselves. But there is something comforting about the cozy confines of walls and ceilings, and it is easier and safer to get to the upper levels by the old methods rather than using open stairs. Never use the stairs. You tiptoe out onto a wide wooden beam and survey the surroundings. Light streams up from below through uh, rotted holes in the ceiling tiles. You need to take care. Sometimes raccoons make their homes in ceilings and could be quite grumpy if awoken. Setup. Place characters and any meeklings on their character cards on the entry space. So it sounds like there's another mission where you can bring meeklings here. Okay. Look at all these red cards we need. Oh my god. Uh, well, there's a lot of white lines here. If it's like the red lines are if you want to go off the path, yeah, it looks you're right. like. Except for the exit over here. Uh, place scavenge tokens. Oh, sorry. That's Two me. right here. Okay. okay. Uh, remove all large enemies from the hunt box. Place a trap token on the indicated space. And environment cards rodent traps and escorting. Oh, that's good. sorry. And this gets me. Escorting rodent traps. That situation safe. Uh, vulnerable allies. If any meekling is defeated or left on this page, go to mission fail entry listed on your main mission cards. Wow. Okay. Uh, so rodent traps. When a character moves onto a space with a rodent trap token, it must make an agility test difficulty three. Best, the character moves safely into the space. Failure, the character receives one wound and becomes trapped, but you get one food and remove the trap token. Retrieve the rodent traps card from the item deck and add it to your colony supply deck box. So that can help with, with preventing stuff. Yeah. And escorting. Character in space with one or more friendly nomads may escort up to two of them. Friendly nomad can defend. You add some numbers to dice. We read this if it actually happens. And when we perform an attack, you get a plus one bonus for each friendly nomad on your space up to max two. So we'll, we'll revisit that card if we get nomads. Yeah, I'm wondering if we hadn't fast traveled, if if we would have had meeklings with us, or maybe just that mission nineteen. Or thing, yeah, something. And there's, yeah. there's something else that will be back here for some other reason, probably. Okay. Okay. Maybe so not. Maybe we find some right now. Maybe. Uh, but there's no encounter, so that's so great. So do we switch the bookkeeper? I, did. I just did. Okay. So funny thing is, you can go so, around this trap. Yeah. So, so I do. Uh, have a yeah, red. if you go here, because red and then out red. But then you have to go across this red, then go up here. Because this I whole space, this whole middle part is all one space. So you have to cross like out here and go up this way. Can't go up here. This is all white solid lines. So you cannot go into the space up in the top corner. Uh, the exit says, if you escort a meekling onto the space, place it on your character card. And only use this exit if the situation is safe and you are on mission 16 or 19 on 18. Okay. 
when leaving by this exit if you're on mission 16 go to page 61 if you're on mission 19 go to 75 if you're on mission 18 you must find another way to exit oh so we gotta uh, okay so we gotta so read the thing it's through okay. this light bulb thing or through this crack here look at this light coming up through the hole i bet it's this number one okay so, or, or number three <laughs> okay so i'm gonna keep my cards then because oh, i wow. have some things i can do with them we have a puzzle and oh of course okay so sorry we're gonna nope. okay uh so let's do one red we'll go here let's do one blue Oh, maybe. Every time I Sorry. I mean, I'm sure most people watching are just put their head and all works. Like <laughs> they just watch like this. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of like we're. we're gonna... And then after a four-hour stream, they're like, "Oh, why is my neck hurt?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna use this one to move into this space. I feel like we need information. Okay. Two. Let me go. Coming across an intact electric uh, electronic component of some kind is always great opportunity to scavenge valuable parts for crafting things back home. Here's is the backside of a lighting fixture, sure to offer some choice scraps. Look through the tokens, the search scavenge tokens, including those previously discarded for three tokens, showing the sca uh, scrap prizes and place them on the space. Which is the same thing as that transformer. Oh, Just okay, another way to get well, a bunch of scrap. These are the ones we've discarded, so there's two. Then, okay, we'll take that one. Okay, that's not helpful, and I don't care for those scraps. Yep. So let's use this red two to do one, two. Yes. Number one then, says, if you're on mission 16, go to 63-6. Nope. Uh, if you're on mission 18, go to 63-4. If you're on mission 19, go to 63-5. We're on 63-4. Okay. Looking through the hole, you see a darkened toy store with collapsed rusty shelves and packages of toys strewn everywhere. A shopping basket half filled with dusty stuffed animals sits abandoned in the middle of the aisle directly below. Well, perfect place to land, I think. Uh, the stuffies look like they would aid in a soft landing. <laughs> yep. Uh, treat one as an exit. When leaving by this exit, go to page 97. Oh, okay, yeah. so one is where I just what? Oh, where's one? Oh, this one. Yes, yeah, so you can just drop through there if you want and leave. Right now? If you want. We don't care about the scrap and you don't care about checking number three, which may, may be something <sighs> different. Maybe this is a harder landing. Maybe it's a better landing. No, I think we need to go out there. They're obviously I've... two different spaces probably, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I think we're going this way. Let's not worry about the other way. Okay, I'm down. Uh, can you use this at all in your aid of getting uh, across? So to get there, what do I need to do? I need a red. Yeah. And then I need two reds. And I need just one. Or you need a three. Yeah, three and three a three. And a three. Yeah, okay. yeah. I have one set of three here. No, I don't. Okay. Need, so, you can't oh, even give I, that to me anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. You have too many cards. Okay, never mind, never mind. How many reds have uh, come across so far in the discard pile? Yeah, I just got... I just got... Oh. Three twos already in here. Three ones. There is only a two left in the deck of red, okay. is what I think, if I remember. But a two is good. If you have the three already to get over the one line, then a two gets yeah, you there. but there's still quite a few cards. So I am going to toss this one before drawing. Three, four. There yeah. Is. There's the two red. That worked out perfect. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's, let's use this blue combo of three to get across into this section. It's two red for movement to go across one red line, two red lines. And yeah, I'll oh, use... I exited. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I yeah, exited. Yeah. I'll use the defense to go here and okay. we're out. And then we go to page, if you're on mission 18, go to, oh, 2 4. Yeah, so we're going to 97. 97. So we'll get rid of all these tokens, discard them. And 97. We start a new mission. Yes, yeah, sorry, we started a second mission. Yeah, we're on mission 18 Toy Raiders. We're yes. hunting down a toy truck on this mission. We're trying to get into a toy store. How many missions to the game? We're not sure yet. Because there's still missions that we don't have available. Yeah, we've banished a bunch. We yeah. have a bunch available. Some of them are side missions. Some are main missions or could be side missions. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to do all the missions, I'm pretty sure, in the game. It's your choice. Yeah, I think but it's... some you need to, I think. Yeah, of it's course, branching, get... right? So we don't know. Yeah, yet. and we unlock certain missions. We're on other missions that we then could do again next time we play. Yeah. I would estimate probably like 25. Five, but I'm, I mean, some of those are side missions. So I don't know what it goes up to. Yeah, but, I'm not exactly sure. But we've seen up to like 19 already 
I'm assuming that goes from 1 to 19. Oh, Jana played 18. Jana played 18 missions. Okay, that makes sense. We could go back and check based on videos how many, but exactly. Uh, how's the replayability of this game, I think? Don't know. Hard to say right now. Not sure until we're done to know, like, did we yeah. cover everything? Is there still stuff left uncovered? I don't know. There's stuff we passed that we didn't interact with, but we might still have chances to interact with it. We may see a lot of this, so... I would probably say it's pretty low on the replayable scale, but if you have, if you want to play it again and you're interested, you put it on the shelf for a bit and you have other players to play with and add a different player count, I have a feeling it might have a different feel to it and you could play it again. But it is a story kind of campaign game. So uh, yeah, of course you have missions that you never encountered, but yeah. would you replay this whole game just to try to get that one mission again or those two missions you missed or those couple mice you didn't talk to the one time or gave a different answer. I don't feel like it changes up too much on the playthrough and all the story stuff from the clues will be the exact same. All your goals are the same. If it came up with expansions to give different characters and some different missions and stuff. Yeah, like another um But I, I don't know if that's going to Another happen. box like this that has all this. Yeah, karate kid video or karate videos and more it says uh, expansion might require exactly yeah, what I was just yeah. thinking. And it does say in the rule book that expansions were planned, but that was also before uh, Plat Hat Games, who originally published this game, lost the rights to this game and has now gone to Z-Man Games under Asmodee. Uh, Plat Hat has broken from under the Asmodee umbrella and lost basically all their most popular IPs, which are now owned by Asmodee, and they've spread them among other publishing houses. So based on that, we may never ever see anything come out for this game anymore. It doesn't sell well enough, and Asmodee just might keep printing it, just the base game and selling it that way. Uh, or stuff might be in the works and maybe they work with Jerry Hawthorne, the designer, and they're like, hey, I already have this all done. You can print out a couple expansions. It's sold enough. Maybe maybe we see those or not. I don't know. Yeah, one thing I've always said too is if you play through a campaign kind of game, if you play them with different different friends or a different gaming group, let them make the decisions and then, it, you know, yep, it just works. play along, have yeah, some fun, you just play enjoy, along the, with enjoy them, the story. And you let them make the decisions because you might remember some of the outcomes. But these, but these type of campaign games are not meant to be replayable. This is like you're playing through a story. I, I believe this is like for the price, you're getting a ton of hours of game out of this. Put it on the shelf or give it to somebody else. Yeah. Sell it used, whatever. And then go get another campaign game. There's so many of these games out of books like this. There's so many other campaign games. If you're into campaign games, there's so many other legacy and campaign games you can just move on to after this. And there's ones always coming out. So I don't see a reason why you're like, need to buy this going like, I have to play through this at least three times or it's not worth my money. I, I think playing through it one time, if you enjoy it, it, it's definitely worth the money. We've spent hours, hours. and hours yeah, in sure. this world already. And I think it was like 65 Canadian or something, maybe somewhere between 65 and like 80 Canadian, I think, which I don't know what the MSRP in the US is, but it's probably around like the $60 range but for $60 to spend I think somebody in the chat was saying like 28-ish hours or something hours, like 14 yeah. sessions 28-ish yeah. hours yeah uh so let's say like 30 hour game yeah like and then for divide up that cost like two dollars an hour yeah yeah uh, I think it's worth it if I can't replay it I'm okay with that like yeah you spend $15 on or whatever 15 20 25 dollars on those like uh escape room games like unlocked or this. exit or whatever but they're a one hour play yeah yeah you can get a whole bunch of them and forget what was going on and play them with different people and trade them and all that kind of stuff but like that's like twenty dollars for one hour yeah but then if you look at it like we play together so maybe slightly different if you're just playing with a game group we play together if we were to go out to a movie it's going to cost the oh, same yeah. amount of money so, yeah. Anything, for like two and a half or like three hours like but you know little... what i mean like yeah, for us to go dinner. out and go have for like dinner. exactly yeah. go for dinner so, instead of eating at home. Yeah, so we look at it as like. Although dinner is not really an entertainment thing for me, but no, exactly. But some people that's why it is. I say like that's why I say movie because you go to a movie and you can yeah, spend like it's like entertainment. Yeah, it's like, well, I want to be same, distracted for a few hours. Yeah, yeah, in the same category and for the for the value of of what you get for this versus that. So. But you could also spend the money on a movie, not really like it, feel like it was a waste of time. You also could spend that uh, kind of money on a board game. True. Play it once for two or three hours and be like, that wasn't really worth my time. True. And not like it. There's still that risk to it too. So. All right, Chris has dropped some knowledge here. We got some insider info. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, we designed four small expansions that will be released at some point from Z-Man. Oh, that's oh. cool. Good, good news. He's just intended to give extra characters, equipment, enemies, etc. Any further support will be entirely Z-Man. 
That's what Jerry said on BGG. Oh, cool. So they'll probably just release those expansions and stop unless yeah. this game sells gangbusters. Because based on BGG, the amount of people owning it, the amount of people rating it, and that kind of thing, the activity and its overall ranking, to me, doesn't give me the feeling like this is a game that they're going to be printing for the next five years. Right. I feel like it may get another print run, maybe. Or if it if it gets like a boost from being on some popular, like more popular YouTube channel or somehow reviews just bump it up even more, but I feel like that chance has passed. But I don't think a few small expansions are going to boost it up and make other people go out and get it if it's all it is is just add some more variability. Part that bugs me is those kind of expansions, if they're not adding a reason to really replay through it, it would have been nice to have those up front. Like those kind of expansions, small ones that just add a couple characters, add a few items and stuff, I feel like those you want on your first playthrough. Mm -hmm. so i feel kind of like i'll never probably buy those but if you're watching this in the future and those expansions are out i would get those expansions up front and start the game fresh with all that stuff and play it all together if you really know you'll enjoy the game if you play these other story games and you like them yeah i think oh, brian's 60. saying 67 dollars on amazon yeah which considering which, the amount of hours but you gotta like you the gotta story like the game. yeah you gotta like the gameplay you gotta be okay playing it either solo with two characters or have a group to play with if you have a group to play it with and if there's four people that you can have meet up and play this story through with you the whole way, you don't need to. You can jump in and jump out. But then we're getting crazy with the amount of value per dollar. So if I'm playing a game solo, and I said that $67 divided by my 28 hours by myself, that's still an amazing value. But now I got Mel involved, and let's say I had two other players involved. So now all of us are having a night of fun, and all we you know, bought a couple of beers or whatever, and we're playing this game every week you know that's that's a pretty good value i think yeah like i wouldn't complain if you can't play it again after that one playthrough and those small expansions probably only add like another 20 maybe 30 dollars probably to get all those extra cards and stuff jammed in the deck in the game but miniatures also probably right mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah once you start adding more players if you can consistently have four players around a campaign like that's why the pandemic legacy i've had this exact experience with the pandemic legacy games mm -hmm. for example or any legacy game if you're going to play it all the way through and you're playing with more than just you like the value gets crazy for the amount of entertainment versus dollar. Even if you're just throwing that game in the trash when you're done. Like it's it's crazy if you actually sit down and think of it. But there are a lot of people who are like, what? Pandemic Legacy? I can only play once? Blah! But man, after you play that like 18 times, you don't really want to keep playing. So you're okay putting it on the shelf and you definitely yeah. got your value out of it. It's yeah. an experience. It's an experience. Going to the movies, you don't get to bring that movie home with you after. So... And that popcorn and, and all that junk food you ate, it's like, it's all gone. That was like a one-time thing, and you probably regret half of that. So, or more. Especially if the movie wasn't very good. Yeah. So anyways, these are just the things that I think about with games. So when people bring up the replayability um, uh, argument or concern, I kind of like, first I look at how much of the game costs. If it's like a one-time play kind of board game, and it's like an hour and a half to play it, and I'm spending $60 on it, I need to play it a few times. But if after playing it once or twice, I'm not interested anymore, I feel that was a ripoff. That wasn't the greatest game. But if I can find other players that want to play it also, and at different player counts, and I can bring it out every holiday or something, then I kind of like, all right, I'm investing in it now. I'll play it more later. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these campaign games, they're like huge value. Even I though you're so, like, yeah. oh, it's not really replayable. You'll play more hours of these campaign games than you might play of most Euro games, possibly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, once you figure out the strategy of some of these Euro games, uh, you know, if you don't have other players to play with them and challenge you with them, especially the competitive ones, you know, sometimes those can be looked at as a very poor value. Especially if they have lots of fancy bits. So that's my thought on it. Rip up a card. Oh, oh no. I remember the first time we did that on camera. Oh, my gosh. You could hear people screaming from their couches. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> Um, sorry, one quick question uh, about Nemesis. Uh, is it, uh, question: How about Nemesis? Do you guys already have it? We'll finally have it in a few days. How, how, are they delivering already? Or, or you found a way to get it like used or something? Uh, for Nemesis, it's something we always wanted. Mm -hmm. I see it as an, as an item in the inventory of some of our local game retailers that we order from online. But it's never been in stock for like years ever since it was like available it supposedly came out but people pre-ordered around here and it was sold out instantly i've never seen another another wave of it ever come and i've always had it on my list to check every time i go to place a board game order it's just sitting right there saying out of stock always in my wish list 
on multiple stores. I'm assuming with this recent Kickstarter, they're doing another wave of Nemesis for retail in that print run. They'd be stupid if they didn't. So I'm hoping whenever that Kickstarter starts delivering the first copy of or the first edition of Nemesis or whatever, not the new version or whatever, the lockdown or lockout or I, I forget what it's called. called. But uh, the red box. But when the blue box starts shipping, I'm hoping it starts showing up in retailers also. And I will grab it from retailers to support my local games. We did not back it on Kickstarter. I don't need all the extra fluff. I don't need the second version of the game, this lockdown one. Feels a little money grabbish to me. I just want to get the original game, which I know is very good. And lots of players have told us that we'd probably like it. So I just want to start there. I feel like that we'd play enough that it'd be okay. But I, I didn't want to buy the second one they're coming out with. I, I just get worried that they're just trying to... Feels like a, a kind of a money grab on the on the IP, on the hype. But I could be wrong. It might be better than the original version. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, we are about an hour west of Toronto. So we're like southern Ontario, I would say, from Ontario. Yeah, yeah, southern Ontario. And uh, Chris brings up something that I guess is different for us versus other people is in practice, we have so many new games to play, so we don't worry about replaying Correct. old games. However, we do love to replay old games. We love to bring old games yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not all we're about not, the new hotness yeah. all the time, for yeah. sure. Uh, I love cracking out old games that I kind of know how to play. I can get back into them kind of quick, and I don't have to sit there and read a 40-page rule book. Yep. Um, but yeah, I love pulling out older games, especially when I haven't played them in a while, and they, you kind of like, you have a new new look on them sometimes, but... Uh, no, Jim, I haven't checked out the solo stuff for Shaolia. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to do any of that stuff yet. Yeah. But it is on our list of games to look at. I just haven't had time to sit down and, like, get on a computer and just go through, like, all the games you guys have been recommending to us yeah. recently. And also, I know I have time before that Kickstarter is over, and I also need to reach out to them to see. Yeah. Are they want to promote it? Will they just send us that stuff eventually? I, I don't know. They reached out to me for the first game and said, Hey, you guys might like this game. We watch your channel. Do you want this? I went, sure. It looks cool. Like, from my research, it looked like a good game. And I was right, so. Yep. Um, and Reese is here. Good morning, Reese. Hey, good morning. <laughs> great that you have a wife that loves yes, to play, too. Yes, it is yeah. very great. <laughs> very, very great. <laughs> okay. Especially I, during COVID lockdown time. Oh, yeah, because imagine you had been playing solo, like, exclusively if I didn't play with you. Yeah, that's true. Because we couldn't have people over back then. Yep, yeah, at the beginning. So. Or Chelsea, our daughter, would be playing with me a lot, too. Yeah. But no, I definitely like it. I have a question for everyone. Did I have this in this mission? Or is that from the last one and I didn't uh, You got it? shot outside of this toy store by a, that rat Thank in the you. corner. Okay, or perfect. that junker guy. Perfect. And I think we're changing the page, so I think that is going to you now. Okay. 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 So my turn. Well, we got to finish. I don't know that we finished setting everything up. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. I think so we, we placed our characters on the entry space. Yeah. Uh, which is where? Oh, it's hard to see the entry space. Uh, oh, right here in the oh the toy oh, basket. Oh, we're in the buggy. Yeah, we're dropped in the buggy full of stuffed animals, which is surrounded by uh, double white lines on this side, so we can't go on this half of the page or okay. this this side of the page. Uh, we can't cross these white solid lines this way. The only way we can go is dropping through the bottom of the buggy, but Do it's red, red so it takes a little bit to struggle through that stuff. Gotta. We gotta drop down to the floor. That's funny. That we fell into the buggy with. Okay, and then uh, place a star on the token space. Which is, oh, here's the toy truck we want. Oh, yeah, we it's want still that. Still in the box. It's nice and new. Okay, uh, situation is safe. Perfect. No food. All food prizes on scavenge tokens are considered to oh, be scrap wow. instead. Okay, that's okay, fine. That's okay. We, we still can take like 10 more scrap yeah, and, and we can turn some of that into food. Yeah. Just to get us to the feeding 25-ish worth. We have 10 covered. We're at 11 food. We have like 21-ish of food covered. So that's fine. So even, is it just, yeah, all yeah, food. All but food. batteries are still normal. Keys are still normal. Items are still normal. Yep. Okay. Um, red. But there is no search tokens. Not yet. But remember, it will do like the kind of like, oh, put you them see out. a bunch of stuff here. Drop some tokens down. Yeah. Oh, you didn't read it. They're saying. Sorry, they're saying. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, plus time. one time. Okay, we're at six. Read the following. Whisper lands softly on a stuffed pink pig with a big raffle, a rattle that makes an unexpected noise. So much for being stealthy. Rumple lands next, face first, into a stuffed hedgehog, which leads to an awkward embrace as she struggles to find her feet. Ringer bounces off the nose of a giraffe and lands gracefully on his feet, while Messiah gets lost in the tentacles of a purple octopus. Look around for a big yellow box. Ringer holds up a tiny piece of paper ripped from a toy catalog. 
On its picture, uh, on it is a picture of a yellow dump truck with big fat wheels being played with by a monstrous human child. Why does it say sale in big red letters, Ms. I asks. Oh, says Ringer, I think that's why they scream when somebody bought one. Or I think that's why they scream when somebody bought one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, starting off, I don't feel like I want these cards. So I'm going to toss them. And I'm going to draw six cards. Although we know the reds are all in the discard pile, but maybe I'll get something else. Calamity. Okay. Six, six. plus. We're at six here, so if I can okay, get a minus. Okay, negative is good. Nope. Oh. So we hit the calamity. So go to 97-3. 97-3. Trespassers. Standing at the end of the aisle is the Rust Lord. His corkscrew attachment begins to spin. Man, that guy is jacked with battery-powered everything, moans Whisper. Encounter, Rust Lord. Loot is an item. Situation, boss style. After I just tossed I a green card. Rust. Yeah. The Rust Lord is our big can guy with the... Show, show him up on the thing. This one? Yeah, yeah. This My favorite a, mini again. Yeah, Mel's favorite mini My to favorite paint. My favorite mini to paint. So fun. Maybe because he's so big? I don't know. <laughs> uh, he's going here. Oh my god, he's very close. I don't know if the toy truck has batteries included. It doesn't. This writing is like not even real letters, so we'll find out, I guess, when we get there. Ooh. He's up here? Yeah, he's very close. That's I mean, So he's got to go down this way, though, and then meet us. So we kind of like. We just need to get to this damn toy truck ASAP, I think. Yeah. Hopefully, there's not some stupid thing on here where it's like, you got to the truck, but now you we need to go back to it. two to go get. Oh, carrying it. Please oh. not. Please not. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Uh, what's this guy? Oh, oh he's a boss. So yeah, he's, he's got two wounds, nine defense. Yeah, so he can do... He's large. Oh, six, six, and five on his hits. He's got no range. Oh, his first two have no range. He moves for two. His second one, he has no move, but he has a range. All right. So... Oh, just to know. So wounds inflicted are toxic for one. Uh... After attacking, if this target has an item equipped onto its body, break that item. Nope, I don't. Or for three, it's a lighter. Place a fire oh, token on crap. target space. Put the fire environment card into play. That's terrible. The fire was terrible. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use, uh, oops, I'll just use three movement to get over this red. Yeah. Sorry. Because I can't, floor. I have to be my, it has to be my turn to use the fish hook, right? Like I can't use that yeah, before you correct. do that? Okay. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. True. Well, but you can use the fish hook to get across here, but we also can go in this way. Yeah. Well, but if it's quicker to go that yeah, way. You might need that fish hook to get out anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I dropped the three to get across that red line. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to go read. There's going to be scrap tokens all over the place. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we need to just get here. And then maybe it'll tell us we need to get to one. So I could do one, two, three to get Because if we in. get here, we can read the star. It's on an instinct test. Yeah, I'm going to use three moves. Let's get okay. into the start. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah. No eyeballs along the way. This is a hidden spot. Uh, okay. This is it. Help me get out of this. Help me get it out of the box. Ringer stands before a large box with a clear plastic viewing window. Inside is a shiny new honker truck. It's glorious. Getting the truck out of the box requires a strength group task. Difficulty 12. Only characters on the space can contribute. Okay. Oh. Mm, yeah. Not happening on my turn. Uh, but I can... One, two, three. Fire range on this guy. Yeah, because we needed him twice. His nine defense. I can drop it by four down to five. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. So before rolling the resolution dice when performing attack with the ranged, I'm gonna snipe him with two. We drop him down to five defense. Okay. So that's for this test attack. And then I'm going to play two, three, four, five, six. Six on five? Yeah. I don't know. It's okay. Yes. Got him. Got him. One okay, shot. One, one shot out yeah. of two. You sniped him. And this blue, I will, if you want it, I give it to you. Don't. I would probably just discard it. Okay. Uh, but maybe, no, maybe I keep it because he may go. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So maybe I don't discard. He might come for me though too, but whatever. I'm okay. I have no, okay. no wounds. I think this is the end of the mission. We get the toy truck, we win, probably. We need to dig for reds, so that's why I'm just going to yeah. get rid of it, but it's up to you. This will let me draw less. 
Uh, but you might want to draw more to dig. Oh, we know the shuffling. reds are not in there. You want to go to the new we're pile. shuffling anyways. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's... Let me just hold this, and I'll discard this. And then I'll draw one, two... Oh, okay, so what is this? Don't rip the box. That will lower the value, says Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Okay, so he is going to do a move of two only. He has no range, and wounds inflicted by this uh, are toxic. So if I can get three away from him, then he can't hit me. For you uh, one two. yeah if i can get to you then you won't be able to hit me yeah oh so ghoul how, how old are your brothers all brothers because like we had our daughter playing like decent games at like five or six kind of i think but it took till she was like eight before it was like all right she can play like games that are like 14 plus kind of thing or like maybe once once they start reading, fine. But yeah, well, depending on what you're playing, if it's stuff that's open information, then yeah, you if can you're playing co-ops, yeah, you can work with yeah. them, and play whatever. But if they have like a hand of secret Just... cards where they have to do things, then yeah. it's a little bit a little bit more challenging. But all right, need. Uh, I only have one. Uh, two I had. Thank you. Okay, so no red. Oh, I hate. I can't. I can't use that three. Do I just fish What's hook he doing it? On his turn. If, yeah, you fish hook for sure. If I fish hook, then I can move and I give that to you. Yeah. Okay, fish hooking. What's he doing though? He's moving for two. So if I can get three away, then he's good. He can only move for like one, two, or one, two. He's kind of like stuck there, so he's fine. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna fish hook there. Then I'm gonna use a move of one. Range on that attack no, for sure. Okay. For sure. Um, move Twelve of... and eight. It's fine, but I still can't play sight mm -hmm. perfectly. So yeah. Oh, I understand that. But a twelve-year-old, you should be able to play sight with and but... teach them. Yes, yeah. they won't have like super high-level strategy or anything, but you should be fine. You just kind of have to like handicap yourself a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Um, but then again, it's not as fun. Yeah, players. We, we've tried yes, that. Yes, you can do PvP. You're just probably at a way yeah. huge advantage. Yeah. So the only thing you can play is like games where like it's two versus one. So what you do is you play games where like you need to be the enemies and like play descent or something with them. Let them be the heroes and play together. You help them with rules and you just be the bad guy. Or things like that. You could try with them, just have some fun uh, playing a little story mission with them kind of thing if you like adventure games. Yeah, so if you're looking at playing like Euro E competitive, you know, point salad -y games, they're not gonna that's yeah. gonna be too much for them for sure. And I think you'd be able to play a story game like this, like uh get mice and mystics or those kind of games. You'd be able to play through a story with them. Those are that's a little more dumbed down than this, like aimed at younger group. If you know of mice and mystics, maybe look at that. It's similar to this, but yeah, and if everything's open information, you can kind of yeah. let them make a decision yeah. and then kind of guide them in the more optimal decision yeah. if needed. Yeah, you're going to have to find some co-op stuff. But you need to get them playing games, any kind of games. Yeah. Get them playing games now. Play often. And I did that with our daughter. We started playing like the most basic stuff. For a bit, I was playing Pokemon card game with her just to help her get understanding like math, competitive stuff, whatever. Uh, and she was beating me, like, I was building her better decks, and I was taking, like, starter Pokemon decks, playing against her, playing with, like, actual tournament championship winning decks. I would find them online, build them, get the cards for them. Give her, like, a tournament winning deck from Worlds, for Pokemon, and have her playing me using a starter deck. Uh, and just fun like that. So, that was just to get her into playing cards, making decisions, that kind of thing. But so many other games from a young age, just playing, getting competitive, learning about winning or losing... Working together, like strategy, you know, we play Love Letter was mm -hmm. one. We play competitively Love Letter when she was younger. All different versions of Love Letter that are out there. So like Batman themed one she loved, she loved the Hobbit themed one. We used to play that and her eyes lit up. All it was is draw a card and choose between two to play. But when she figured out she did something wrong, she wanted to like play right again right away and try to figure out what she did wrong and play again. The simple little games like that, you need to keep playing games with them. Don't sit there and, and ignore them until they're old enough to play Scythe. You need to spend that time, even if you're not happy, spend that time playing games that, like, let them crush you, let them figure out these basic, easy games that are boring for you. Play them, because that time you put into that, you will then build better opponents when they're ready to play you in sight without, you know, spending that time. you got to get them into gaming 
and play lots of games with them all the time. Just yeah, because it's building going. your strategies yeah, and yeah. building that thought process. Sometimes it's not always intuitive. Yeah, and that, that will get them thinking and, and the math and the analytical skills will start developing a lot faster and you'll get them into it yeah. easier. Especially if there's a theme that they like. Right, as kids like there's a lot of board games that have themes that oh, maybe like uh so yeah he plays things where ai is against players or how you said stuff like doom where i am bad guys and they are good guys. oh okay so you yeah. do that already okay yeah. perfect. okay that's perfect professor rob's ted talk yeah. I, I side change this all the time on here chris i do this all the time somebody comes in and asks a question i'll stop especially in the middle of a campaign because people watching this later can scrub through this stuff until they see us moving things around again i know there's someone left comments yesterday complaining in like wingspan i was like chatting with the chat and they actually put like at this time in the video you spent three minutes not doing anything in game and then at this time in the video you spent four minutes not doing anything in the game but it's like uh, but it that's... was a live stream so like yeah. i was chatting and we were having side conversations i'm just playing wingspan digital man but there's recorded wingspan digital videos yeah. out there if you just want to watch yeah, yeah, like yeah. straight video those. i'm not doing the stream fully 100 percent to be like watch me silently play wingspan digital and click 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 <laughs> really fast i'm gonna <laughs> discuss stuff and have fun yeah that's part of the live stream format right yeah so yes. That's what we so, do differently than other people, yeah. Yes, if you, it, chat is entertainment. It is, it is. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> other people may, watching later may also be like, oh, I never thought of that. That was a good point, you know, yeah. even if they're... <laughs> we're hanging out here playing a game, man. You yeah. go to the game store, you play with people in a, in a board game store around the table. We're simulating the, you come to the game store, pull up a chair, you're at Rob's gaming table, we're going to play the game. And you're not going to just sit there and only talk about game with them. You're going to chat, oh, hey... You know, oh, you have any kids? You know, like, oh, you come here and play often? Uh, oh, I noticed in your collection of games you brought to the store, you have this. Or I saw you bought some stuff. What was that game you bought off the shelf? You're going to start chatting about games, right? Well, yeah, that's that's what we're doing here. So that's, yeah. that's for those who are new, which I know a couple of you are, that's that's what we do here. So yeah. for those watching later, you can scrub through it all, okay? If you don't want to listen to me <laughs> side tangent, not answer a question, scrub. Scrub till you see us moving again. Yeah. What did you have for lunch? What did you lunch? have for lunch, says Brian? All right. So we, uh, uh, we actually didn't haven't have had lunch, lunch yet. <laughs> I, we ran some we ran some dry roasted almonds uh, into our mouth on the break yeah. so that we weren't hungry while we played the second one. Yeah. But we will probably eat a bigger dinner after this. But yeah, yeah we didn't I, really we lunch. Had, we had I had breakfast like right before we started. <laughs> yeah. So did you? Yeah. 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 So. Tuscan <laughs> sausage pasta. Oh my gosh! Oh, Everyone on, talks about such good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Janet. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Ramen for me. Yeah, that's, good. that's why I eat yep. a lot of weekdays before I stream. I just have some ramen. Spicy it's like, ramen. Yes, yep. it's lighter. You'll see me sniffling at the start of the stream. You know, I just had some ramen. But yeah. Yeah. You're about to have lunch? No. We'll probably skip lunch today and go right into dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Because we had breakfast right before we started streaming. We're just hoping to get some onion snoodles and some cheese in this game, but yeah. now the toy store is not giving us food, so I don't know. We're going to be hungry. Yeah. Studio, garage, living room? Uh, basement. We're in a basement. We're in like a finished basement, kind of a big area in the basement. I think it's supposed to be in this, like a rec room yeah, uh, yeah. that we've turned like, into like a like, family room or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like yeah. a basement rec room that we've turned into like a yeah. studio area. And then we have like an office on the side of it that yeah. I use for streaming our digital playthroughs and stuff in there. Yeah. Jalapeno Cheetos again. Oh no. Yeah, I do want those. I'm going to look away from the I chat. I just want now. jalapeno something. I'm going to pretend like they're not talking about food. We're and then we were watching the something that there was jalapenos and something else that we were watching too. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want something okay. spicy. Okay, so now I'm going to move so for two. I back use my... to our regularly scheduled program. That's okay. One, <laughs> two. Oh, and I'm hidden there. Oh, that's even better. I didn't even realize. Okay, that's good. I can't get to you to start the strength test yet, but that's okay. So, Russ Lord, I'm just pulling this closer so we can read it. He is going to move for two. He's just going to do like one, two. He has no range, so all good. That sucks. He's the only enemy, so every time we draw like a black card, he's gonna keep going. I know, but you could potentially. That's why I wanted to give you that three. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Draw five cards. Oh, one more question. Do you do this full time? I do. Mel doesn't. Yeah. Mel does not. So on weekends, that's why you'll see Mel playing with me. Evenings. Or if weekends, we're playing yeah. evening Eastern time, you'll see Mel involved. Or if she's on a holiday, sometimes you'll see her in the daytime. Yeah. Uh, but I, when I'm streaming just by myself, it's usually while Mel's working in the day. Put that one. Uh, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. No, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, is yeah. that all your cards? Oh so, yes, I do it full time, but Mel is just like kind of on me in her spare time. Yep. Uh, all right. So the, just FYI, he's going to at range two do that whole lighter thing. Place a fire token in the target space. Put fire environment card in play. For five, 
And it will be you because I'm unfortunately hidden. Yeah, but I'm gonna so yeah, rip I'm just his saying, face off. If right you now. miss, that... I'm gonna get no miss. No, 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 <laughs> no miss is happening. No, here, no, no, no. We're not gonna miss. Good, good. Don't miss. But I don't want to waste strength cards because that goes towards a group task, right? Right, what? a strength test for the group task. Yeah, but if he's gone, then it makes the group task easier. Yeah, I know, but I'm holding cards that could oh, add yeah, into yeah. like an attack and make it like hit for good. But I could also use this blue. Yeah, if you start with two. Yeah, yeah. Let me do this. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. He has nine, though. I have white cards to drop it. I think you just use what you have, and we'll worry about the strength test after he's gone. Because him hitting us every turn, like we said, we think that this might end it for yeah, us. Yeah, so I'm just so. going to take this attack here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because the n cards I play after, for those that don't know, uh, when you start a test, uh, the cards after it have to match color or number. So this green is good. This two matches the two that I started the test with. Then, because it's agility, I can add two more here and two more for my weapon because it's a range attack. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? Yep. So eleven on nine. So eleven on nine. Then Got I it. add this plus two to thirteen. He has a defense 11. of nine, so we add a plus two to that. He's dead. And got him. Bah. Nice. Oh my god. Look at that. Junker, Russ, Russ Lord, Lord, the boss of the, of the Junkers. This makes sense why he's here. It's thematic. Yep. All right. So then I have these reds left. So the strength test was where uh, strength task difficulty 12. We started with the two or the three is the question. You know, or the or one. Three? One or the three. I'm going to start with the one because that's more of a common card. Yeah. Um, but it might take longer to get this. there. And then I will hit it up with a three so we can put it to four Total right four. now. And we need what? Sorry, 12. Okay. 12. All right. And the situation is safe. Yes. And me, right? Oh, item. Uh, Where is him? Is that where we were? Oh, Russ Lord, item right here. Oh, thanks, yeah. Edgar. Oh, my God. We, we like to not so give ourselves rewards ever. I know. Edgar's got <laughs> our back on that four, one. Five. Edgar likes making it the normal difficulty. We like making it harder. Uh, War Spork, melee yes. weapon, two-handed. You can throw a battery on this thing to get an extra plus one to melee attacks. When attacking, you may re-roll the white resolution die once. You like uh, re-rolls? Yeah, but I'm not melee attacker guy. Oh, you, you got this. Uh, that would be me. Yeah, you can just put it in sure. your backpack. Sure, you backpack. Because it's non-broken, so we get it. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we are going to put... Oh, I gotta space. come in first. So let's move for two. Here. I'll add these two to the task, to test, to six. Um, can you do anything with these cards? So I'll just hold you them. You could go them. to the two if you care about, like, finding scrap or something. No. Or these spots to see, but... No. No? Okay. I think that this... Okay. Unless this yep. is not... I'm good. Yeah. It's just the finding scrap is the only thing I think that really will happen. You might run into some enemies. Do we have enemies. enough food? We don't. Oh, but it says we no food anyway, food. so it doesn't matter. Because no food, I'm not as... Yeah, but scrap can be turned to food, remember? Oh. So that's why I'm, I'm throwing it at you there. You good? Okay. All right. So let's throw uh, three, four, five more to the test. One away. Okay. okay. Surge might happen. But if you hold those, yeah, you'll keep... draw a one. I'll All draw... you need is a one. Yeah, okay, Anyone. you're right, you're right. I just need a one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're oh, luckily, man. luckily. And when you draw the first two, I was like, <laughs> oh, she's not gonna draw one, I'm gonna look like an idiot. <laughs> one. Okay. You could have counted the ones in there and see the odds, but Okay. So we are successful. <laughs> okay, so minute. success says it's a lot harder than it looks because the toy is attached on the inside of the box by a half dozen twisted wires and one plastic <laughs> binder that requires sawing. Why would they do this, Grumble Snorts? I believe it was a test of strength when your answers. Only the worthy could wield the power of this truck. If the situation is safe, remove the last two threat cards placed on the threat track. Each character that contributed puts their influence card into play. Go to 97-4. Okay, it's not over yet. It's not over. It oh, yeah, so this will away because this is done. <laughs> this is zero. 97-4. Okay. Right. Okay, I need these items. Ringer lists off a number of uh, specialty components he needs to get this vehicle running. A character on the star space can try to jumpstart the truck by resolving an instinct skill test difficulty 10. 
Instinct skill test, not group test. Instinct skill test, difficulty 10. You may spend scrap or batteries to reduce the difficulty of the test by one for each scrap or battery spent. This is why we need other scrap. All right. Okay, but I have, look at this. I have nine right here. That's like... Yeah, but you get a minus on your white die roll and it's a big waste. I know, so... I'm just saying. But I'll chuck those and I'll draw. It's your call. I mean, it's not even my turn. It's your turn anyways. It's my turn? Yeah, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, because... Well, you just contributed. You kick this off. You keep going, right? You oh, haven't you're, ended your turn. Oh, you're right. You you're just right. Threw a you're one right. At the test, right. You're right. How did you have six cards? Because this came into my hand. Oh, just now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Derp, 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 I only derp. used that one to, yeah. So it just shaded one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I could try it. I mean, do we need to do a skill test difficulty 10. No bonuses. Or do I give you this? I give you two threes, so you have it, but you have the bonus of one. Oh, from this instinct. Yeah, yeah instead Maybe. of me wasting. Not that it's a waste, but if I lose, I'm just worried that I lose. Uh, if I get a one white, I can reduce the skill test also by one. Team focus. Um, I also could use a, a white one to re-roll the white die during a skill test keep the new result i could give you those those or i could give you this and you and you decide what you draw because i can only give you two cards well, what to say okay, so you have nine and then you hope you draw a white or we wait one more turn i draw and then i oh i can't pass back to get more than five. could just try but then what if i miss i know but i could still miss too but i have the better chance that's so, what i'm saying okay throw me the cards okay so everyone. i'll give you that one and then yep. of these what other card do you want to make it work okay and then I'll stop, yeah. I'll search Rob Tess. Search what? Go and find some scrap. Go run around No, the I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Why not? You're not going to do the test. Go. Spend some cards. Get some stuff through the deck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then let's do a move of two. Here, even if you no, want. No, no, no. That's fine. Keep those. Keep those. It's fine. You can do a move of two. One, two. Yeah, but if here, you could use this for an ins a search test. I just take this three, right? And okay. And it's like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, two. This stuff could be useful. Maybe this is what Ringer is talking about. There's a variety of radio controlled boats and cars still in the boxes. Add two search tokens to the space. So I only have two twos left. Yep. Okay. So, so all of you scrap unless it's an item, a key, or a battery. Okay, so then I guess I'll search. But we could use scrap to lower the test. Got one. Which you could have just done it because we could have spent a couple scrap and then dropped the test down. I'm scared. Two food. Which so becomes two scrap. scrap. We're up to and 17. Then I guess I'll just do the other one just to see what happens. Got it. Got it. Which is two food, but it becomes two scrap. Okay. And then you use the scrap that you need, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm going to draw three cards. Oh, black. Wow. Uh, okay. So what you can, okay, so you may spend scrap or batteries to reduce the difficulty of the test by one for each battery. So hold on, I can get okay. to, so the worst that can happen on the die is a minus two, let's just say. Let's yeah. make this happen. So you need 12. Total. So one, four, seven, ten. And then do we reduce it by one? Then you then you auto pass. No, no, we need to do by two. So one plus nine is ten. Minus two brings us to eight. We need to get to ten to succeed. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. So it's a difference of two. So if we go down to seventeen, which is fine. Yeah. We pass. Yep. I okay. roll plus three. Plus three. Of course. That's okay. We still wanted to, yeah, we yeah. still wanted to pass. Okay. Uh okay. Success. The engine roars to life. Retrieve the toy truck vehicle card from the discovery deck or colony supply deck box and place it near the play area. Go to page 23. Oh no. Oh no, we're not done yet. Oh, okay, we're not done. toy truck. Place See? it beside the play area. Okay, so the toy truck has a whatever that's for. Uh, five health life? and four defense. Oh. 
Got a credit card attached to the side from N Bank. Got like a light on top or something. I don't know what this is all for. The foam pad so they can bump into things or okay. push things. Okay, we'll just put it here. Uh, so we come off the board, I assume. Yeah, we're going to page what? Twenty-three. Uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, sorry. You got to... Oh my gosh, I thought that was the end. No. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, look at this toy drive. Oh no, toy drive. we're not done yet. Time plus one. We go to seven out of six. Okay, that's not the worst. Read the following. The plastic tires on the toy truck spin on the slick floor as Ringer pushes the acceleration lever all the way toward the back. Or forward, sorry. The back end fishtails a couple of times before finding traction, then you are off. I'm going to be sick, moans Grumple. If we can get to the loading docks, we can use the access ramp to get out of here, shouts Ringer over the whine of the engine. Uh-oh, we've got company, announces Mazaya, as a couple of blade bikes piled with scrapper rats emerge from the checkout lane. Well, if Grumpy pukes, point her at them, suggests Ringer. Set up. Choose a character to be the driver and place its figure on spot A of the vehicle schematic on this page. Do you want to be the driver? Whatever. Yeah, you drive. Sure. Okay. I'll be a passenger. Uh, no. No? You're going to be the driver because oh, this is if, bad. if I can range a shack from the back of the truck, oh, okay. that would be sick. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. That character's player becomes the bookkeeper. Okay. Uh, each other player places a character on spot B of the vehicle schematic. Do not place any scavenge tokens yet. Place the toy truck standee on the large number oh, one space. I didn't even get that. I think that's that one. Yep. 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 Here's our truck standee. There's us riding in the back. Oh, Jane is on the same page as you. Mal, you drive. Rob has range attack. Yes. Ah, see? Oh, and don't yes. let Rob drive. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you guys are... Okay, I'll drive. Don't let Rob drive. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking real life. Real life, Rob drives. <laughs> well, not always, but yeah. Well, if we're together. Usually. True, yeah. You're just like, can you drive? <laughs> okay. Place toy truck standing on the large number one space. Encounter. Number of enemy vehicles equals number of characters. Place the standees on the closest available enemy start symbols. What's the enemy? Number of enemy vehicles. Oh, Here. is that like this? Oh, look, look, look. Hold I think on. it's like these. Oh, here. Enemy vehicle, enemy vehicle, enemy vehicle, enemy vehicle. Yeah, it looks like these ones. Oh, the enemy vehicle cards can be found among the vehicle travel cards. Okay. Oh, I think this is supposed to be our party marker. Yeah, but we just use a big rat because that we can't see on camera. We talked about that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That was in our first episode I know. only like a month ago. I forgot. I just never saw it in there. It's been a while since I looked through these tokens. This is the best part. Don't let... <laughs> oh, this is the best part. Okay, okay. Well, this is the best part. Buckle in. Uh-huh. We need two of these. Two of these, yeah. We got Skate Raiders, enemy vehicle scaled ones. After attacking with the Skate Raider the vehicle, one space, or Skate Raider, one space toward the target vehicle. Three movement, four range, seven, yeah, collateral damage. Whoa, okay. Only so one, that's this one, seven damage. Okay. The next one is Blade Bikers. Oh, we gotta look at the errata, I think. There's some guys. The blade bikes? Blade bikers. Not oh, blade, blade bikes. bikers. Uh, boarding attack. Counter one scrapper. Place on spot B, the character vehicle diagram. Oh, so you can have guys jump on your vehicle. Oh my gosh. Okay, so where are these going? Not sure. Not sure yet. Okay, you we can didn't read, read that the book. Far. Uh, no, 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 that's fine. I just didn't, didn't know if we said... Uh... Place the standees on the closest available enemy start symbols. There's one here. Do we put them both on the same? Nope. Put them out. Where do we want first? That's fine. Blade Why bikers don't... and sure. yeah, blade bikers are. This is less... our skate raiders. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh. All right. Situations hostile. No, really. Uh. All right. Special rules. Vehicle speed. Your vehicle speed is equal to the last numbered space it has passed. Play starts with the vehicle going at speed one. Oh, one, two. Oh. Okay. 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 Defending with vehicles. When a character is the only target of an attack, they can choose to defend normally or defend with the vehicle. To do this, roll the resolution dice. Add the vehicle's defense value to the white die and add the uh, damage of the attack to the black die. If the black die total is higher, place a wound on the vehicle. Otherwise, the attack is blocked. Collisions. 
If your vehicle moves into a hazard symbol space, which I'm assuming is A, B, or a, a, B, B, C, B, B, A. Oh, yeah, because then look. A, B, C. Oh, okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they're just not right. that exact okay. symbol, but they're just triangles. Yep. Uh, resolve the matching effect in the hazard symbol entry bar in, in the side, or entry in the sidebar. If your vehicle moves into a space with another vehicle, both vehicles receive one automatic wound. Oh, so we can just ram them. Okay, moving enemy vehicles. Enemy vehicles will move using normal enemy movement rules. They will not move into the hazard spaces or other vehicles. Broken down vehicles. If your vehicle has as many wound tokens as life points, it becomes broken. Go to the mission fail entry listed on your main mission card. Oh, no. Scavenge tokens. If your vehicle moves into a space with a scavenge token, you may collect it without resolving a skill test. Cool. Driver. The driver player cannot move their character out of the driver's seat, spot A. At any time during the driver's perform action step, they must move the toy truck directly forward the number of spaces equal to its speed as of the start of that move. Okay, before, during, or after moving, the driver may perform any number of the following actions. Activate ability, encourage, or equip slash trade. Okay. Activate an ability. Mm -hmm. Of these mm -hmm. you can encourage so that's giving cards. me cards yeah. or you can we can trade, trade stuff or you can switch your backpack stuff okay changing lanes you could do move your vehicle one space to the left or right this requires passing an agility skill test difficulty equal to your vehicle's handling value oh which i would assume is the four it's the four all right push the acceleration lever move your vehicle forward one additional space this requires passing a strength skill test Difficulty equal to your vehicle's current speed. So a one oh, strength okay. test is so not... it's harder later. Yes. Um, scout place a scavenge token on a scavenge space within line of sight that hasn't already had a, a scavenge token placed on it. This requires okay. passing an instinct skill test. Difficulty equal to your current speed. Passenger during a passenger player's. Uh, during a passenger player's perform action step, they may perform any number of the following actions. Activate an ability, encourage, equip, or trade, or ranged attack. A melee attack. Only enemies on your vehicle can be targeted by a melee attack. Push the acceleration lever, as described above. Scout, as described above. Or grab loot. Collect adjacent scavenge tokens. This requires passing an agility skill test. Difficulty equal to your vehicle's current speed. Replacing a defeated driver. A passenger player must move into the driver's seat spot A at the beginning of their turn if the driver's seat is unoccupied. Doing so causes the player to become the driver. Lewis, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Welcome. Don't okay. break your toy, Rob. Yeah, know, okay. Right? Okay, so this is, as Jana says, this is a puzzle. So... so this stuff is not needed, I guess. No. no okay. Just... So I'm first. No cards. Oh, great. Three, four. Is there on this one? I think so. Yeah. Yep, right here. Oh, I didn't even a see that. A spark from the hasty... Oh, so six. Roll it out. Plus, Plus two. two. We're at nine. Oh, it yep. goes through for sure. A spark from the hastily rigged engine causes fire in the truck. The char this character becomes on fire. Okay. On fire. Grab a little fire token, I think. On fire. Before the draw step of each of your turns, you receive one wound. Removal. Enter a water space denoted by blue lines or a defense skill test difficulty for minus one for each character uh, on your space. But the, I'm not on your space, so okay. yeah, that's bad. All right, we're going to just... Sorry, when does this happen? Uh, before oh, the draw step. Oh, but you can step. spend a white two to remove it? Yeah, but I can also just do a defense test. If I started with this, that's one. Uh, that's five. And then I got to roll, right? Yep, roll away, die. I mean, let's just try. Oh, let's add one more. Because, yeah. Because I want to get rid of this on fire. Uh, yeah. So that is six. Uh, two, four, six, yeah. Minus two is four, got it. No more wounds for me. No fire for me. Yeah, was I supposed to take one? No, no. Uh, oh, okay, four okay. draw steps. So it would be like the next turn you would get it. Okay, so now I can move the car... Or change lanes and all that fun business. Okay. Uh, I wish this well, was like on a separate. Well, the car moves automatically. Oh, sorry. Was that supposed to happen already? No, no. It says at any time during the driver's perform action step, they must move the toy truck directly forward a number of spaces equal to its speed. But 
I could move lanes during or first. after your movement, you could do any of those things. Okay, so it's going to move one. Where are some bad things? We don't want it to hit C, right? So we kind of want it to move. Yeah, you kind of want to go left to the one, left, which is uh, change and lanes, an agility test equal to one. I don't even have. Like we got to pass cards around in this one, really. Okay. But I could also range you... attack and try to kill one of those dudes. Yeah, but I'm worried about the collision, like this, running into this. Do you want to pass me in agility? Or... I can't do it right now, so... Oh, okay, I passed you. Sorry, like, sorry. It's yeah. on my turn. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> anything else? Yep, no. Sure? Yep, I can't do anything with this. Change lanes, push accelerator, or scout. Place a token. Oh, I could scout. Place a token on a space within line of sight that is... Uh... So I could put a token This in. requires passing an instinct skill test difficulty equal to your current speed. Of one. So I could try that. Because what am I doing with this? Nothing. Got it. So a token can go within my line of sight. I don't know what's worse. Hitting C, hitting A, or hitting B. But either way, you hit one. Yeah, but I just don't want to hit more than I need to. Okay, so we're just going to put one, two. Well, we're going to hit C no matter what. This is my line of sight. Oh, no. It's only in your turn you go forward, right? Yeah, yeah. And you could still drive out of the way. Yeah, that's in one. But I you're right. We are gonna hit one because it makes it so like there's there's no I know. no way. It's annoying. Let's do. But that is the least path. Yeah, no, let's... no. Let's go up the left side. Yeah, let's go up the left side. Okay. okay. Done. Done. Okay. One, two, three. They're gonna oh, go. They're gonna go. Just closer. The blade biker guys are six. I don't care about those guys. Are too far. Unless These guys they are move. actually gonna move for three in range of four. One, two, three, no, you can't okay. hit me unless okay. we're up that far, which we're not. And, the next and then guys? these guys are going to move for five, range <laughs> of one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I need to try are to they kill. four away? One, two, three, four. Oh, they're five away, so you can't even hit them. Because you only have range four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, oh yep, boy. So they're going to hit us. Hold which... on, do I have a way of increasing? Oh, no. Oh. I get three white. I didn't. Oh, Jana says you can read the danger in the sidebar. We could read it and see which is worse. Yes. I guess. Uh, a. The vehicle is the target of an attack. One damage plus the vehicle's current speed. Ooh. Or one attack plus the vehicle's current speed. So we could defend. We it. still defend. Yeah. Uh, B. The vehicle is the target of an attack. Two plus the vehicle's current speed. Or C. The vehicle receives one automatic wound. Move the vehicle to a different lane. Oh, so we want to go A. So let's put that there. Yeah, but but no, 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 no. So A hits us there. We get into this spot. Now you have to hit a B no matter what. So you want to do an A and a B or just a B? Oh, yeah, you're right. Just a B. I'm going to rip around yeah. the outside. Then we're going to come in and rip around here, change lanes at some point here. Yeah. And then rip around and change lanes. But like, man, it's like they have to bump into stuff. We I know, but I just... save cards for these defense tests with the vehicle getting hit, which was... Where was that? Defending with vehicles is a defense test only. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. okay. You guys are coming hit us. So I need agility to move, so... Oh, but we are shuffling. So okay. switch lanes, you need agility? There's, yeah. Them. That's crazy because I would kill them for sure. I think. Yep. I have the two to drop them by four. Just save the two and do an automatic hit next turn. If I get a one. Oh, you need three. Yep. Oh, I need a three, and I could good. take them off the board. They are line of sight. Mm -hmm. Sucks. A pitch to try to get that. I didn't realize they were so far away range. I didn't realize they could move so fast. Yeah. I but I guess that dumb. makes sense. Yeah, that was dumb. I held cards I shouldn't have. That was dumb. We're not going to have a hunt, so I'm just going to put that there so that we can. Definitely hold this. Uh, you need to pass an agility test equal to speed. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, you can only melee them under honor, thing, but you can't even. Attack. But I could use that to speed us ahead more after I've done that to get farther away from them and get 
So we'll never get away from them. No, you're right. Away, when they're but... moving five, but yeah, based on what... Okay, done. Done? Yep. Okay, so they're going to go... So the green back here okay. is going to move for three. One. Hey, avoid those that always move. Moving in a vehicle. Oops. If it moves using normal movement rules, they will not move into a hazard space or other vehicles. So one, two... Okay, in range of four, nothing. Okay, then this guy doing a one, so he can move for five, and he has a range of one. Oh, so I didn't count. Okay, one, two... Well, that's a... They will never move in? Because that's a hazard space. Sorry, well, they can't get to us? I missed that. Where did you read that? Moving enemy vehicles. Enemy vehicles move using normal enemy movement rules. They will not move into a... Is that right? Is that a hazard yeah. symbol? Oh, so it doesn't even move that far. Yes, they can't get us. Oh, okay. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Okay, so they're stuck there. Okay, good to know. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh, okay, me. Yeah. Wow. So one, two. We're noobs. <laughs> Three, four. And... Well, at least they came closer for you. Yeah, I guess. But I just gave away all the cards. That I would use to... I'll pass back if I... Oh, I can't. I, I can't, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, we can't. But I do like this. This is neat. That's a cool change of pace. Uh, this these vehicle missions. This is even the vehicle one I read before. That one had like cards. You put out cards on it and stuff. I don't know what the heck that was, but. Okay. So we're gonna try an agility test of the speed that we are that our car is. I could do for four. Yeah, the worst I'm, you get is a minus two. And then we'd automatically win because we want to move. So let's do that. Uh, actually, I need the yellow for what? Oh, adding scavenger show because I'm not as worried about that right you now. You have to move or we're hitting C. Yeah. So we're going to do sucks. that. And oh. you need to pass again another one. There. Okay. Oh, no, you'd have to change no. it. Yeah. Okay, there you so go. So go here. Yeah. Now I'll say we move. And then I could do an accelerate, right? Can uh, try, yeah. I can try, which is this one, pushy. Skill so test. For to pass a two. Or okay. pass a one, pass so a I one. I could do that, and it's two, three, three. One, got it. So you go one more? Yep. Then I can't do a. I can only do a scout. You can scout, push the accelerator again, or change lanes again, or you can give me cards, trade cards with me, yeah, no. or activate one of your abilities. Hold that. I'm going to scout, but within line of sight is only the two, but we're not going that way. I'll hold it. Okay. Go ahead. They do not go. Whoa. What? Oh, oh, there you yeah. go. Oh. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So, are these guys are a two or six test? No, six. no, I'm, I can't see those guys yet. Oh, right, sorry, sorry. So, Red. Yeah. So six defense. And that means those guys will go for sure, which are doing, doing one, a three, move, four three range. move, four range. One, two, yeah, three. Yeah. Uh, they'll go one, two, and be up here, which definitely can. But I have defense now, which I can defend against. But so. How do we do that? We just pick whoever we want to defend? Yeah, because it said if something about if only the truck was defending. No, it says if a character is the only target of an attack, they can choose to defend. Well, what is the, oh, oh, maybe it says on here. Uh, after attacking, move the striker, oh, no. Or the skate. Harpoon right. gun. Oh, here. Uh, no, that's... All characters on the targeted vehicle are affected by this attack. Well, that's that attack. I know. I'm just looking to see, like, how do we know, how do we know if it's automatically, like, can I defend against it or oh, not? Start reading. I'm trying to look for how do we determine who they're actually firing on. Yeah, like, how does the driver do? Like up here, it says the, the, these hazards are the vehicle is a target of an attack. 
Yes, and Janet's right. They're not going this turn, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I know. I'm just thinking. But if we can't hit the other guy anyways, maybe you just Yeah, no, but I'm debating one. on holding stuff if he's going to be within range. Oh, but range. he would go if... Yeah, if I yeah, kill. If you I, kill... I'm going to kill this guy. I could kill him and become marked. Yeah. Is that helpful or hurtful? I don't think so. Oh, it says here. When a character is the only target of an attack, they can choose to defend normally or defend with the yeah. vehicle. Oh, that is the, what I read, but now answer to me, how do I know if I'm the target of the attack or the vehicle is? I know here it says if the vehicle is, but if it doesn't, does that mean I am? Or are you? Yeah. How do we know? You're in a different space than I am. How do we decide who gets hit? I don't know. That's You're what right. I'm saying. It's, it's not very clear. I don't so think. So we just choose, we say. Because I don't know that there's... Well, I could just become marked, and then for sure it's me, and we don't have to worry about rules and ambiguities. Oh, but we, we did have to look at the FAQ, right? Didn't you say? Oh, yes. Sorry. Maybe that's... Because I don't want to save defense cards if I can't use them. Blade Bikers. One to two boarding attack. Okay. Text change to after attacking encounter. One scrapper. Place it on spot B of the character vehicle schematic. Oh, okay, so just missing the after attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, says, you are in the same space as the vehicle. That is true. Mel's events card is for hazards. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. 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 okay, so fine, we whatever. personally cannot defend against these guys. It'll hit the truck. But I think it's fine because we have we have five health. If you kill one, one hits the truck, it's fine. Then potentially you kill them. Yeah, but if I just destroy one and become marked, activate an enemy, move it toward, and if possible, target this character. This character cannot benefit from hiding space. So can I become marked and then I'm the target? Sure. I'm thinking of is that not does that not work like could i just not become the target and then it'll hit me and i can take the wound stuff instead of our vehicle but i think it's fine because i don't we didn't read anything that brings out more enemies if we kill these guys if you kill one the other guy will go that's fine it's fine i'm gonna do a crack shot uh, just inflict these guys with the wound. Blade yeah. bikers are gone. Okay. Uh, I'm miss rewards or anything. Oh, you could are... scavenge as a passenger, grab loot, collect an adjacent uh, search token. This requires passing a skill test difficulty equal to the vehicle's current speed of one, the one in front of us, if you wanted. Guys, though. I know, but we can't. You can't do it this time. Not yet. I know, but if oh, I hold but you want to hold that? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, why not? yeah, yeah. Uh, instinct test of anything. Instinct yeah, that's this. Tests. Grabbing the loot. Oh, it's not agility. Oh, that's agility. Oh, so shoot. So scouting, I could also scout and put a token. Yeah, on. so I'm gonna scout. Our speed is of one. I have a three test. Yeah. So of course I'm gonna pass. Uh, and we put a token right here. And we grab these immediately when we... When... This stuff can be food, right? Yes. Yeah. Because I was only in the last one. And I didn't realize, as Edgar was saying, that I can use my defense card to block against the hazards. Yeah, yeah. So yep. that's Because that is... Uh, where? Right where here, what this thing Yeah, is. okay, okay. Add the vehicle's value, defense, white... Oh, that's when you depend with the... Where's your thing? Oh, yeah, because the vehicle's a target. Yeah, yeah, so that's how you defend with the vehicle. But all the vehicle is is adding its four against their attack of how much did they attack for? What and what? Seven and six. 
Yeah, so you're just adding the defense oh, of the so vehicle. Oh, so I can't. So my defense that. cards are are useless right unless, now. Unless there's something else on I here. Didn't see anything? No, changing agility. lanes is agility. Yeah. Acceleration lever strength. Scouting is instinct. And grabbing loot is agility. And replacing driver. Yeah, I don't That's, think I can use yeah. these, which is fine. So then I'm just. Well, you can use them if you're the target of an attack. Yeah, but I don't know that that's going to be But I am case. marked. I will be the target. Okay. I'm actually going to discard. Oh, then they're going to go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My turn yet. Uh, so move of three. One, two, three. Range of five. Four, excuse me. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. So attack of seven. They hit the vehicle for one. The vehicle has okay. five health. Use defense against hazards you are getting ready to hit. Is I don't think hazard... we can, though. Um, collisions. No. Where's the hazard thing? It, just collisions. Yeah. If your vehicle moves into a hazard space, resolve the matching effect on the hazard entry in the sidebar. If your vehicle moves into a space with another vehicle, both vehicles receive one automatic wound. And then Janet saying, did the truck move on Rob's turn? No. No. Because it doesn't say it does. No, no, no. Only only on the driver. Yep, only on the driver. Mel, Mel just got it to move when uh, she was doing acceleration test. And read, read it, it on, on hazard. hazards. Uh, so the vehicle is target of an attack. Attack one plus the current vehicle speed. Yeah, but these are just doing tests against the vehicle's defense. Yeah, it doesn't say anywhere yeah. about defending it. It's not the player using their cards. Um, doesn't that enemy go around the corner of the map? Yes, but they avoid the hazards. Did we do something wrong? So it, it wouldn't go around here because there's a hazard here. It's hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. So it has to go up and around. Yeah. Yeah, and you can move it, Rob. How though? Because it says in driver, before, during, or after moving the, the, sorry, before, during, or after moving, the driver may perform any number. Of yeah, and then here is may perform. The it doesn't say that the driver can move the car. The driver moves the car. I mean the passenger. Passenger me. does not move the car. Yeah, I don't think they can. Nope, it's only every other turn. Okay, so I don't want these cards. Do you want any of those? What's happening? Is it's my turn. Still? Yeah, I'm just deciding what no. I'm going to chuck. Okay. Start of your turn? Yeah, I'm gonna, but I'm... Rob can do an accelerate test. Oh, I can, too. Push the accelerate le acceleration lever. Move the vehicle for have... one additional space. Oh, yeah, you would need a strength test. But I don't have Yeah, any, okay, so okay. So okay. you can only do it that, that. Yeah, good uh... to know. I didn't draw any red cards, though, I don't think so. Okay. So I'm gonna discard these. Yeah, I agree. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you use your own cards, because I think, like, those are ours. Yeah. And the truck just has its own defense value that we test against. Okay. So. I think we're just going to move forward. We'll hit the... Yeah, let's move forward one now. Because then maybe I'll adjust based on... Move forward. We automatically pick this up. This, this happens, yeah. Uh, if the vehicles move on to a space with this token, they may immediately... Yeah, they may collect without it resolving without resolving skill, skill tests. So three scrap. Uh, we go up to 20 scrap. Okay. All right, so we hit... Uh, a B hazard. So that says the vehicle is a target of an attack. The attack value is two plus the vehicle's current speed. So our current speed is now two. Well, doesn't it say pass? Hold on, moving. Sorry, I thought it says when you move past it. Vehicle speed. Your vehicle speed is equal to the last numbered space it has passed. So Play been... starts with the vehicles going at one. So it hasn't passed two? Right. So I think it's still one. Sure. So one plus two is three. Yep, so and then three against, well, three. You got it. it's oh, black yeah. die and then red die, white die. Uh, four. So its attack is four, hitting the vehicle three. three. So oh. damage to the vehicle. We're going to fail. God. Okay. So now I could, I could do an accelerate for four yes. on one. Go at this would, one speed? Yeah. Because we haven't passed the two yet. 
Oh, it's just one additional space. It's not even... No, yeah, it's just one additional space, but it just gets us closer, right? Yeah, we got to be careful because now we're moving two automatically. So let's just check. So if you have one space, then we go one, two, we collide at the start of your next turn, unless they're gone, which, which I hope to one... happen, but... Oh, I could give you, I could give you that as well. You give me a white. Yeah. Oh, I could give you white instead. White three is an automatic kill. <laughs> okay, let's automatically kill him. Let's not. So, okay. So then. Yeah, they're not going right now. Either. I could Ooh. attempt an accelerate. Yeah, you can accelerate all you want now, but, but you got to be careful because you change lanes, right? And then you're going to move two automatically. We, you only want to go one space. Because then we do two automatic on your turn. Then I change lanes. Then with, we change lanes. With this. Unless you accelerate, and for some reason you think, I'm going to accelerate on a turn. I can't change lanes, though. Yeah, so I would only go one more space and stop. Then you'll go two. Then you need to find some way of changing lanes. And then you go Yeah, which I can one, change lanes two. with this. Yeah, you just got to be careful. Don't push yourself too far up no, if you're going to bang into an obstacle, right? I agree, I agree. So it's like you gotta slow down around the corners. This accelerate also may not even happen because I'm only accelerating with a uh, with back. a three. <laughs> oh, hi, man. Okay. Awesome. So I'm accelerating with three on a one. Oh, I automatically will pass this. Yeah. Okay. So it'll just move up one, which will also collect that token. And now we got oh. a key. Oh, that's good. We haven't got this, one this turn. This, yes, yeah, that was an earlier mission. Yeah, we got yeah, the yeah. One. That's Ooh, our last. We're gonna be reading passage eight now. The last clue. Ooh. Okay. So now from going forward. Yeah, it's a race. We're racing through, uh, trying to race out of the toy store with our new toy truck we got. And we're yeah. trying to, we got enemies driving around on little roller bikes and stuff. Okay. Then I'm going to save these because we're going to move for two and then I'll change lanes. Okay. Go ahead. One, two, three. Yeah, hopefully the. One goes first. Yeah. So oh. you're just going to use that three and take yeah, them yeah, right yeah. out. Crack shot. <laughs> Inflict one wound on okay. an enemy within line of sight. And oh, I become marked, but then it becomes safe, so I'm no longer marked. Were you marked already? Oh. Yeah, yeah, but whatever. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. okay. So now you so could. I don't want to push this forward. That's stupid. So I'm not going to do that. Unless, but you could, and then I change lanes first before I move the car. You can't move us forward twice, though. Yeah, it would move forward twice, because now we're on speed two, no? No. We, I, I read just a minute ago, acceleration only ever moves you oh, one space. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was saying that. Like, it's not based on speed. Sorry. Yeah, just read if you're not sure. I, I'm gonna, I have to keep rereading this stuff, because it's like, this is the first time it's very weird. Yeah. And it's like a lot of weird situations, like, if you're here, or you're going to hit this, or are you in a space with another vehicle, or are you in a space with a hazard, what's going to happen? Yeah. If you're with a scavenger, how does the scavenger get there? What kind of yeah. tests do you have to pass? You're right, you're right. It's all weird. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to stop there, and I'm good for now. Okay. I want these cards, so I'm going to keep those. Unless you need some kind of... Do you have an ability that does anything during this? No. Not for this map. Road surge. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep those. Okay. Two, two... Oh! I'm having a two party. Okay. Yeah, that's good for acceleration, good. if you want to do it. So, Double well, check. First, we want to move for two. Okay, now okay. you need to change lanes. Now I'm going to change lanes. Oh yeah, I should have passed you green for that, but... I got it. I got one. I know, I'm just saying. I should have, though, because so I don't need it for enemies. test of two. Okay, so a test of two. To, I need to pass with two. If I play four, I pass automatically. Yep. Okay. Yep. Change, change lanes. lanes. Avoided that obstacle. Okay, now I could accelerate, which would do one. I'm just thinking before I do it. Uh, but then on your turn, you'd may have to move. If you don't move... Yeah, you'd have to pass me your yeah, three. Yeah, if you don't move, then you're smashing into A here, this hazard. It's built kind of rubber snakes, some marbles. <laughs> I could potentially try to accelerate twice to get us into this space. That yep. we don't have any and I'll pass there. you a card And then you move. pass me, and then we move, then we change lanes yep. and come around. Okay. okay, okay, let's try. So an acceleration of two on two may not work. Mm. Oh, three. Three on two. Okay, it does. Mm. Then we're going to do a four. Sorry. Uh, four on two. Is that worse? Oh, and now we're moving three. Okay, okay. So then I change lanes. And then one, two, three. Okay, okay, this is good. And, and we then... need to boost ahead and change lanes. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then one, two, three. Still not out, but almost. But, it, but we're safe yeah, once yeah, we get past safe, that. Yeah. Okay, okay. All good. Careful. Uh, Go ahead. 
draw first. Oh, I guess if you want to discard anything. I but I need that three to move. Well, maybe. Maybe. Well, it's a three. But it's not a for sure. Yeah, you're right. Because you need not. to pass a three, so me giving you a three is enough. But again, if we only hit one more obstacle, or even two, I think we're okay. This could be a boost. Yes. So everything gets harder. All yeah. the tests get harder. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, I'll toss this green. Oh. Don't you draw six? Yeah, because you discard oh, a one. Yeah, discard yeah, yeah. One, yeah. Field a truck. Can I do that? Was that possible? How do I do can that? Can you read that? I don't think I can do that. We I'm... got vehicle speed, defending with a vehicle, collisions, moving enemy vehicles, broken down vehicles. We're not broken down or we fail. No. Scavenge tokens, the driver's rules, the passenger's rules. I don't see... We have replacing a defeated driver. I don't see healing the truck anywhere in no. here that I see from scanning. No healing the truck. Yeah, I don't think healing the truck's a possibility. I think the truck dies. The truck is like the... the... Yeah. Uh, what does Sea Hazard say? Uh, he, sea Hazard says the vehicle receives one automatic wound. Move the vehicle to a different lane. So C, we're no longer at Sea. C's, yeah, that can't happen. Sea was here. So all we have left in front of us is Hazard A, Hazard A, and Hazard B. But if we didn't change lanes, the worst thing that would happen is we take two more damage. So it's not the worst. Unless hitting the uh, surge or something is yeah, bad that's news. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know. I don't see eyeballs to make uh, things happen. All right, uh, so try to place a scavenge token uh, with a scout. Requires passing an instinct skill test of three. I have two. Got it. So give me a token. Are we staying in that lane? It doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm matter. just yeah, doing yeah. it. Yeah, cares. I guess you like, can do adjacent not, right? too. Uh, all right. Can't help us change lanes. I'm not going to try strength test to boost us into that hazard. Uh, uh, oh. uh, I don't know. This for sure you're getting. Yep. But what else? I don't know. The two, because I could put the twos together if we want to accelerate. Oh, yeah. Can start it with this? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. it. Um, all right. Okay. I'll go with those. Oh. Oh, oh, that's my only choices. Dirty. Okay, so we're going to... We need to change lanes. We're going to attempt to change lanes. Three on three. Not change lanes. I could try with the two. Yep. Two on three. Absolutely. <laughs> nope, we're not changing lanes. So one hitting A. Okay, the vehicle's the target of the attack. Uh, so it is... One damage plus the vehicle's current speed. So it's four coming at it, and it's got four defense. Yeah. So it's five coming at it, having five defense. Blocked. It must be higher to actually add a wound in this case. So, so we're blocked. Defense. Okay. Uh, and this gets grabbed, right? Oh, yeah, because we didn't even... Two batteries. Two batteries. Uh, oh, we do have two batteries. Uh, I don't know who gets it, but... I, oh, okay. Oops. Your turn. And then I can't do anything with this, so we'll just leave that there. Uh, uh, surge yeah. is going to happen. Uh, it's plus one time, discard all threat from the threat track. So we're Oops. at eight time. And I am going to try to boost this, but I don't see that happening really. Or Calamity. Did we, we already, already have did that it. happen? Uh, yes, we yeah, did. We already so we did don't it. need to do it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can try to boost it one. Yeah, if you I'll want. just try. Why not? Uh, so let's do. That's a three. I, I need to get three. Nope. I just kept one of those ones. Oh, sorry. Been. I thought about it, but it's. Um. 
and doing anything with this, so I will just hold this three. Your turn. Okay. I think I'm going to discard this two. I'm looking mm -hmm. for greens at this point, so one, or two, ones. or ones. Three, four, five. There oh, here we go. Okay, so I think I want to try... A change. Oh, hold on. Changing lanes would go one, two, three, smash into this thing. Oh, so but eight. you can do it during movement. So if you go only two spaces, you could still move before hitting that thing. So if you do two separate tests, do two separate lane changes, do yeah, you think? Yeah, I can try. I would try. Okay. Worst case, you bash into one of these things. Okay, so you let's... You want to hit A over B, so... I don't know. Or do we just hit A? No. I would try. We try. So change lanes, and then one, two, and then I have to attempt another one. Because I can do it in the middle of my move. Uh, during. Yep. It says before, during, during or yep, after. Yep, okay. Yep, you can do it during. So let's attempt a. You can just do like one of your move right now, and then try to change lanes. Yeah. Do one more movement. Try to change lanes. Three and three. Where's the four though? What's going to be harder? Oh, there's no four. Okay. Either way, I think we're good. Uh, you just decide. Okay, so let's try a three on three. Okay. Ah. Okay. Then don't change then don't lanes. Change lanes. Keep going yeah. forward, I guess. Yep. So two that's more. two more. Bang. So, so it's a uh, four on four, four. on a four. So it's now a yep. six on a three. So a damage to the truck. But I think that's fine at this point. Yep. And then... Okay. Could try to accelerate. I'll it. just try to accelerate, sure. For two, two on three. Got, Got it. it. So it goes one more space up. And that's that. Uh, do you want this? Sure, whatever. I don't know. Going less, I guess. Well, so let me the surge start of your turn, doesn't happen. You could just boost up and we're good. Yeah, surge shouldn't, but it could. Yeah, one, two, three, and we're done. But are we really done or are we moving on to another page? What's the exit say? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, oh, go to the success entry. Thank okay. you. Jeez. Oh. Jeez. I was like, man, if we have to keep this truck alive on another page, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're yeah. in trouble. <laughs> we ran into too many things. Uh, okay. Thing is funny. Yeah. But it's pointless. Sure. 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 I'll try to boost us forward with a test of... I'll try a test of 12 on a 3. Yeah, I think I got it. We go up 1. Sweet. Uh, here, I'll give you two cards so you don't draw as much. Yep. Actually, let's just say I use one less card there. You can have your art card. Oh, thanks. So either way, we pass no matter what. Uh, just so you draw less. Yep. Not that I think that's still overkill, but go yep. ahead. Okay, uh, one, two, I just draw 2. Okay, and I was... Just... All right, yes. we got there. Oops, uh, so success entry is... 100-21. You burst through the clear, plastic climate-controlled strips. The truck's plastic tires make a hollow sound on the bare concrete floor of the warehouse. Ringer grits his teeth. Holding on to your hiney. Hold on to your hineys, he shouts, before turning hard onto the tiny steering wheel. You squeak nervously as the truck goes into a drift, sliding sideways under an inert conveyor belt. Somewhere behind you, a blade bike slams into a cardboard box full of colored balls. A yowling rat goes flying along with dozens of balls that bounce and roll in every direction. Another blade bike wipes out, and a third has to follow suit to avoid the wreckage. So long, suckers, Whisper calls out to them. There, Messiah points at an open roll-up door. Rumple pushes the acceleration lever forward, and you suddenly in the sunlight, speeding down the sloping loading ramp and making your way toward the opening parking lot. Open parking lot. You're free and laughing, and it feels glorious. Banish this mission card. Retrieve the Smoky on the Chase enemy vehicle card from the Discovery deck, Ooh. and add it to the vehicle travel deck. Go to page 101. This one's banished. Smoky on the Chase. It's a nomad enemy vehicle, so if we have to do another vehicle mission, we could get that involved. That's not fun. Uh, all right, 101. Uh, side mission. 
We didn't well, do it, so no effect. What was our side mission? Finding the roaches or the... Oh, we barely had it. We had no we encounters. We fast traveled, right? So okay. we didn't no see effect. that many encounters. That's okay. Uh, that's fine. Clue, though. We did get a clue. Yeah, we got a clue. So let's Last read. Last one. Number eight, entry. You'll never guess what happened today while you were gone. Squeals, tidbit. Excited, tugging at your sleeves, she leads you out to the edge of the coffee table. And standing there above the colony, she claps her paws together and holds an arm aloft. You hear a fluttering sound, and then a squeak with delight when, the tr when a dragonfly hovers down to perch on Tidbit's arm. It is Pepper's pet dragonfly, Ziggy. Oh, I didn't, we didn't bring her. It projects an image onto the side of a nearby Persian oats carton. Puritan oats carton? Uh, it is an image of a rubble pile with a series of half-buried tires forming an arched tunnel rubble junk. In front of the tunnel is a mangy mutt barking at the camera. There is a secret back door entrance. Retrieve Ziggy from the item deck and add it to the colony supply deck box. Done. Retrieve mission card 11. Oh, finally. From the discovery deck and add it to the bottom finally. of the mission deck. Finally. Yes. We so, got it. Okay. Man, I was thinking that it's either this or like, man, we're going to keep just ripping through missions till we find it. But I was hoping we didn't walk by it and miss it. That's what I was hoping too. So into Rubble Junk is where uh, Messiah wants to go to complete his uh, goal. So this is important. We have to finish this one. The so main mission into Rubble Junk. You must have the toy truck vehicle in the colony supply deck box to choose this mission. So yes, there we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, now back to here. So we've read all the clues. So all that story stuff is, is done for that part of things. Um, now we go into the event step. So we're at time of eight out of six. Oh, uh, oh six. I think it was um, just six. Six. Okay, so just two cards off the encounter deck. Six, uh, which is a raccoon with a taser got into the house through the attic. We drove him off, but not before he zapped the dickens out of several folks. So it's an attack, losing one population, then losing two food. But you prevent it with rodent traps, a mender's hut, or the training grounds. Oh, sorry. Rodent traps will stop it, period. But a mender's hut or training grounds will ignore the population loss. Yeah, we have a mem mender's hut. Okay, so and the training grounds, right? We should have. Uh, Didn't we do that one? We haven't done that one yet? Oh, we did. Ooh. Training grounds? Yeah, that's the one where you need 20 population, cost of 7. Upon building, you get a new ability. Or I get a new ability, but I had them all. Maybe we never did that. We never did it then, I guess. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, it's this thing. Oh, we never did it yet. Yeah. Okay. No, we did do it. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we did do it. I just, yeah. because yeah, yeah. it was a little wrestling ring. We saw sorry about the that. UFC fighting going on over here. I didn't take it out of my pocket. Or they're LARPing. Whatever. Yeah, so we, okay. So we just have to do the food loss? Yeah, two food loss down to nine. Oh, gosh. We're in trouble. Uh, maybe. We'll do some trading in yeah, a yeah. sec. And 15 is the next card, which is Raiders came on vehicles demanding food as some kind of tax. When we refused, they threatened to take people instead. The attack is lose two food and or population any combination, but you can prevent it with rodent traps or junk barriers. We don't have either, so let's so use lose population. The population. Down to 22. Yeah. Not okay. a good thing. Yeah. All right. So, based on that, going back here, start oh. of that step, we get one population because of the market, back up to 23. I'll, I'll, oh, this gets so started. So, we, we have a total of 10 covered plus 9, so 19, we need to make 4 more food up at least. I mean, I can discard these unless we, we might want to fast travel. So don't discard so them. So, maybe, we, yeah, let's yeah, just so just whatever that. scrap is needed to get us, what did I say, 19, so we need 4. So, so we, we have to get eight. rid of 8 scrap down to 11. Okay. And then our food's down to 0. Okay. But everyone's fed. Build step. There's nothing to build. There should be nothing to build. See, that's what I thought. I thought we had all built. That's why I was confused. We have the public council. We have the mender's hut. We have workshop, expanded nest, water pump, garden, lookout post, training grounds, and market. Yep, we have everything. We built everything for a colony that we could that we know of. But we could still get items from the deck that do preventions that we would like to find. Yeah. That can help protect us. We're not fully protected with just that. Then we check victory step, which we know we don't have because I still need 11 to be in the banished deck box, which we just got it. So that's why I have to compete for my, complete for my character. Your character's done. We have the toy truck. Ringer's done. And Grumple's done. Yep. Right? Yep. For sure Ringer's let's, done? Let me just double check because yeah, just Ringer's in case. Ringer was... Uh, 
gold build a workshop, build a workshop and, and acquire a toy truck. Yeah, yeah okay. so that's done. And so let's... literally, we beat mission eleven, and assuming we're still at twenty population, and nothing in our colony gets destroyed. Okay. Yep. We complete it. So yeah, we're not there yet. The so whisper. Uh, Whisper. Whispers build a mender hut and have 20 plus population. So right now we're, we're at 23. Yeah, so right now we have it. So there is a chance you could lose population, and then when we do this check, we might not have that. So that's the only one that could kind of like go down unless we get, unless we lose something in the colony somehow. Yeah, so we'll have to be careful. But I don't think that happens, but it could. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, and that's that. That's that. That's it. That's it for now. Until we come back. So. We know completing Rubble Junk could complete the game. I think we scheduled a stream for Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So we'll be back. We're just going to say flip it over. How many days or what does it tell us to do? Five days. Go to D2. Oh, okay. Uh, D2 is Rubble Junk. Makes okay. sense. Yeah. Rubble Junk. Infiltrate Rubble Junk and rescue the captive providers. Okay. So if we played this, potentially. So you have to go by vehicle, obviously. Or road cards. So we'll play some little... So if population stays up, you just need Mission 11? Yes. Yes, Janet. Yes. 100%. I think that's what we need. So we have Mission 11 to do, which we could just jump into next time. There's also still Operation Kitty Litter, which we would probably choose to do before, or else the game will just end, assuming we're up on population. We still have House Call. And we still have the Dead Tooth Gang. So we'll talk, we'll figure, me. we might just do the last one, we'll see, based on what we still have coming up, but, uh, yeah, maybe we do this. We could change that stream on Tuesday. When? What? Daytime stream, mm. and play a couple missions back-to-back -back again, like today. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. So here's the deal. We're going to talk after this. We'll check out our week, how it's scheduled. Uh, I might have some time with Mel to play in the day on some days, but we'll see. Uh, but I could change that next stream. Hey, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul with the, oh, I know I can see this. Where is it? It'll, it, it'll pop it'll up pop on the up stream. Yeah, yeah. It's quicker on here than it is. Well, thank you, Paul. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Paul dropping the two pounds in the super chat, which there, <laughs> there we go. go. There's the pop. It's so delayed. <laughs> Paul Orris donated two pounds through super chat. Thank you so much. Thank That's you, awesome. That Do you pick me. those emoji, the uh, like the dancing bird there, or does it? Awesome. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. As always, thank you so much for the support. Uh, yes. So the next mission, next scenario, I think it's scheduled already. So if you went to that episode to set a reminder, I'll just change the time and date of that one. It will happen sometime during this week. Uh, it just might change times and and or days, but it will it will happen during the week. It won't change weeks. Uh, so we'll schedule that. We might schedule a longer episode so we can play through two of them. But we can pick one mission to do. I kind of want to do Operation Kitty Litter. Just because? It sounds cool. But we might just spend that time. I'm worried about the Rubble Junk one also taking longer too. Yeah. And because we have to go through that car driving stuff with the toy truck. Or we could just fast travel. Uh, we and, do have and, two batteries, yeah. But if we go by vehicle, it's road cards. But we also could do Operation Kitty Litter, which is like its whole relocate Smokey's kittens to a safer place. Oh, so the chat is kind of asking if we can possibly move it to the weekend. Because if oh, we do it in the okay. day, Janet can't watch. And it, if it's on the weekend, yeah, then we can just delay it till the next weekend. So we too. could make it. We could just plan it for Sunday potentially. We'll see. Or though, we have like, to see. Yeah, it. we might have stuff next weekend. Might be. Uh, we have something on. Yeah, Saturday. we have other games we got to do too. I don't know. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. Yeah. Um, maybe... Yeah, we got to look yeah, at what other we, games we yeah. have to play. There's other things we have to learn, other things we have to do not stream-related, other things we have to do stream-related in the back end, but other games we want to get played. So we're going to kind of look at this week's schedule, plan it out today, also find out when Kyle is available for our Lord of the Rings series of Middle-Earth. No, Paul, it's okay. Bring up bring up when it works. Like, yeah, we, yeah. You know, if you're watching this, we, we want to accommodate too, right? So, um, yeah, we were just... If it has to go into next week, and it will, but I still want to play one during the week. So, okay, so then if we play during the week on Tuesday, keep our stream on Tuesday night, we play the kitty litter one. Yeah, but we'll but, see. We might yeah. have other stuff we got to play too, so we might need to yeah. like, okay. spend only one more stream on this game, but we could make it a longer stream 
by doing it in the day on a weekday instead or even two streams like in the same day or two streams during the night uh we'll figure it yeah, out we'll, we'll yeah we'll talk yeah. about it for I, sure I say, yes but... thank you yeah no worries chris no worries thank you uh but yeah we'll come back with the next episode so just you can set a reminder on the next stream and if it moves or whatever you'll still get the reminder i'll just move the change the time and date of that stream if we do We'll still get a reminder check the playlist down below if you're watching this in the future you'll see the next episodes down in that playlist also if you want to watch other episodes in the series they're also in that playlist but tomorrow night we're back for sure uh tomorrow evening playing some small world of warcraft where mel and i are going to play some two-player that game show that off uh so if you want to come and check out all world of warcraft we'll be here playing that tomorrow evening i believe at 7 p.m eastern mm -hmm. Uh, and other things will be scheduled, so check out youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table, where you can see all the upcoming streams as I schedule them. Also, if you subscribe, they'll show up in your subscription feed. You can click on them and set reminders. But yeah, thank you everyone for the kind words. I appreciate yes. it. Uh, but we're going to get back to it. Uh, we're going to go look at some games, investigate some stuff. I got to order some stuff. Thank you to all the support that came in yesterday. Uh, yeah, you it just, was amazing. You just definitely sped up me uh, investing in some new lights for the channel so that I've been wanting to get. Uh, so that's going to happen. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to investigate some games, prioritize them on a wish list. We got to play some board game orders coming next month. So we got to kind of figure out what to get. We'll probably do a poll on Patreon for our Patreon supporters who can vote on polls. Uh, we will put some games up there. I want some opinions. On the producers of this channel, what kind of games you want to see added to our collection. So the next order I place, you guys are going to get to influence that for sure. Yeah. So I know some people are recommending games to us. I'm going to look into them. I'll pick the ones I think that are pretty good for the channel, ones I, I think so. Some maybe aren't, but maybe you guys might be interested in. I'll throw those on the list. And then you can vote. And then we'll, we'll pile up an order, get free shipping on it by reaching a certain threshold locally. Order a local game store. We'll get those games on the channel and play them in the future. But we do have lots of games to play still, so no worries there. Um... But I'm also going to go finish reading the Splice and Dice rule book. So Too Many Bones will be coming to the channel this week or next week. Or maybe I'm saving that for our 10k subscriber stream, actually. Is what I think I might do. I might do some solo streaming uh, in the next week or two of Too Many Bones with Splice and Dice. Using Tyrants and all those kind of modes. But we're almost at 10k subscribers. So subscribe. Let us grow. If we hit 10k, we're going to do a weekend of two 12-hour live streams one on the saturday one on the sunday where i think based on what we're discussing and most of our our gamers that play on the channel know too many bones or we can at least teach them we might do a weekend of too many bonesing with splice and dice and whatever maybe do an age of tyranny campaign i don't know we'll just do some crazy stuff maybe play some other games mixed in too but uh yeah if you're if you're excited for that once we reach 10k subs we're going to be playing like a ton of that stuff anyways thanks a lot everyone for your support and we'll see you in the next stream. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe.